often considered the budget variant of the IS-7, the WZ-111 5A can be seen as a very mid tier 10 heavy tank, but this is not entirely true because comparing it directly to an IS-7, you realize there are some unique characteristics that the 5A has that in my opinion, make it quite competitive and in certain respects better. And so today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how the WZ-111 5A plays and why you shouldn't necessarily underestimate this vehicle. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Royal Fatness here. In case you didn't know, that is my YouTube username. Whoa. And in today's live stream, as you probably have already deducted, I will be playing the 5A. And I hope you're excited. It is still, I believe, currently in the store. Let's see. Is it under vehicles? I, I saw it very, I saw it there for a second. Uh, it's like 20k gold, I think. It's been in the store for about two weeks now. So I'm a little late on making today's live stream. Sorry about that. I've just been quite busy. I haven't had time to do more than one stream a week and there's other stuff I wanted to do first. But here we are. And of course, welcome to everyone in chat. Hope you guys are doing well. We got Helmy, Mr. X, Ominous, Happy Daddy, Blitch Nation, MR, Tennessee, As Dog to Fire, Nisk, real <laughs> uh chipotle uh and yeah oh mj good to see you and jack as well hello welcome to the stream appreciate having you guys drop by today please do smash that like button it is very much appreciated thank you so much okay <laughs> balls <laughs> okay random comment but sure oh happy birthday ah thank you thank you do appreciate it so let's jump into it WZ-111 5A. Oh my gosh, this new garage. It makes the screen look so dark. You can barely see the tank. I guess spooky season means you can't even see what your vehicle looks like anymore nowadays. But uh, yeah, some sort of cypress good to see as well. Okay. Now, I played some warm-up games in it earlier today, and I performed mid, as you would expect of me nowadays, but I still don't think that means there's anything wrong with the tank. It, it It's not an IS-7. Let's make that pretty clear right off the bat. To anyone who has never played this vehicle, it's no IS-7. It has shared characteristics, 45 top speed, decent turret armor, 460 alpha damage, and the similarities end about there. Because what the 5A does get is 7 degrees of gun depression, which is quite comfortable. You get a much better handling gun. I think that's one of the things that makes this thing just stand out. For 128, 460 alpha damage, the gun handles extremely well on a heavy tank. And that is one of the reasons why you would be sold on this vehicle. Three key characteristics. One, haul down capabilities with the turret armor. Two, mobility. It is quite mobile for a heavy tank, so you don't have to get yourself stuck into a heavy tank engagement. And three, it has a really good gun. And that is what you want to look forward to about this tank. Now what you sacrifice is a whole lot of armor compared to an IS-7, let's say. Your Lower plate is very weak. Your upper plate is pretty easy to overmatch with standard ammunition. You can't angle it whatsoever. You have some space side armor above the tracks, but otherwise the sides are generally pretty weak. And the turret even has hatches on top. Not a huge issue if you keep moving, but you should be aware of that. So the armor profile, it's not going to be an IS-7. So really, you want to take this thing call down whenever possible. Try not to be caught in the open, because if you're in the open, it's just, man, I was facing a 5A earlier today. Dude was corner peeking on me for some reason when I was hauled down completely full health them and didn't take a single shot in return bless his soul don't do that so that's what we want to be aware of in this vehicle it's a bit of a uh IS-7 slash T95E6 hybrid let's put it as that way where it's more suited to just deleting medium tanks in the right situation a little bit less suited to dealing with the heavy tank engagements and towns and stuff like that unless of course there's rubble you can go hot down behind and of course having 300 base heat 330 with calibrated which i recently sw swapped to because e 100 got turret armor buff and 300 just wasn't cutting it anymore um yeah it doesn't even have the best heat pen to deal with other heavy so Enough of me ranting on about the tank. Let's jump into some games. Hopefully, I'm not complete trash today. Uh, I, I tried warming up a little bit before this stream. We'll see how it goes. Our first match is going to be on Mines. A very good map for the 5A, especially when you have the south spawn. The one key thing we need to make sure that occurs right now is that we take the main hill. Because if we can take the main hill, I can go haul down right behind it. 
and we can just farm for days. That's what the 5A would be most suited to. So we'll see. Enemy team have a 62A, quite a few TDs, a couple hot down heavies, but nothing I'm super concerned about under one to one hit to kill for free. So we are just big chilling right now. The 62A could shoot him, but let's get ready to deal with the hill first. So there we go. There's the Emil. And here's where having that 300 heat pen might be somewhat to an advantage. Put a quick shell towards this yo. Sadly, that shot misses. Even with great gun handling, it's not going to always hit every shot precisely. It's not a medium tank. When I say as good gun handling, I mean as good gun handling for a 128. As you can see, we do hit that second shell into the yo. And so now the yo has a bit of a crossfire with the 1 to 1 and me, both on uh, in each each side kind of crossfiring him out here. There is also an Emil. Let's put a quick shot towards him. Sadly, that shot doesn't quite go through because we hit his drive wheel there. And we can see that the Yag and 62A are now being a little more aggressive on the left. So let's just turn back here for a second. Quickly turn around. Put a quick shell towards the 62A. Get trolled by the gun. Unfortunately, we managed to hit like the smallest section I could not pin on the front of his tank there, which is, uh, you know, just very big unlucky. But the 62A is about to pull forward again. Let's put another shell towards him. All right. Aim that one a little bit too high. Let's just blame it on the warm-up period, guys. Okay, and I don't want to poke that again because if I poke that again I might take one for the comp panzer and honestly going on towards the enemy team with your rear facing them Not a very big brain idea. So let's not do that However, this Emil might give me a shot on the lower part of his turret 399 very nice since we're hauled down You can see he's struggling to find an angle at which to pen us and I believe the WZ is right up there Because he did shoot at our allied a uh, type 68 a moment ago I think what we can do now is turn our attention back towards this Kong Panzer, who's getting quite a bit more aggressive, along with the 62A. I should be unspotted for the time being. Let's get ready to put a quick shell into our mans here. 401, very nice. Well, watch out for this Emil. He's definitely going to come back for me, so we're going to reverse side scrape up here real quickly. That way he can't shoot me. He's getting dunked on by the WZ-121. Let's put a quick snapshot towards his hatch. Unable to hit it, but... As you'll notice, in that particular situation, I was quite aware the Emil would probably consider poking me if I were to pull out there. And so I immediately was putting myself in a position where I could back up to this rock reverse side scrape. And that way, all he has to shoot at is that very steep side armor. So we were able to avoid taking shells from that Emil 2 there. I think I was going to Emil 1. It is actually an Emil 2. Let's see if the 62A gets a little bit more daring and decides to poke me again. If he doesn't, we'll get ready to work up on the main hill in a moment's time. And okay, well, I wasn't quite expecting that. There is the 62A, can't quite hit him. Boom, let's put a shell towards him. Unable to hit him, unfortunately. I don't know what the yell was thinking. There is no way my man thought that was a good idea to just pull into the open to shoot me there. And unfortunately for him, it ended in his death really quickly. All right, we have a kill shot on the 62A. Gosh, my reaction time are not very good, but it's okay. <laughs> we still have two full HP TDs we can try and farm out before it's too late. So here's the WZ, who is no longer full HP, but let's aim a shell to his side, and oh, okay. You know what? I know the strategy, guys. Don't say the tank's gun is good. That's the strategy to actually getting a gun to behave well. You have to be like, oh my gosh, this gun is so trash. You see, and then you hit everything. Nice shot by the WZ. Just scraping the side of my hull there. And let's see if we can get a second shell into him in just a moment's time. He is not moving. Let's put a shell to his lower plate. There we go. And so, 2,500 damage. Eh. It could be much worse. Definitely could be better, but I'm not going to complain. If I hadn't missed so many shots like a bot, we, we probably would have had like 3.5 this game. So I blame that on myself, not necessarily the tank. And not a bad first game. Kind of went exactly as I expected it would go. My team takes hill. Once we have that hill supremacy, we can just haul down because that's the better spawn to hold the entrance of hill. The enemy team really didn't, wasn't able to do much after that. So 2,500, very, I guess, average game. Good work to our 1 2 1 who took the hill. Man's totally farmed. 3 to 300 damage up there and let's jump into another game ah i would still prefer the vk90 very different tank though of course so basically chinese 260 with different gun uh, yes but it has more effective armor than a 260 i would say hey fanis finally able to watch you live hello I missed quite a few of the other ones lewis great to see you back here uh post memer hello how's it going i mean 5a came out before 260 oh man so let me tell you my first experience with the 5a was not a very positive one so i was a tester many many years back i technically i still am but uh, uh when the 5a came out it was a big no bueno vehicle not something that was very nice i had like sub 3000 average in it for 90 games or something like that yeah i did not have very much fun and at that time i was averaging like 3500 3600 tier 10 usually anyways we are still doing okay i did have one game before i started the stream so that's why my average still looks okay for now we'll see if we can maintain it let's jump into this one now instead of going towards the heavy tank side and dealing with potentially a hold on e3 supported by a 57 heavy i noticed immediately that the enemy team have quite a few 
deadly medium tanks. And it looks like out of those medium tanks, our standard B is, is just going to get roasted alive over here. This dude doesn't really stand much of a chance. And unfortunately, I think I made just a slight miscalculation here. Let's see if this TVP gives me a shot. All right. I tried to snapshot him. It didn't quite work out. Now that I know the TVP is on a long reload, I'm going to start just getting out of here. Because we can see the E3 is in the corner or over all the way on this side of the map. We have a T100 LT here. Let's put a blind shot in just in case. Almost hitting him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just over him. But I have to run away from here. Because once our 4202 is down, our standard B is going to die in an instant. And I will have zero support. So I need to start relocating. And here's where that excellent mobility on the 5A really comes in handy to get out of a nasty, nasty situation. Now, fortunately, I still don't have any allied support. Although, just intuition tells me most of the enemy team is likely going to push in towards this left-hand side because that's where most of my allies are. So it's aim, boom, blind shot into the 62A. Unfortunately, that one did miss. We might be spotted up. I'm going to hold here for now because you can see I have a TVP down low. And I'd like to be able to provide a little bit of support for the allies. 62A is still sitting here. I'm not really sure why. So unfortunately, we take a shell from him. And we do have to watch out. You know, the TBP could pop up on our right anytime. And, and we don't want that to happen. Let's just wait for a second. See if he pokes forwards. Put a blind shot in just in case. That one might have gone in. We'll see if I get spotted up. We do get spotted up. Made by the AMX. And we're just going to hold here for now. Because my team are about to get them double caps. Which would be lovely. And we might even be able to put another shell into this dude. Unfortunately, we hit him in the mantlet. So that shot didn't really go where I was hoping it would. It looks like the it looks like the 62A has pulled out of this engagement, and the MX-30 is about to get bombed by whatever uh, TVP that's down low. So I'm going to deal with this 200 LT. Luckily for me, the 200 LT doesn't have the best DPM, so I can kind of deal with them to some extent here. Let's put another shell into them. We're going to try and block them off from getting around me. There we go. We get a nice little ram. Ooh, 192 damage in. Very good. We're going to keep him pressured here for now. Hopefully, he struggles to pin us just a little bit. Mans isn't really thinking too clearly here. Let's get a nice little ram kill on him in just a moment. Bob needs to be dead any moment now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. 2, two HP. 2 HP. All right, watch. And then we just back up and kill him. Nice. Okay. So, this game's looking pretty chill. I, I really wasn't able to farm a whole lot. The enemy team have kind of fallen apart in our own spawn. Good work to the TVP and whatnot. But... It's not over yet. The enemy team still have a full HP uh, T1 T183. They still have a two shot 57. Our IS4 is about to get taken down. And so now it is a three on three engagement. It's me, this tortoise, and TVP. Luckily for us, the tortoise is full HP. So if we need a meat shield, he would suffice uh, to some extent. And I think what I'm going to do here. I'm going to see if I can spot up in this bush for now. I think the E3 is going to go into B, personally. I think that's the most likely situation. We know that our TVP is taking A side. Our, our um, tortoise is up top here. There's the 57 Heavy. Let's put a quick shell towards Mr. 57 Heavy here in just a moment. Boom, 575. Nice little max roll. Very good. That's what we like to see. I do, unfortunately, get spotted up. But now we know where the E3 and where the 57 Heavy are. Good news for us. And I think what I might try doing here... Let's rotate back and go haul down up top. Now, let's see if we can do this safely. Okay, so the 62 way is down here as well, which means the E3, in fact, did not go up top, as I thought he would. There's the 57 Heavy. Let's load up a high explosive shell to finish him off. Very nice. And so, yeah, not bad. We should be good now. We should be good now. I'm going to go see if I can clear out the 62 way, who is being quite aggressive on this side here. So let's put a quick kill shot into him. And then we'll just pop on up behind this D1183, who's soon going to be having a very bad day as he's getting double cross-fired out by both me and the torches. So E3, trying to back up. Can't say that's a bad plan at all. Let's load up a high explosive shell for the booty. 705, very nice. And TVP is just going to finish him off. All right, so we got 3K out this game. 5A did his job. What I want to call out about this particular battle um, Fadis is back and only 160 viewers. The stream just started. Uh, if you don't know how, like, live streams work, generally speaking, what happens is you don't really reach your peak until, like, an hour in, uh, in terms of consecutive viewers. Okay, so... What was I saying? Relocation. Super important. I initially wanted to go with our meds, because I was like, alright, you know, let's support the meds. Both teams are pretty light. We'll see if we can do it. The moment I realized, oh no, our med side is gonna get trashed. We had to turn around and run away. And run away. I, I know, I was leaving the 422, I was leaving the standard B. Those dudes are practically dead already. And so the really important thing that I was able to accomplish there was keeping my tank in the game, preventing the enemy team from taking map control behind our spawn. And by doing that, it allowed us to eventually get the win. So you really do want to think about that, especially in a 5A. 
you don't want to hold in a position where you're necessarily just going to get outright YOLO'd, you know, by a bunch of mobile tanks. You want to use that mobility to sometimes retreat to a safer spot and then go a haul down, really preventing the enemy team from progressing on a flank, which worked out quite well. Now, for this third battle, we are over here on Desert Sands. The enemy team have two meds. TVP is probably about to get this just straight up YOLO'd. He's about to have a bad day. And so far, I don't know if anybody's in town, but I have a feeling their heavy tanks might have come this direction as well. Why? Because they have Amex 50B and a Chief to Mark VI. These are both mobile heavy tanks, not really the most heavily armored town fighters, vehicles that work a lot better in a dunes environment. So the TVP gets taken out instantly. Leo is full sending it. Oh my goodness. He just straight up went over the mid. Dude's about to just lose all of his HP here. I mean, I hope it was worth it for the single kill shot you were able to accomplish there, buddy. He gets taken out. So that leaves the Chieftain over here. And you can see that enemy team actually do have heavies going towards their spawn. So let's get ready to work down this, this Chieftain Mark VI, who is by himself. He's not going to survive very long. I'm going to be aware of TDs up on the rails. So here's a Gorilla 15. Let's load up a high explosive shell. 501. Very nice little HE into that Gorilla 15. The reason I didn't just YOLO out into the Chieftain Mark 6, by the way, is because I was concerned they may have a TD on those rails, which they, in fact, did. But the Gorilla's going to be running away. I'm sure the T22 is about to kill this Chieftain here in a moment. Very nice. And it looks like my team are in a fairly solid position, although... Mr. 50B, Mr. T124 are on the rails, and the E4 did put a shell into me. Wasn't really expecting that because I, I figured he would be a little bit more focused on the dudes in our spawn. We'll put a blind shot in. Oh, almost hitting him. Well, the gun worked, and for, unfortunately, we didn't really have an angle to pen him unless we hit his hatch. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure my allies are taking rails. I'm going to push up to this, to this ramp here. And see if we can try and sneak some shells into this T124. So T124 is trying to pull away. Let's put a quick shell towards him. That's the amazing gun handling. Something that the good old IS-7 cannot reliably accomplish is shots like that. Now, for a spawn, M4 should do a decent job of spotting. I'm going to be careful, though. If I get caught up by 50B, maybe a 183 back there, we could have some big issues to deal with. Now, Mr. T124 is still backing up into safety. Good for him. And it looks like Mr. 50B has backed out as well. So let's see if we can pull up here just a little bit. Okay, there's the grill of 15. Let's aim a shell into the grill. 448 again. Very nice. I'm just trying to get a better feel for where their tanks are positioned. And I believe the 183 is probably with the Amex 50B. So, yeah, he is kind of near the Amex 50B. Let's pull down low and get ready to see if we can deal with this 50B. And T124 and all those dudes. So 50B is kind of distracted around this corner. We might want to focus on prioritizing this T124 first, although the E4 is already taken out. Lovely stuff. We know there's a 183 over here on my left side, so let's keep an eye on him. Get a quick snapshot in, back up real quickly. 50B is like, ooh, yes, let me just back out sideways. And uh, yeah, he's losing a lot of HP for it. Anyways, let's aim for that Maxwell HE. Oh, not quite, but 630 is still great. Here's with that alpha damage. He's just lovely, able to shoot on the move as well. We know the 183 is probably right around the corner somewhere around here. So let's get ready to see where Mr. 183 is at. So far, hiding very, very well. All right, let's see. We can probably pick up a kill on the grill. I should have just saved my shot and farmed the 183. We're going to do about 3k. So we're not farming a whole lot, but we're, we're doing a good job and we're getting them dubs. So I'm happy about that. Hey, yo, well, 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 first dono, curious. Thank you very much, curious, for the $100 donation. Massive shout out to curious, my man. Curious, are you a mod on the channel? I, I don't know why I thought you would be. Uh... Oh, add moderator. I'll put Curious as a mod. You're pretty chill. Curious, thank you so much for the donation. Super appreciate it. Maybe we get the big brain farms from now on. Thanks for the donation. Yes, yes, yes. That wasn't a dream. I was in the same <laughs> Tai Chi group. Huh? Halfway? What are you talking about? Fantasy using Cavern 5A is blasphemy. Is it? You know what? Let's... I I'm going to it back to Rammer because I was running Rammer uh, beforehand. I only switched to Calibrated today. <laughs> what I don't know that is. Yes, yes. Shout out to Curious Guys. Shout out. Let's reach that 100 like mark. We are almost there. Okay. So, I'm not getting the big brain farms. Maybe it's my fault. Not positioning the tank properly. Maybe I need to be a little more aggressive. Although, a word of caution once again. If you are trying to win in the 5A, you get too aggressive, it's very easy to die. You know, this isn't an IS-7 where you can just straight up YOLO. You'll be fine. Life's good. Uh-uh. That ain't the case. <laughs> you gotta be a little more careful. But also, if you're a little too cautious, which I think I have been a little bit for these last few games, the the farm will escape you. And and we don't want that because we are the resident his royal fatness damage farming. Um, co. So we're gonna go up into the middle of the map here. Enemy team IS-7, E100, 5A, uh, Kampfpanzer, and quite a few, you know, quite a few 
decent vehicles, I would dare say. That could be problematic. Now, we're going to lower it to 5A for now and see if there's anyone in this mid-alley. So far, no one's in the mid-alley. Looks like the entirety of the enemy team may have gone up towards A side of the map and are not, in fact, working on this middle area. Now, they still have an E3 unspotted. I would like to be a little bit cautious. Okay, there's the E3. And here's where the 5A is. Now, as for support, I have zero. That's the only thing that's making me a little bit hesitant to pull all the way forward here. Unfortunately, hitting the 5A in the space sidearm, our man's is poking out sideways, and we did miss our opportunity to farm him. Standard B, probably not going to survive very long. Now, they don't have any, like, other tank destroyers and stuff, so let's get ready to see if we can deal with at least killing the Conf Panzer. And, oh, no, hitting the back of his turret there, but unfortunately, ricocheting. Let's just keep focusing on the engagement in front of us. A3 should not be a problem as of right now. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about this 5A, who, who is kind of straight up just sitting sideways over here. Let's give a little track shot, 490, that's what we'd like to see. The E3 is still not a problem, looks like he's about to get yellowed, 5A is starting to get farmed out. Man is having a real bad day, to say the least, so let's put another shell to his lower plate, 517, very nice, 1,000 damage with two shots there. I think this game's already over, so realistically, your boy should probably be pretty aggressive here. If he wants to get more damage. Let's put a quick kill shot towards this dude. Uh, I was trying to avoid taking a shot from him. We'll angle up to the Conf Panzer so he can at least not pen me. We are safe from the E3. Now with Adrenaline and Rammer, I should out-reload this dude. Very nice. And the Conf Panzer doesn't have any hopes of out-reloading me or catching me here. Although he might think he does, but he does not. So we have an IS-7 going towards the corner here. And it looks, looks like he's just going to pull out in front of us. Put a quick shot to his side. Nice. I think this game is over. And the C100 is about to die to the 57. So let's just YOLO this... Um, this IS-7, trying to get a little bit of farm in before it's too late. We are at least a fairly fast heavy tank, so we do manage to catch a nice shell to his rear. Yo is struggling with his life because, well, dude doesn't look like he's very confident with penning IS-7s. And it is, you know what? The score is closer than I expected. 4-4. Enemy Z3 is absolutely killing it. Man's is still alive. 57 will have the kill here in just a moment. So let's turn our attention elsewhere. Enemy team still have a 62A. I don't know his HP, but I don't, probably not a whole lot. Um, yeah, he's about 430 HP, so he's about a one-shot, and, and we know the E3 is 200 HP, so we'll get maybe just under 3,000 damage once again. Oh, man, I obviously just suck at this point, man. I, 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 have I pulled, like, 3K plus in this tank so far? Oh, wow, that's the rammer life. You hate to see it. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. That was his lower plate, his great lower plate. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We do out-reload the E3 here. Let's put a quick kill shot into him. Pop that adrenaline and turn our attention over to 628. Don't yell forward. Don't yell forward, but allies will kill you. Yes, give me the damage. Yes, we got our 3K. Let's go. All right. <sighs> so much work for 3,000 damage. I am just great at this game. Rammer plus adrenaline makes this DPM pop off. That is true. 2,800 or so DPM with Rammer is pretty spicy, although you felt the pain of it against that E3 bouncing that huge off his lower plate there. Uh, GG to the O. Pulling 3,600. He did a good job pulling that corner. I wasted a little bit too much time on that 5A, to be honest. But I just didn't want to YOLO in. Like, at that time, the E3 was kind of in mid. He could have turned towards me, potentially. And, of course, they still had a couple tanks that are unspotted. I didn't want to push in on the 5A by myself and then see, like, the enemy team just turn around and YOLO me and kill me. So I was a bit slow on that push. In retrospect, if I was a little faster, probably got a little more damage out and, and still would have won. But that's the type of stuff that's just... You don't really know 100%, so it's better to play it safe than sorry. Sir... On your heavies, do you prefer enhanced consumable or consumable cooldown? Um, consumable cooldown on the yo, because I use the double double consumables for the reticle calibration and interclip buff. Okay, so next game. Nice hold on map, Normandy. Enemy team have a 60 TP, a VK-72, an E-100, a 50B, an STB-1, by the way, who is actually a fairly decent player. And so... I am a little bit hesitant to go mid, especially as it looks like most of my team is just kind of congregating wherever. So you know what? Instead, let's go up towards this middle section up top rather than your typical haul down position and see what we can do from up here. Now, of course, the enemy team having three German super heavies, this is risky because they could straight up just full send it over here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I think I might have made a slight mistake. Maybe we should turn around and immediately head downhill because the grill is not covering. Okay, at least we know what the VK-72 is, but the grill is is not covering the meds down low, which means they could be exposed to a YOLO from us. Now, 50B is kind of behind them. Look at the minimap. He's the one that's sniping. Good to know. Looks like the VK-72 and whatnot are over here. Let's get ready to move in. We're going to use this rock as cover if the VK tries shooting at me, although he might be able to just hit me here. Oh, he ricocheted off my turret and pens me. Get out of here. 
That is garbage. <laughs> That's straight up garbage. So the grill's still on our right. Let's keep an eye out for him. Let's put a quick heat shell on towards the VK. Unfortunately, not penning. But I have a big brain Yag pushing up with me. So I'm not like super concerned about getting, you know, YOLO by this VK here. Let's get ready to put another heat shell to his side. There we go. That one does go in. Very nice. The gun worked there. And I believe the girl's going to run away. Now our team is taking high ground control. But as you can see, they are... Enemy team is also taking that low ground control. It's aiming a hat shot into this dude. Very nice. 50B and VK are over here. Now with our team slowly losing this mid area i think the safest play that i can make right now is to get pretty much haul down up top here we're gonna use this area as hopefully my haul down position where i can deal with the enemy team here's the gorilla 15 let's put a quick snapshot towards them unable to hit that but now i should have a decent haul down position to deal with maybe this grill this e100 we'll avoid the vk if at all possible e100 is about to pull out sideways maybe we can get a nice shot into his haul very good i'm gonna hold with this yag we do have these two dudes up top i there's nothing i can really do to keep our e100 safe at this point in time this dude is already dead so we're just gonna have to accept that our man is not gonna survive there's the grill let's put a quick shell into him all right we're gonna hold for now Although this is looking very, very uncool in terms of situations to be in. Because the enemy team are, well, they're pushing up below us. Here's the 50 Bs. Put a quick shot on the him. And, of course, this grill is going to keep trying to shoot at me. Now, hopefully, he's going to struggle to find a good shot. Oh, my gosh. He hits the hat shot. Good shot by the grill, I suppose. And there goes our Yagpanzer 100 Put a quick track shot towards this dude. 575. It is looking all kinds of bad for your boy here. I believe the 50B is on a long reload. There's the grill. He's still trying to shoot at me. We do manage to avoid that shell at least. STB is pulling up on our left here. Let's put a quick shell into him. Very nice. He's now a one shot, but he might have begun to push the hatch snipe me here. Not quite. We're just going to have to keep pulling back because I know that 50B is going to yell all over pretty soon. Here's the Vicar's Light. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Sadly, that one goes to Narnia and doesn't pen. We do manage to avoid a shell from him. And so my team gets absolutely steamrolled. Good play by the enemy team. They did a very effective push together through the mid here. And so that's why your boy is just definitely going to be losing this one. Let's put at least an H into the 50B. Very nice. Getting a little HE shell. We're going to sit here for now. See if we can get maybe some ricochets into our space side armor. That doesn't look like it's going to be the case. And we are probably going to die. Good attempt. Unfortunately, not a whole lot I could do there. So, in retrospect, uh, what I could have probably done better here was actually support Evo 100 and VK earlier on in the match. I spent a lot of time in this middle area, and I definitely got a bit unlucky the VK penned me there. I, I wish I hadn't been penned there, because if I had more HP, I would have been more confident to push in, but I didn't. And so, we did get 3,700 damage out. I think we did an okay job dealing the damage, but in terms of game-winning plays, I was just kind of simmed back and farming. Although, to be fair... The enemy team did do a really strong push, and my allies were very split up. I mean, we had our 422 and one other tank wandering around towards the enemy spawn. Our E100 VK got way caught out and just died, and so it definitely wasn't ideal. But if I was able to support them maybe a little better there, maybe made a faster rotation towards A, we could have had a better chance of winning that match. I, I can't say for certain because, honestly, the enemy team's push was pretty immaculate because we had no TDs in our spawn. That was the issue. No TDs in our spawn meant they had no one to worry about shooting at them. Let's put a hatch shot towards the 422. Oh, no. He gets hatched by 183 right through the hatch. What a way to start your game. I don't usually go into the middle of the map, by the way. But the enemy team have a 60 TP and an IS-4. And just knowing the 5 ace characteristics, the last thing you really want to do is take a one-on-one -on -one engagement versus those types of vehicles. I'm going to let the Progetto do a little bit of spotting here. And as I thought, the enemy team are headed in towards C. So the Progetto should have a kill on this dude. Progetto, I will kill him for you because, yeah, you somehow didn't kill him. And so we're going to go retake mid up on the enemy side now. We should have a decent haul down position to hopefully find them out. I don't want to block this Progetto, so I'm hoping he gives me a little bit of space here soon. Hello there, buddy. Give me just a little bit of space to go haul down here, and I will happily farm out some damage. There we go. So we are haul down. Here's the IS-4. He's going to give me a side shot soon. Let's aim that one in. 399. Very nice. My rear should be safe. As you can see, we have all these tanks here. Now, if I had no one back through A, I would be worried about getting YOLO'd from behind. But that's just simply not the case, because we have all these vehicles here. They're just chilling. All right, IS-4 give me a little bit lower plate. Sadly, barely missing that shell. He is shooting at a... 300 that would definitely not be him i think that's that's heat heat from something else okay so we are going to keep working down this is4 here let's see a little bit too much side there 520 that's what you like to see very good stuff we i think we definitely made the right play imagine i had not read the lineup before entering this battle and i just did what heavy tanks usually do which is go towards c cap i would have died man they have a tvp and is4 uh, i believe they have some other tanks up top there probably the grills what shot he at me i mean your boy would have been french toast he, he just he would not have been in this game to do a whole lot all right oh oh my gosh 
Okay, nice shot. That Leo just saved the TVP from getting hit by me. But I believe the 1A3 just screwed up his day anyways. Okay, so Leo is out there bopping his own allies like the gamer warlord that he is. It looks like IS4 is still chilling here. Here's the Gorilla 15. He's probably backing up right about there. Sadly, that shot goes high. Could have shot the Leopard, but I'm a bit worried about crossfires for now. And okay, so 1A3. Oh, he bombs the Leo as well. This 1A3 has done some really blessed work for the team. 60 TP probably just spotted me up, in which case I'm likely going to take a shot from the gorilla let's put a quick shell towards the is4 and you know what we're being too passive i mean these dudes just eliminated i think it's mostly thanks to that uh 405 absolutely just slam dunked on that 60 tp and my gosh these games are very one-sided so i don't think we're gonna farm a whole lot here especially with this grill this kind of big chilling up here man's man's has no concerns in the world let's put an he towards his tank there oh yes 511 there we go at least getting 2k damage out and the dub i'll take it uh not the highest farm though let's be honest okay <laughs> yo what's up hrf hey king slayer good to see you welcome to today's stream all right okay so fun fact i'm driving the same tank and going into matches right before fatness getting the exact same map he gets every time oh man Maybe you have sim control mode off or something, in which case you're in the same kind of cluster in terms of maps that Wargaming usually give at one point, one period of time in matchmaking, but you're not in the mobile queues. I, I assume that might be it. L5 L came out in the Black Friday, so I can buy, so I can buy it for my other account. I see, dudes, dudes, big braining with the dual account wields. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go left and we're gonna try and help our meds out. One E100 IS4. Better town tanks than me. I don't want to take that fight. Two, one, eight, three could just make my day miserable. And three, we have four meds versus their three. Very good chance that my team is just going to slay the med side. Or the enemy team are just going to full on go support the med side. Sadly, missing our first shot on the MX-50B. Let's get down from here as quickly as possible to avoid getting shot. We were spotted by the Sheridan, which does have the highest view range in tier 10. So we don't want to deal with that. And it looks like our 62A is just yelling around like a maniac. So enemy team... Very likely they're headed to this side of the map. Now, they have some tanks on C. Good news is they are a little split then. But we still got to be very, very, very careful about what we do next. So I believe this Sheridan is not quite spotting me up here. Let's put a quick shell towards the 50B. Oh, just missing him. I was trying to sneak a shell in before he's able to get on B. And it looks like the enemy team are going for that big brain double cap strat. We need someone to take the corner here. Now, I don't want to take shots from the 50B. But if we could put a shell into him. Oh my gosh. Where did that shell go? Yeah, the 50B's turret armor was nerfed. Look where it bounced. Right off a gray spot. Unfortunate for me. Looks like we have a Sheridan over here. He's curious about shooting me. Let's snapshot him as well. There we go. That's the gun handling we wanted to see. The nice snappy gun of the 5A. Getting a good shell into him. And it looks like right about now. 50B. The Sheridan as well. Let's put a shell into him. And oh my gosh. Look at that gun seeing. Sheridan gets taken out. The other Sheridan's over here. IS-4 is moving into our spawn, but it looks like, yeah, this Sheridan is about to get dunked on as well. Let's get ready to put a shell into the back of his tank, 440. We're going to hop onto A cap because I don't want my team to go to a double cap deficit. Not a very fun experience, as we all know, on Supremacy. And let's see if we can almost reload in time to shoot him. And the last three enemy tanks, besides this one to one are, in fact, in our spawn. So, not bad. Not bad. Oh, -hoo -hoo. All right. Uh, great focus fire by the allies. Luckily for me, the enemy team had... Three wandering Andes in town doing absolutely nothing to help the homies out. And so, Rammer life. Yeah, great stuff. Let's aim for that front of his turret. Oh my gosh, we actually managed to hit his turret ring. That's insane. So, managed to fed his turret ring, which is lovely stuff. And we do have a 183 over here. He's kind of just big chilling in the mid. Just put a shot to his lower plate. Nice stuff. We are at 2200 damage so far. I think what we can do is get ready to start pressuring this IS-4. We're going to use this little hill as helpful cover. 183 is not likely going to be poking me anytime soon. IS-4 is pulling back. Let's put a shot to him. Oh, yes. The gun is working. We're going to angle our turret back towards the 183 and E100 so these dudes don't get overconfident and try killing me. 183 will take him out real quick. Good stuff. You can see where this DPM, man. This DPM upgrade that the 5A got an update 9.1 is just... Oh, man, it's just so handy. All right, IS-4 is, is looking back to shoot at me. Let's put a quick shot on his large plate. Nice little max roll. 3,300 damage dealt. My man's is about to go down way before I can farm him out. So that's a GG if I've ever seen one. Very fast game, but you know what? At this point, I have accepted the weekend teams are going to make these absolute steamroll fests. <laughs> My, my, my. Fanish should start a career in commentary. You would, you sound like a football game commentator. <laughs> commentator. Very good at it. Ah, thank you, guy with a cat profile pick. Do appreciate it. Okay, so we did pretty okay. 3,300. I mean, two or three other my allies did 3K, so good for them. I I'm hoping to get some slightly more intense games so we can get some more farm out, but we will see. We hit those nasty shots. Yes, that game just demonstrated when the 
5 A's gun can just be so spicy. Like, hitting some of those snapshots was just very satisfying. That's what I love about the tank. It's gun. Like, more than anything, there's... I don't think there's a better 128 millimeter on a tier 10 heavy tank with the only exception maybe being the vk90 because it does get ready cal and of course really good standard pen which the 5a doesn't and so let's look into our opponents here is4 kronwagen vk90 nasty heavy tanks allies want to go left so i kind of like i prefer fighting on this side because there's a lot more haul down engagements for you but you know if your whole team wants to go the other direction i'd be pretty stupid to keep fighting on that end of the map although hello 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 progetto back up I'm trying to run away, but I also was hoping to sneak a shell into him. Doesn't look like that will be the case. And wow, the heavies are really intent on YOLOing this end of the map. So what can we do about this? Honestly, not a whole lot. Uh, we need to clear out their med side first, obviously, because uh, if we don't, we're going to get flanked and our lives are going to suck big time. And so what I think I'm going to do, there's the enemy's IS-4. Let's put a snapshot towards his lower plate, almost hitting it. I mean, gosh, that shot nearly snapshot at that lower plate. Would have been nice if we had done that. And it looks like the Kronwagen is over here as well. I'm going to start slapping that SOS button soon here if my allies don't come in and help me. And it looks like we have a Kron back and I'll put a quick shot on him. Trading pretty close. I wouldn't say that was a good trade. If he'd rolled sub 400, that would have been a decent trade, but that's not the case. Showing a little too much side there. That was on me and absolutely nothing else. Obviously, we can't keep working this corner. And our Kron is... Hey, he's, he's a bit distracted. Man, doesn't really know what's happening. So, let's wait here for a moment. Okay, so that dude just fired. The VK90 is in the middle here. So, let's get ready to see if we can load a heat shell up from the side of his turret. There we go, 455. I'm just going to keep my attention fixed on, you know, what the enemy team is doing. They are quite split up. We do have a few crossfires in here, which is really good news for me. Like, on this Chief to Mark 6, put a shell into him, 430. I'm not worried about the Kron, because the 405 is going to keep him at bay. I mean, he can shoot me once or something, but in the end, there's not going to be a whole lot our mans can do here. He's way overexposed. Let's track him. 405 is about to grief this dude, so say goodbye to that mans. And it looks like the VK is starting to push up as well. So we still have some crossfire here. Oh, high explosive, please. Oh, what? 490. Bit of a low roll, but I'll take it. We are farming up a storm. The enemy team heavy tanks are just all over the place. They're just, they're just hardcore wandering. They don't know what they're doing. So let's put another HE into this dude. And we have a Jaegeru. A wild Jaeger, full sending it right on in behind us here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to push forward on this IS-4. Let's put a shell to his lower plate, 430. We're going to push across so we get safe from the Progetto, but at least we won't get dealt a shot by the Jagdpanzer 100. Although, to be fair, this game is pretty much over. So let's see if we can do anything about the Progetto, 480 into him. We are somewhat safe from the Jag. We've already fallen about 3,800 damage up so far, and I don't think the Jag's pushing on me just yet which is good news. So let's get ready to deal with Mr. IS-4 here. Put a shot into his side, 480. 4,000 damage dealt. This is what we like to see. A little bit more farm. You feel me? You feel me? It's just a lot It's a lot more enjoyable when you get that farm going. So let's get ready to push onto this dude's lower plate. Oh my gosh! How did it his outside drive wheel? Getting, uh, getting a little bit unlucky there with that one, but it's not the end of the world. We might still be able to hit another shell to our mans over here at least. Very nice. I don't really care if I die to the Progetto. My, my primary objective right now is just to get that farm out. Yes, extra 12 damage. You see, we are absolutely massive brain. All right. Well, that was a fun farm fest. That's more like it. It was still a steamroll, but we got the, we got the farm. Just here for Bobby. Ho uh, hop. Thank you so much for the donation. She is under the bed. I'm sure when she is ready to... You know, when she's finished her makeup and stuff and she's ready to pop up on stream, she will make her appearance as she usually does. At some point, T22 farming almost 5k. My gosh, my allies either did everything or nothing. Like, our, our Type 71 did a single shot of damage. Our IS-7 did like one and a half shots. Our Leopard did two shots. And then everyone else just did like a lot more, like more than enough work. That's kind of funny. I honestly thought our team damage spread would be a lot better than that. And I'll go. I'm actually curious to see how that would go. Uh? <laughs> All right. Seems very similar to the WC-111-14. You are precisely right. It is extremely similar to the 1-4, which is one of my favorite tier 9 heavies. Probably the reason why I like the 5A so much. Would I say it's an incredible damage farming heavy? Nah, it's a little hit or miss in terms of damage farming. But overall, it is pretty comfortable. Like, you know what the 111-5A does. You know what it can and cannot do. And so, as long as you kind of understand the basics of this tank, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with it. Now, my main concern for this matchup here, you know, I want to go and counter cap. Intuition's like, nah fam, don't do it. Why? Because they're going to send a Sheridan, maybe some Krons or something up to that position there, and make my life a living hell. So, we're going to actually make the alternative play. I don't really do this, so do be warned. I might do this not correctly, but I kind of want to push into this ditch here. So I can get a bit of an alternative perspective of what the enemy team are doing. So first, we're going to see if there's any TDs here. So far, none are spotted. We're going to see if we can spot any heavies crossing into the town. So far, nothing spotted. So 
my bet is their team did do what I was thinking, which was for the most part, oh, hello, 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 which is for the most part, go towards the ruins. Now they do have a mill up top over here and a yo in their spawn. They do have an E3 over here as well. I'm just gonna keep spotting this, this side up. Don't really have to worry about a whole lot right now. It's a mill, can't quite shoot me. My main concern is my, behind me, but we do know there's things in our spawn that are covering me. The Emil is getting absolutely just yoinked on for being a little too aggressive here. Let's put a key shell into this turret, very nice. Constantly keeping an eye out for this crossfire and that crossfire. Those are the crossfires that I am most scared of. No way, the E3 splashes me for 400. What an absolute gamer. Okay, so it looks like we have a yo over here. Let's put a quick shell to his side. Very nice. E3 splashing me right in the hatch for 400. That kind of sucked, but you know what? Not the end of the world. And there's that second crossfire I was worried about. Immediately was turned back from the grill. Very nice. Put a shell towards him. Can't quite hit it, but always be aware. See, if you're making plays like this and you're not really paying attention to what the enemy team could be doing, I might have received like 600 in the rear just because I wasn't paying attention to what that grill was doing. But as we were kind of aware, you know what? This grill's probably going to poke me soon. We were able to stay safe from taking at least a shell from him. There's the E3. <laughs> By no means can I pen that. Looks like the 57's in our spawn as well. Interesting stuff. Enemy team not doing so well. Looks like the 57 took a shot from one of their tanks here. e 3 is probably going to pull up and shoot me soon. Let's put a quick shell towards this dude. Very nice. 450 pull down from the E3. Good stuff. We are so far doing okay. The grill might be in that bush. The 183 is who knows where. Looks like the 183 just botched one of my allies. And that yo is still big chilling in the enemy spawn. No, I can't poke on this yo anymore because as we are very well aware of by now, the enemy team have a grill and a Sheridan in that bush. So let's try and avoid taking some shots from that dude and see what we can do elsewhere. I'm going to back up just a little bit. I don't know if that E3 spotted me. He may or may not have spotted me. We're going to use this rock as cover. It looks like the 57 might be considering a poke here, which I'm going to keep my eye out on. We do, unfortunately, get spotted up. Now, I don't think I can get shot from there, but I can't tell because I can't really spot it up. There we go. We're, we're good and safe. I think the E3 is pulling up a little bit here. There's that grill. Let's put a quick shell towards him. No. <laughs> No way, we hit the Sheridan's tracks and, and don't pen. The reason I pulled forward there is because I knew the E3 was trying to shoot me from behind. So it's just all about maintaining that situational awareness of what their tanks are doing. As far as farming, I am doing nothing. You know, we're not getting any damage out right now. And so that has me a little concerned, but we have 2000 spotting. So you know what? Shout out to the epic bra big brain spotting plays. Okay, there's the grill. Sheridan's being a little more aggro up here. Let's see what the Sheridan decides to do. We are safe from the E3, I believe. The grill is a different problem. Of course, the Sheridan. Oh, okay, there's the E3. Let's see if we can HE's hatch. Nice stuff. I'm sure the grill might poke me soon, but we do have the C1 or 1A3 as cover fire. And you know, as we're on three shots of damage, we just gotta say screw it and full send. That's the only way we're getting damage. Now, I think the 1A3 is probably covering this dude. Put a snapshot into this man's and pull back from the 1A3. As predicted, there he is. I figured the Sheridan would only be sitting there if he had cover fire. That's precisely the case. He had a whole lot of cover fire. 960 alpha damage with the cover fire. Let's track this dude in the open. Very nice. We're gonna keep him in place for a little while longer. There's still a yo. There's still a 1A3. So there's still farm for us to enjoy, hopefully. All right, so Sheridan's escaping. Snapshot, oh, unlucky. We miss out our opportunity. The grill is, well, he just max rolled the yo, I think, for 800, so he's having a real good time. Let's just wait for a second. See if the Sheridan tries to run away towards me. Um, looks like he is not doing that. I don't want to get 183, so I'm a little concerned about that. All right, let's get ready to, to bop the Sheridan here. But back up just a little bit. Oh, that's a 183. It's back up from that. No, he snaps that off. Insane gamer plays by Monsieur 183 here. Okay, our grill's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on this bridge. Now, you might be wondering, oh, that's a bit of an interesting play. The reason we're getting onto this bridge is simply because the 183 won't be able to shoot at me. Okay, so there's the Sheridan. The 183 will not be able to outmaneuver me here. So I just have to big chill. You know, I don't have to do a whole lot here. Now my controls are glitching out a little bit. So let's just hope our grill can clear out that Sheridan and then come and help me when he needs to. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. I don't think I have any shots on the Sheridan. Nice work, grill. Nice, nice work. This grill has absolutely played a perfect game. Shout out to him. And so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna turn our tank around. So we are ready to run under when necessary. We're gonna position ourselves to track the 183 on his way up. And then we're just gonna die bomb low. Now this is a risky play because if we don't track the 183, or if he is super speedy on the repair kits, we could have some significant problems here. Although the 183 is below us, but a snapshot towards his hatch. There's that 5A gun handling. Absolutely love you. lovely. You hate to see it if you're that 183. And I think we can continue to pull back a little bit here. Snapshot him, pull down, and we have farmed 3,000 damage up. So not the most exciting game for the most part. 
But we did manage to farm up a decent amount of damage in the end. It was one of the shelters is detached. Not quite able to hit that. But we did manage to farm a decent amount of damage in the end. Where's the grill at? There's the grill. 183's just fired. Good stuff for me. And we can just probably pull on over the top here. Pick up a quick kill. You know. Or, no, you know what? He's just gonna let the grill kill him. He's just gonna let the grill kill him. How amusing. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you didn't just let me kill you, bro. You just sat there and let the grill take his, li take his life. So, 3k damage. Not a ton in terms of farm. Very true. Uh, but we did get 24, 2300 spotting for the team just by taking that middle position. Excellent work to the grill and even shout out to the Yag and shout out to the 183. All or nothing. All or nothing teammates. We had four dudes do 3k and then like everyone else did zero. <laughs> um, but what we did do there and I think what was good, at least an example of this game, which you can learn from is situational awareness. Very important if you're going to be playing a position like that mid spot every single time i figured there would probably be a tank that would poke on me from a certain angle or this is an angle you need to be aware of a tank showed up the grill the sheridan the 183 you know all those vehicles uh, the entire battle is like you know we're gonna watch out for that because they'll probably pull up there soon precisely what happened you want to get into the habit of analyzing every position you play in that kind of way Always try and figure out, okay, if there's an enemy, an enemy here, where are they going to pop up from? How should I react to this? And if you do that, you'll be able to react a lot more easily to a lot of situations. <laughs> excellent, excellent, yes. Beautiful accuracy. Enemy team with the double five A's. And my life sucks. So, allies are being big no bueno. By that, I mean, <laughs> they are going the opposite direction of the five A's. I don't have any support here. So, with this grill running away, with our 60 TP and our E3, and all those just wandering to the other side of the map, you know, I gotta make a break for it. I don't really have much of a choice. So I backed up initially, so I'd be able to get out safely, which we have now done. And the question is, do we YOLO in and clear the meds, or do we try and hold our spawn to prevent the 5As from dunking on the whole team? If I try to hold spawn, my only support will be this grill of 15. But, at the same time, I think that is a valuable you know, position to hold with the team. So here's one of the five A's, put a shell on the M500. We are hauled down thanks to these rocks, so we can hold this position for now. I'm gonna do my best to continue resetting this cap, but it's a little too late to get it with the double tanks on, on the cap there. It's for another shell to this 5A, very nice. The Gorilla 15's not doing a whole lot to uh, help help your boy out, but not the end of the world. Let's see, the next 5A is pulling forwards, aim for that upper plate, 460. You can see we are just farming up a storm here, doing a very good job. We're gonna start backing up because that 5A is gonna be hauled down versus me very soon. Don't really want to deal with that. Now, if they both push in opposite directions where I can't really get their attention all at the same time, we definitely got a big issue here. And, well, my issue is I'm about to get YOLO'd straight up by these 5As. So, let's back up from 5A number one, put a shell into them, 575. We're going to pull forward a little bit. My goal here, let's just get these dudes on opposite ends. Okay, so this dude, they're pulling in separately. We managed to get a ricochet here. Let's aim a shell into his upper plate, 470. Second 5A's pulling in. We're going to back up behind this rock, and hopefully we'll have enough cover to stay alive just for a little longer. I'm doing my best to provide my allies all the support I can get. Another shell to this man's here. Problem is there's an IS-7 behind me, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Let's just continue dragging these dudes out. And we're just going to continue dragging them out. Okay, they both fired. Put a shell to this man's here. Let's back up, but not in front of the IS-7. We're going to try backing up in a haul down position where we can maintain some degree of safety. I don't want to get shot in the rear by the IS-7. We managed to at least ricochet the IS-7 there, which is good. Put another shell into this dude. 575. Nice little max. Let's pop the adrenaline. I began pulling away from our mans here. Unfortunately, we're definitely going to take a kill shot from him. We did our best. Got a last shell in. 4,300 damage. Holding off two tier 10 5 A's by myself with an IS-7 shooting me in the booty. And what did my allies accomplish? Death. Death. I don't think I made any wrong plays there. You may say I should have just turned around and ran away. But if I turn around and ran away, those 5 A's would have just pulled up behind my team and killed them instantly. The big issue was our 60 TP, our 121, our Kampfpanzer 50 T, and uh, anything. Now, it's not over just yet. I think our stream just disconnected for a second. Hopefully, it's chill now. Because uh, the Sheridan is getting the caps, and the 5 A's are low HP. So, you know what? We have, a, uh, we have a possibility of winning this. Never mind. The 60 TP fluffed a 27 HP kill shot, which he could have shot HE and killed. So... Uh, 60 TP, big bro, big brain bro, uh, unfortunately not pulling through. What has to happen here, if we're going to win this, is the Sheridan has to be able to kill this IS-7. And hopefully, not the IS-7, the 5A, shoot HE. Uh, I'm going to try telling him in chat. HE at 5A. 
You got this, bro. Encouraging words. Oh, you got this, bro. And HR. I, I can't type on iPad. It's, it's hopeless. Okay. Sheridan, pull up to the right. You can get... Yeah, time to aim that. Just go, just go, just go, just go. You don't have much time. If you get, if you let him get the cap, you're gonna lose the cap 100%. You have to get him with the HE kill shot here, but it's too late. My man is gonna probably die to the 5A because just looking at him drive, it's it's sad. Oh, oh. <sighs> These teams. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> really good brawl on my part. I think did a good job. I stayed alive. I did 4,300 damage to those five A's. Like, I pretty much took all of them down to less than 600 HP by myself. Uh, with the, you know, the major issue, 60 CP did two shots and died. And he didn't even manage to kill that enemy 5A. And of course, you know, the E3 doing two shots, the grill doing one. Um, not a whole lot I could do there. I don't think if I ran away from that engagement, it would have resulted in a win. I think those 5As would have just popped up behind us and made our life living hell anyway. So... I did my best for the team by holding those five eyes down for a very long time. And you know what? It's my personal belief that if the IS-7 was not there to force me to pull forward, I actually would have been able to stay alive long enough there to give our team the dub. Sadly, there wasn't anywhere for me to back up. I was trying to pull those five A's into the open, which is why I backed up the route I did so my allies could cover me. But at that time, it just wasn't working out. They were distracted by the IS-7, distracted by the one to one So... You know, not a whole lot I could do there. Let's jump into this next match. Now we have a T1 LT on the left, 57 a Kronvagen over here in the mid. Kronvagen is the 60 TP from last game, good to know. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pull up to this hold down position here. T1 LT, way over aggressive here. We might get a shell into him in just a moment, but he is already dead. Let's wait for this Kron to pull forward here. Oh ho ho! That's not what I wanted, sadly. Fluffing our shot on the Kron, although not the end of the world. The Kron is in the open for a little bit. Now we can't pull forward too much here. But we can at least do our best to cover our our, uh, our allies in mid. Now, I'm to I'm holding this position because I think it's super valuable for the team overall. I if we do not get this mid control, the enemy team are just going to be like, Oh yes, what a lovely farm fest. And they're going to hop into the mid and destroy our allies. Now, this Kron's preventing me from doing a whole lot, to be fair. E100's not too much of a threat. 57's a bit of a threat, but he's not pulling up. So for now, we're just going to play hold and chill. Oh my gosh, we unfortunately ricochet a shell off of that 57 heavy there. Not really sure how that one happens, but we're going to pull back a little bit. And oh yes, we have a grill, the Hori coming up to support us. Put a shell into the 57. I think the Hori fluffed his shot there, sadly. So we're going to hold back for a second. Bait the third shell. We're not going to pull back too much. And that's precisely why I was concerned about the presence of that grill in the corners. Put a shell into this E100. Good stuff. The Kron is already dead. Man's having a, a great session today, as you can tell. The Sheridan over here in the mid. I would love to farm him if at all possible, which is 8 p.m. Boom, good shot to him. The girl's about to get dunked on. He wanted about to get dunked on. My goodness, enemy team just evaporated. Not even close. Not even slightly close. You might be able to sneak the kill shot in here. Good stuff. Okay. Wow. Um, I got like sub 2k damage. I am pro gamer, guys. I am a pro gamer. Pro gamer warlord. HE snapshot. <laughs> But you know what the good news is? We got the dub. Smash the like button. You are great for lazy people. Hey, oh, Simon, they're not lazy. But thank you. Uh, as you heard the man. Smash the like button. It is appreciated. Thank you very much. Wow. I did not farm anything. Okay, maybe I should have taken the bridge. Usually what I would do there, good job to the 260, is take the bridges. But because I knew the 260 was going that way, I thought it might be a better idea for me to hold mid. But my goodness, enemy team just got evaporated on C. So good job to the allies there. HRF, I'm in your time zone now. What? <laughs> JV, what time is it? <laughs> Ew, that is. What's the profile background? How'd you get it? Uh, shout out to a certain individual who, who hooked your boy up, <laughs> if you're wondering. <laughs> All right, HRF, how's the semester gone? Uh, pretty well. Very busy. Recently got into a more intensive segment of machine learning for one of my classes, and it's like, uh, my brain. A brain. <laughs> but for the most part, not too bad. Disgusting, Sheridan. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the pain is DVD. Relatable. Very relatable. I think most people have experienced that before. All right. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice for some reason, and I have no clue why. Let's jump into this next match. We're going to go mid. 5A is great at that. So, we are going to go into the middle of the map. Uh, we have... Five, uh, 40 of 5 and a whole grand enemy team. They do have a Kron. Nasty. So, they have some... Very strong vehicles, but also some farmable vehicles. If I'm able to get here quickly, I might be able to get some hold on farm. 
although it's not a guarantee. All right, there's the 260. Tried to snapshot him, wasn't able to hit him. We're going to try our best to spot up the crossing. At least we found where the 100 is, but immediately we're going to start pulling back. Now, the reason I pull back is I don't think the 5A really has the view range to spot up like the Ho Ri and the 405. So let's put a blind shot in just in case, just to keep it safe. My team should 100% have med side. And once they just bomb med side, we should be we should be good to get a job here. All right, let's see if we get another blind shot in towards this top half. I'm just going to take a few until we know where their team is. Sheridan's getting bombed. Looks like the 260s pull up to the mid. Kron is in the back. There's the Hori. So let's get ready to put a shell into his side, hopefully. We'll have to load up a heat shell here. Boom, four, 340. Very good, so we'd like to see. I'm going to assume the 405 is not there because he hasn't tried to shoot at me yet. So it doesn't seem like he's here. Let's pull, pull away from that E100. Good stuff. And it looks like what we might be able to pull off here assuming there's no 405 in the top corner is get haul down versus this e100 now we're gonna have to try and aim for that hatch very good 390 and we're just gonna use this building on my left as cover this is pretty important if you're gonna poke here make sure you're td safe it makes your life a whole lot easier all right so we're gonna keep avoiding this e100 here e 100 is about to get distracted and the moment that happens I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready to punish him but oh the filthy 405 is up there. Let's put a blind shot in. So the 405 is indeed in the corner. Did not expect that. And oh man, our meds are getting just bombed. Okay. So let's change our approach for this game. I can't do a lot about the 100. The 405, I think, is bombing the 100 as well on our team. Kron's haul down at top. We might be able to, with consideration of what the Hori is doing, be able to put ourselves in a position to start farming out this object 260s. Put a quick shell towards him, but no, the gun trolls me there. Very unfortunate. I think my team is actually going to end up kind of throwing this match here. I am dumbfounded that our meds lost so severely on that side. Let's get ready to deal with this 260 here. 460 to him at least. I know we took one from the whole re, but if I can make him a one shot, maybe the E5 can take care of him. Very nice. So he does get taken out at least. That's more viable to me than taking that one shell of the whole re. He's keeping that dude in the game. We have this Kron just kind of big chilling back here. It's hatch snipe him. Not quite. Oh, I stayed up there a little too long. Wow, right through the front of the mantlet. Okay, that's that premium AP on the whole re. The point and shoot. And oh, we're getting we're getting Kapega Yolo by 405 here. 405 bounces his first shot here. He's gonna pen the second one. How much is he gonna throw for this though? How much HP does he throw? And someone bounces their HE. 405. 405, man. Okay, that was just um. <laughs> I didn't think the 405 is just going to straight up YOLO me like that, but uh, good for him. I thought he would kill the 100 and go for the 405 first there. I don't know what our 40, M48, E50, M, and Vickers did. They're in decent clans too. Oh man, those three meds really threw. This game would have been a win if those meds hadn't thrown. Here's the thing. If, if you're going to play playing a med on that side, do not YOLO. <laughs> if, if all you have to do is prevent the enemy team from taking that side map control. Hold passively if you have to. Even if the enemy team have less meds, always be aware of the TDs. That's why the 405 wasn't shooting at me. That 405 was probably just big brain farming my meds that were just sitting in C-cap dying. So, because we lost our three tier 10 meds on that side, like, instantly, there really wasn't a whole lot left for me to do. And obviously, I wasn't able to farm all that much, sadly. But... Let's jump into the next game. That is Dead Rail in a nutshell. I'm not a huge fan of that map for that precise reason. It's a bit too dependent on the med flank. But what we will do for this next game, and I don't think the wonder has the viewing to spot me. The Kron might. Nice, cross out the viewing. We're gonna cross to the corner, hopefully avoiding any of the shots in the Yag and the E100. The 5A is fast enough to make this crossing. We're gonna pull all the way to this left-hand corner. And let's see, we might be able to hit a shell to this Yag. Put a blind shot in, sadly, completely missing him. But I'm not super worried about these Krons. They can't pressure me with the 60 TP back there. So you know what? Because they only have one TD that's spot up. Let's get ready to start dealing with these Krons. One shell to this Kron here. We'll haul down. We don't have to worry about the 100. We know there's three dudes over there in the Yag in the back. We just have to big chill here and farm these dudes up for days. So the Kron does put a shell to me. I poked a little lazily there. That was mod bad. Let's angle ourselves up slightly better so we can deal with this this cron a little more easily so without overextending these crons are in all sorts of trouble we're just going to keep farming them out because he can't move forward and he doesn't really want to move back because if he does he is at risk of getting shot again so there's dude's just big chilling over here one of the shell to this dude 516 if they do try and push onto me crossfire they can't do it i mean they can try but it's not going to go well let's just watch what happens to our mans here when i hit target on him and hopefully the allies will pay attention this cron is about to get lit up if he does continue making this play. Now, dude's just straight up sending it. So what I think I'm going to do 
Uh, you know what, Mr. Kron? Let's make sure you can't back up properly. He's stuck here. He is completely stuck here now. All right, let's pull back for a second. Put another shell into him. You know what? I would love to farm this dude. We are eating hundred safe, but oh, he gets lit up. <laughs> All right, so that worked quite well. The, the mobility on the 5A, lovely. Was able to take corner away before those crons. Don't ever do what that cron did. Don't ever pull up on that corner when you know there's enemy heavies or TDs in their spawn because that's what happens. Let's push onto this Yag. Uh, just a scan that distracted me for a second. Okay, um, and we'll get ready to start firing him out. Sadly, he wasn't able to pen his side. We do have this Mr. Yeager here. Let's push onto his lower plate. <laughs> Getting scabbed by the gun handling. It's okay. Not the end of the world. We'll pull forward a little bit more. I way have the Yag on reload here, so we aim for that lower plate there. Oh my gosh. This Yag is quite literally so lucky. Dude is just luck for days. All right, let's get ready to shoot the C100 at least. Aim for that lower plate. <laughs> I got scabbed. Very one side of game. 7-0. I mean, the crowd's through really hard. The E100 and Yag were just doing their thing. I can't really blame them. Those crowds should not have done that. Uh, yeah, don't make that play, guys. Do not make that play. Take my words for it. Rip the damage, man. I mean, we got 3k off the crons, thankfully. Uh, let's let's maybe try switching state control mode off, just to get a little more variety in what players we're facing. Maybe it'll make life worse or better. We will see. Three in a row. Oof. Fat is, what town hall are you? Huh? <laughs> I'm confused. I don't care anymore about losing or winning, so I just chill on, but my win rate is rising slowly, not going down as <clears throat> a nice surprise for me. You know, sometimes the best way to get your win rate up is just to relax and not sweat it so much and just enjoy trying to perform better without worrying so much about individual stats. That doesn't really work for average damage, but you know, sometimes sometimes it does help. It really does depend. It didn't get those containers. <laughs> what containers? Oh boy. All right, let's jump into the next match. Quick blind shot in case that Vickers up there. Maybe we hit him, who knows? We're gonna take corner. Enemy team have a 5A E75. Uh, looks like a 57, I believe. No, no, not a fi Yeah, a 57. A couple TDs. Nothing too crazy. Let's get very aggressive into this corner. And already, 57 and Vickers are spotted up top. So, let's get ready to deal with ACAP. There's the 75. 57's about to wander into Narnia, I think. Let's get ready to snapshot this army. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 10 out of 10. On the move, pre-aim, snapshot. Before, at my, before I was even fully scoped in, I fired that shell there. Oh, <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about, man. This gun, it just works so well. Like, not 100% of the time, but I, I guarantee an IS-7 would not be big braining like that. Put another shell into this dude, 427. I love this gun. And man, with that DPM rolling, we've already farmed quite a bit of damage here. 5 is probably about to make his great escape as well. So let's get ready to pre for that. Couldn't quite hit him. Not the end of the world. Nice work. Very good start to the game getting that early farm off. That's what we love to see in the 5A. If we had only had our shot, we would have had another shot to this dude. No worries. Let's get ready for the 30B here. Boom. 459. We're already at 1,800 damage dealt. You love to see it. And it looks like the enemy team are straight up pushing into our spawn. Not shot by the MX-30. I give it to him. And I think our 183 and Conway are going to need some assist soon. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull Hall down into this right-hand corner. I, I think. Do I have support? I don't have support. This 57 is going to be a problem, though. So I'm going to... You know what? No, that's not going to work out. That's not going to work out in the slightest here. Okay. The 57 is going to be a problem. I got to get out of here. So, since my team is hardcore throwing right now, I got to get out of the crossfire. I might take a shot or two, but I need to get to the opposite end of the B cap. That's my safest bet of not losing all of my HP and still being able to win this game. Although, you know what? The 57 might have gone for a reload. He hasn't shot at me yet. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go defend A. I think A is the play. All right, here's the standard B. Let's aim a shell into his tank real quickly here. Sadly, the one that we did aim is the one that doesn't hit. Our 5A is just YOLOing into Narnia. Uh, this game is kind of looking done for, isn't it? I wanted to go back to A to, to prevent their 5A from capping out, but it looks like the Vickers is actually the one that went towards A, interestingly enough. So, let's see what we can do about Mr. Vickers. Mr. Vickers is trying to make a break for it. Snapshot, 450. You hate to see it. Love to do it. R5A just finished his suicide run, so good work to him. And now it's just me. Now it's just me over here. Big chillin', big chillin'. All right, Amex 30. Looks like he's about to run away. I mean, it's game over. Even if I were able to kill the Vickers, it wouldn't make a huge difference in the end. Let's just get ready to shoot whoever pulls up on my left. Quick shot to the 57 Heavy here. Love to see it. All right, we have the standard B and the Vickers behind us. So let's just turn around for Mr. Standard B, who's just straight up sending him to me here. Put a quick shot into his tank. There we go. Quick little reload. Dude's reloading. 
I did my best. I mean, the gun, beautiful. The team, not so much. I don't know why the 5A YOLO'd. He could have pulled back to A with me. And if we dual defended A, we actually could have won that. The enemy team didn't have a whole lot of HP. I mean, yeah, our 1A3 ended up doing zero. Our M60 ended up doing one shot. Our 5A did like two shots and died. Um, if our 5A and our Yo had just been a little bit bigger boing there, and instead of YOLOing into a massive crossfire, it actually pulled back and held defensively, considering we're already down three kills. Us three heavies could have won that. Sadly, that wasn't the case. So I tried my best there. Honestly, it would not have made a difference if I'd helped that 5A out. There was just too many tanks at that point, and he was so far committed that really there was nothing I could do there. If, um, you know, if he had pulled back, I would have supported him, but he just straight up yoloed, so I gave up and went towards A. <laughs> thanks for stream! We have to watch the rest of it later. Good night from the UK. Pete, thanks for dropping by. Have a great night. Okay, well, let's jump into another one. We are still holding a 67% win rate, which, to be fair, I have 75 career in the 5A, a little lower than I wanted, but I'm not going to be too mad about it. Let's just jump into another game and see how it goes. So, we're actually going to go park. I usually don't, but we're on the better spawn to go park, and we're going to try it out. So, here's the 205B. Boom, 505 into his tank there. Very nice. The M4 is just straight up sending it. Shout out to this M4. Dude, is, dude straight up has models. He, just, he doesn't care. He's just straight up sending it. So... 205 beast trying to back out. Let's see if we can snap a shell into his tank. 392. Luckily, he low rolled. <laughs> the M4 is about to bonk him as well. Enemy team seems split up. So, if the enemy team split up as they are now, what we can do is push the 205 and get behind them or take the bridge control. So, here's the main concern that I have with how this game is progressing. Now, unfortunately, we do get spotted up by the Sheridan there. Let's wait to see if someone decides to pull forward. Maybe the Sheridan will pull forward. Let's put a quick shell into him. My primary concern right now, I'm going to trust to this M4, is our lack of map control, because we have a lot of dudes just wandering in Narnia. Now, luckily for me, the Sheridan is being a little bit stationary, so we get another shell into him. We're gonna have to take park defense. Park defense is our only remaining option that's left to us. Uh, I need the M4 to come back and help us out over here, because if he doesn't, we got some significant issues. All right, let's get ready to put a shell towards this dude. Can't quite hit him. m 4 is coming back. Our 4005 is all the way in the back of spawn. So if our, oh no, the M4 got spotted by the 1A3. Okay, he didn't get shot though. We need, we need to hold our positions together. Our, our other dude is, is going to go down pretty quickly here. I think, yeah, if our 405 comes with, very nice. Very good. We, did, we need to hold park. If we hold park, all three of us, our chances of winning are somewhat increased. Not exponentially, but slightly. So let's see. We're going to position ourselves to shoot this T100 in just a moment. So I know he's coming straight up in front of me. Nice shot. I think the M4 picked up a kill there. Boom. Quick shot to the T100 LT. You'd like to see that. We're going to keep spotting up over this mid-bridge here for the 183. There is the 183. T100 LT is being quite aggressive here. Got another shell to him. Very good stuff. T100 LT is now lower on HP. I'm going to keep holding my position here. We're going to pull back a little bit. That's going to get me to a hold down spot. We are about to get pressured by the 183 as well. So let's keep backing up a little bit farther. We do have a Type 71 over here. I'd love to put a shell into his tank. There we go. Our 4005 is getting dunked on, but he's dunking on the 183. Oh no, he wasn't able to kill him though, sadly. How unfortunate is that? All right, we have a T1 LT full sending. Let's hope for the max roll. Couldn't quite max roll, but we can keep pulling back into safety. Our M4 picks up the kill. Good work. I need to work with this M4 here. I need to at least block some, block him from taking some shots here. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, 1A3 maybe pulling up here. Can't do a whole lot about him. Let's put a shell into this E5. M4. No, he fluffs his kill shot. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate indeed. And so now we have this 1A3 pulling up on us here. We're going to have to do something about it. Let's track him in the open. He splashes his ash onto me. Let's see. Come on. Hit, hit another shot. Very good. Good work stuff. Good work, my dude. I don't know why I called him stuff, but good work. Good work. We're going to get ready to kill this 1A3 here. Very nice. We're going to have to deal with this E5 next, although the Type 71 is probably going to kill me. If the M4 had killed their Type, we would have won. You know, M4, I got to give credit where credit's due. He did come back and help when I was spamming the SOS. He, he, he got the assignment. He realized that wandering into enemy spawn was going to do nothing. We had to do a last stand in park. And so the last stand very nearly worked. I'm still going to give him a thumbs up. Even though he didn't manage to kill the Type, which is, I think, really kind of was the throwing point of that game. Um, he still played a good battle there. He still played a good battle. Better than a Cup Panzer 50T who did zero. Ooh, let's go look at this individual. Ah, yes. Is it his first tier 10? It is his first tier 10. Very nice. And he managed to achieve a whopping zero damage. Quite the achievement indeed. Okay, so <laughs> another loss. <laughs> my life hurts. Did almost 5,000 damage there. Really try my best to get the, um, 
the dub. I think I played really well in the park there. I played well covering the M4. Too bad at 405 didn't kill the 183. That actually could have made a huge difference having that extra 400 HP. But overall, I think we made the right decisions there. You know, we, when we went park, we were able to get the crossfire in. We didn't overcommit and YOLO ourselves into the mid and die for no reason. We decided to hold back. The M4 made good teamwork plays there as well. But in the end, it just wasn't enough, sadly. So what we're going to do here... It looks like the enemy team did not send any meds or lights. Okay, I take that back. The Progetto gets spotted. So they do have tanks over here. There's the 183. A whopping 183. Let's see. He's still just big chilling up here. So let's put a quick shot to him. There we go. Nice early shot into the 183 and the Progetto. Looks like they do have some heavy tanks in the town. So we will keep an eye out for those dudes. 183s. I don't know what he's thinking. Let's pre for this one. Oh, missing him by a hair. So close. Progetto is YOLOing our Sheridan. How cool is that? So Progetto is about to feel some high explosive maybe or not let's just put an ap into one there we go nice AP shell let's keep an eye out for that 183 and of course mr yeageru as well no the 183 did just get boxed so that's cool and uh yeageru i don't think he has shots on it so let's keep pulling forward away from mr yeageru here there's mr yeageru put a quick shot on his large plate i don't want to get shot on the side so i just decided to pull forward there e50m looks like he's chilling i mean this game's already won i think based off hp and positioning alone ah just able unable to reload there in time to get that shell in and so, yeah, it's just yellow for damage at this point. I mean, the 183 is going to go down. The 57 and Jagger by themselves over here. Our Type 71 and 183 are gaming over there. So I'd love to get a flank in here and start farming this corner out. Oh, the 183 just got 57. Unlucky for you, sir. Unlucky for you. All right, let's put a quick shell into this. Oh, I tried to aim for the tracks, but I missed. All right. Well, this guy can shell here all he wants. I mean, oh, man. I just got to be aggressive. You know what? I just got to be aggro. There is no damage left this game, I think. Okay, there's the Jaegeru. Jaeger just fired. Let's get ready to put a shell onto his lower plate. There we go. That one does go in where I wanted it. Okay. And it looks like this Yag's probably going to get farmed out pretty, pretty fast here. I'm going to try and knock an Amorak. That would just it really kind of suck. So let's put a shot into him. Nice. There's still only five left. But he's probably going to get farmed out by our E50M homie over here. So, GG. One more shot and I'll be happy. One more shot of damage and your boy will be fairly satisfied. All right, E50M, please don't block me. Thank you. Good stuff. Well, we got the dub. Not the biggest farm game, but after those losing streaks we just had, I will happily take the dub there. And uh, yeah, move on. I'm so poor, I've just taken the tech tree tier nine heavy Chinese heavy. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> nice work. Good job to the team. E50M, big brain farm, and dude just full sent it. I appreciate that. All righty. <laughs> How do you not rage quit when playing Blitz? I need to know the secret Zen. Krutaya Strelba? Ah, spasiba, spasiba. Fanas, thoughts on the E25? Honestly, I haven't played it in like years, so I can't really say. <laughs> Love to play the 5A or kill the 5A? Both. No way! Okay. Not only does this man, Dua Lipa over here, have a AE phase one. My man has level 49. He must play like, I don't know, at least a thousand games in it. I have to check after this battle what that dude is doing to have level 49 in AE phase one. That is just insane. That's like the most rare vehicle in the game, by the way, because it's like a 0.05% drop chance from the end of battle pass containers, which you can only get like for for free if you complete every single mission and then you have to pay for them like the odds of seeing one of those tanks is super rare and my my dude obviously has a lot of fun just flexing his 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 uh his rare tank so once you i'm being quite aggro we're gonna go hold out over here in the corner let's watch out for tanks above they do like to stack up top usually but there is tanks like this 57 here i don't see anyone else just yet i don't think the 57 is just gonna poke me okay someone did try to shoot at me i believe let's put a quick shell towards this dude sadly my reticle was just a little bit too low to hit that one let's continue taking it easy because you never know when those dudes are gonna be like oh i'd love to poke up top on you all right put another shell towards this one to one should have loaded heat so that that shot is on me and no one else one to one is being a little more aggro here lovely stuff let's get let's just put a full shell into him now boom 470 very nice 57 and and um, one to one, they're gonna go down soon. I mean, there's not a whole lot these dudes can do anymore. They're just in all kinds of trouble. So 57 is next on the butcher block, you could say. Let's wait for him to pull forward a little bit here. One shell to his side. He's gonna go down quickly, although he might kill our E3, unfortunate. And it looks like the rest of the enemy team's in town. So that dude should be dead to the A phase one. Good stuff. Uh, the enemy Fosh is just yellowing. 
through the middle of the map. Absolute gamer plays. Let's get ready to put a shell into the back of his tank. Boom, 480. I love this gun so much. And oh, Waffenträger. Let's go clear him out. We don't want him shooting us up the bute all game long. So let's get ready to deal with this Waffenträger here. I, don't, I think I'm safe from crossfires. Waffenträger looks like he's about to make a break for cover here. So let's just full send it for him. Luckily, my tank's fast enough, and I have the DPM to do it, especially after the Waffles uh, alpha nerf. <laughs> Poor Waffle Traders with that alpha nerf. It really does suck. All right. Um, not really sure where my mans went. Obviously, he ran away. Good for him. <laughs> I guess he was way faster than I expected on the escape, but there he is. He didn't manage to run away far enough. All right, let's clear him out. Hopefully, the Type 71 and 8 phase won't be able to stay alive a little longer. All right, one shell to the Waffle. Ooh, 600 max roll. Obviously, he has a Spall Liner because that would have been way more if he didn't. But I will happily take that. Apparently, there's a glitch where the Spall Liner notification doesn't show up anymore. Because it should show me if he had a Spall Liner. A little, you know, the armor indicator, but it didn't pop up. All right, so let's see. Waffenträger makes a break for it. Type 71's YOLOing our Type 71. GV, expect the AK win. All right, GV, thanks for the donation. Do I have... Oh, no. Do I have to get that AK game? I remember in my uh, 5A showcase, I actually did pull an AK in it, which was kind of epic, won't, won't lie. Let's see if this Type 71 pulls forward. Dude doesn't know what he wants to do, I think. Interesting. Okay, well, that Waffenträger's running for his life with the A chasing him. Our Type's chilling in the corner. And so I think I'm gonna go help our Type out because our Type's yellowing. I don't want to be stationary here for too long. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Faster, faster, faster. I need to help the homie out. He's getting himself farmed. I need to kill... Uh, the Waffenträger. Oh, he killed him himself. Good play. I need to kill this Type 71 then. All right. One shell to the back of the turret. Good stuff. Let's get ready to give him a little ram. That way we can guarantee he's a three shot in case I have to shoot heat. All right. Good. Let's ram him sideways so hopefully our type can pen him more easily. Aim for the fuel tanks, maybe. Not quite. It's whatever. It is what it is. Our A phase one does get taken out here, sadly. I'm going to keep pressuring this dude so he can't rotate as easily. All right. Let's load up a heat shell. Boom. And let's see, E100's down low, so we're gonna have to start pulling back. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's try and gun block this man's here. All right, even with heat, we can barely pen him. No way! Dude, look, I can't even pen him with heat. This is why running rammer, low key, kind of sus on this tank. Okay, well, let's keep backing up from this man's here. A little too much side, we're waiting for him to give me a little bit too much side. One kill shot, very good. Waffle, E100, let's try and avoid the E100 at least. Hold forward, not quite able to pull it. I was trying to back up behind this mound before it was too late, but. It was definitely way too late. So, a good try. A good try. We are now a one-shot, essentially. So, not really a whole lot for me to do here. Okay. I'm just going to keep backing up to the best of our ability. See if we can do anything about this Waffenträger. Okay. There's the Waffle. Oh, he rolled 660. Get out of here. Oh, man. A phase one. Type 71 throwing. Why did the type YOLO? I don't know. He didn't have to YOLO. He could have held A and forced them to push onto him. But man's just determined to just YOLO into the open and die. So I would want to say good GG to the type, but he threw a really strong position and forced me into the middle there. And at that point, the game was already kind of over. Let's see how many games this dude's playing the A phase one, by the way, to get level, uh, level 49 on it. He has 1,500 battles. My gosh. <laughs> That's insane. All right. Let's jump into the next match. 61% win rate. But, GB, by the way, thank you so much for the donation. Hey, Venice, do you know any love advice? <laughs> uh... Don't fall in love. It's a trap. No, I'm just kidding. Mr. Fattis, first time to the channel. What games have you played? J6, the massive donation. Thank you. Very, very much, J6. That's for the donation. I am playing the most gamer of games called World of Bots Blitz. World of Bots Blitz. Yes, it is a bot simulator, and it's a great experience. It, it really is. You pretend to be a bot while you fight bots. Let's put a quick shot onto this Type 71 here. Very nice. I'm going to pull back a little bit from him. Now, if you're going to go into this position, I prefer to take this... Did he just pen me through my mantlet? Okay, something is very clearly wrong with the 5A's mantlet. Look at that. Tanks are just penning me through the front of my mantlet. This is not acceptable, Wargaming. Okay, we're gonna back up for a second here because this whole re-look kind of juicy. Let's track him. Nice. Thank you so much, by the way, J6, for the donation. Really do appreciate it. Great to see you. Hope you're doing well. And, um, yeah. Let's just get ready to keep farming out while, while, uh, while I try not to get distracted by the massive brain donations. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. I have support. This 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 type can't really push onto me. And if this 57 wants to pull forward and shoot at me, not a good decision. All right. So the mouse, the whole read, the type, all these dudes, that type got way too ambitious with that push there. Very nice for me indeed. 
Chieftain Mark 6, he wants to get half sniped, so let's keep half sniped again. Here's where this 5A gun handling is gonna be insane. This is why I prefer going heavy side when possible. It was risky. That had a mouse. If the mouse is angling properly, no way I'll be able to pen him. But now that I'm in a strong hold on position, and notice that I'm taking a position here. This position allows me to poke back and forth without showing too much of my hatch. I'm always hiding my turret between shots, which is really important. If you pull all the way up to this middle hill, your turret's always going to be exposed pr pretty much. Like, you have to be stationary to hide it almost completely, which usually isn't good enough. So, by being a little bit more aggressive in this corner, I'm able to work a lot more easily. But you always have to be aware that by doing that, you are at risk of getting pushed on from behind. You know, like, if they, if they take A, then you have to push forward. It's a great position if the enemy team do not have a good A presence. If they do, you should be very careful with that play. So, we're going to keep farming out here. 3,500 damage already. I kind of want to farm out that mouse if at all possible. That just looks simply delectable. And or 57 heavy. Let's see. If the 57 heavy gives me a shot, might be worth. All right. 57 heavy. He's kind of pulling forward, I think. I don't know. We're turning around. Not really sure what my man's is up to. He's looking my way a little bit here. He's probably about to get HE'd by a grill. We're just going to have to snapshot this. Nice. So we do manage to get the kill there. I think the grill messed up his HE, and that's about 4,000 damage in a dub. J6 rats with the cap. <laughs> yeah. So we get to see J6, by the way. Oh, man. World of Paid Actors. I know, right? I need to... Uh, thank you, J6. This goes towards the HR of Paid Actors uh, limited liability company to, uh, to fund some epic games. Okay. <laughs> uh, what a boss. Perfect explanation. Love advice. You can't really love somebody if you don't love and accept yourself. Also, don't force it. True love is not love something that you can look for. It's something that finds you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's not my quote. I'm just, I'm just quoting fluffy tracks. Just, just quoting fluffy tracks. Straight up advice. Man, man's has it right. Love yourself before you love others. <laughs> but don't, don't become like super infatuated with yourself. There is a degree to which it's acceptable. <laughs> Mutafatus, what's the real secret to staying calm and happy when playing Blitz? Put a smile on and just try your best not to, not to complain. <laughs> that's the best thing you can do. I, I can say I'm not I wasn't always like this. I got a lot better at it once I started streaming. Like I would get pretty frustrated back in the day. It's pretty it's pretty normal for what blots. <laughs> no, we hit my track. Please, please don't don't retract me, don't retract me, don't retract me, don't retract me. Okay, we're gonna run, 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 run for the K91. Alright, what snapshot? Okay. So we managed to take uh, a really valuable position. I got lucky I didn't get nuked there. Thank heavens. And uh, we do have a K91 pulling up. No, I shot on the move, but he didn't even have gun depression to shoot me, so I didn't need to rush it. Now, for cover fire, YAG should be sufficient. 50B up top should be sufficient. I'm not super worried about getting yolo just yet. So let's see if we can find the wee little 57 here. And oh my gosh, what are these dudes thinking? They are playing really aggressive on this outside. Let's get ready to deal with Mr. 57 here. 57 taking a shot for the team. K91 about the yolo forward. Same with the Samil. Looks like the enemy team are pretty just um, determined to straight up full send it on me, which is kind of cute. I don't know what their plan is in the long run. This is a really stupid plan. Let's track this dude at least. Very good, very good. We're gonna keep backing up to our to our best ability here. 57, I believe, is on a reload, maybe. Not quite. So I'm gonna go down here. This is where just life sucks. I don't know what their play is. Their play is suicide, essentially. Let's hope that let's hope this dude doesn't high roll me. He doesn't. Sadly, my reload is not gonna be fast enough to save me here. There's that Emil. Let's see what we can do about him. Nice. Emil gets absolutely bopped. Just stay safe from the K91. Very good stuff. Even with the dead driver. I don't know what the enemy team is thinking there. Those three heavies just like they pushed in front of auto loaders. What did they expect? Unfortunately, my allies are losing up top. We gotta watch out for that K91. I know he's just waiting for me. Yep, go figure. Okay. Hopefully my team can do something about him. Because my driver's dead. I don't want to turn away from this Emil just yet. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put a quick heat shell towards this dude. Not quite. The 50B has him tracked. Nice 50B, you legend. Good stop. Uh, the rest of my allies, though, not so good. They are all dead. So let's see what we can do about this. One thing I think that might happen here. Okay, someone's on A already. Is they are probably going to flank behind us. I got to be careful for that. Because the K91's still alive. Okay, there's the STB. Let's hide from him. I did my best. I didn't think he was going to take that route. I thought he was going to go through our spawn, so... Uh, enemy heavy tanks made a very bruh YOLO rush there that got themselves killed. At the same time, our meds got absolutely slaughtered. I don't know what the meds did there. The meds straight up bruh just vanished. Now, the good news, 50B. So far, he seems to be a pretty reliable teammate. He did do a really good job farming out the side. As long as he crossfires his STB out and the Yag doesn't back up fully, they actually have a chance of winning this. I know the SD is full, but I believe their Batcha and Vickers are not super healthy. So if they work together, they don't make any massive mistakes, they actually could get the dub here. So there's the STB trying to make a break for it. Nice shot by the 50B there. 
And the enemy team do have a little bit of a cap advantage, but the Bash out the on is a one shot. Good to know. And he did get spotted up at least. Uh, I don't know if he has any shots. He should be careful because the STB is going to shoot at you, buddy. Let's see. He gets a shell into him. Nice trade there. I mean, if he wanted to, he could probably pull up and kill the Bash out the on. Nah, snapshot it. Oh, good try. Good try. Now, unfortunately, he's going to take two shots in return, though, for that. So that's going to suck for him. The Yag is not doing anything so far. So, mm. Sadly, I don't think we have enough HP anymore for us to pull this off. Because they just are way too split up. And so, we did our best. Um, not really much I could say about my situation. I straight up just got YOLO'd, which, which kind of sucks. Not, not really a whole lot you can do about that. That is a very stupid YOLO, by the way. I uh, would not recommend doing it. Hit it, Yag. Nice. The Yag hits those. Good stuff. Good stuff, Yiguru. See if you can pick up that kill. Nice VTP. Pick up the kill. Pick up the kill. You got it. You got it. APCR. Ah, uh, shucks. That was a good try. That was a good try. It has to be can just yellow in now with the bat shot cross firing out. Unlucky. Oh well. I can reach out while we have this dead. Fattest was the here to play. Uh, uh, man didn't expect to get love advice here. Not complaining. That's good advice. <laughs> the love poetry of Lord Fluffy Tracks. Easy. Fluffy Tracks is is serenading our ears or at least our our eyes with uh, poetry out here shout out to big oof uh, sh shut out to big oof and east <laughs> uh yeah shout out to big oof guys shout out to big oof don't forget oh man i really didn't do a whole lot that game yeah i played okay in the end you know he did farm 50b did an okay job leo t92 rejetto yeah, you guys died so fast up there. I don't know what to say. So we're not getting the biggest brain farm. I remember last time I streamed the 5A, before it got buffed, I had like a 3,800 damage sash. So obviously I'm just suck now compared to what I did a year ago. Oh well. <laughs> it's the best live stream up B. Ah, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. How much lost this event in 4-3 fight and a pub teams be like? I know. All right, so let's jump into our next battle. Enemy team, let's look at the enemies first. E-150B, IS-7. Okay, IS-7 E-100. I don't really want to fight because I'm running Rammer. I, I, I don't know if I want to switch back to Calibrated though, but because it, it's kind of sucks facing these heavies. They're going to try and take corner. I'm going to go for an aggressive spotting position. If you're in a fast heavy tank with any amount of gun depression greater than 7 or equal to 7, you can make this play and usually get an early idea of what the enemy team are up to. So we, we find Mr. I-7 here. We're going to aim for his side. Boom, 490 damage into him right off the bat. We also find the E-100. And so by making that E-100 pause, we might have just prevented their team from full committing to that corner. So E-100 no way okay get out of here that is so lucky i was moving back and forward i didn't even pause when shooting at that e100 this match just straight up hat snipes me absolute gamer plays by mr e100 here we still do get another shell in at least though is7 push here quite aggressive so it's back away from him very good we should be safe is7 getting bopped a little bit for such an aggressive play there can't quite pen him anymore so let's just pull forward a little bit here let's spot the e100 because he's about to pull out again and so E100 is in the open, pop another shell to his lower plate. And let's pull back from the 405, who is straight up yoloing towards me. We are safe for now. I still have these two dudes behind me. I'm not worried about getting yolo just yet. Now, I am a little bit uneasy with this positioning, all the same. So what I'm going to do is let's pull out to the mid. A lot safer, a lot less likely to get yoloed, and uh, hopefully life is just better. So we're going to pull out to the mid. We know where the 1A3 is. We know where the STB is. And this should give us a much better opportunity to start working down this side. Now, STB... Should hopefully go down pretty quickly here. Uh, if if our all of our meds on this side were to just kill him. If they kill him, we're good. But they, they do not seem to be doing that. There we go. Oh, it's a 1A3. It's angle up a little bit here. Please don't amrock me. At least he only took AP and not Hesh. I not think the 1A3 is going to go for that. But he also has like zero support now. And so, oh, there's the, there's the 50. Put a snapshot towards him. Okay. We'll use these houses covered. I don't want to take a shot from the 1A3. I don't know what these two meds are doing. They are both like full HP. Pull into the enemy spawn, crossfire at the 1A3, and eliminate the 50M guys. Come on, come on. You're meds with an entire flank at your discretion. <laughs> Don't give up that opportunity for the team. Okay, I can't pull back too much because of, e, uh, of the E50M. Come on, meds. You got to make a play, man. These meds are like making my life hard. Okay, there's the E50. Okay, 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 good, good. Ah, uh, really? The E50 spotted me though. Can't quite shoot him. That's okay. Let's see if we can get ready to put a shell to his side if he keeps backing up. Okay. Keep backing up, buddy. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. I know. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for my opportunity to deal with the C50M. Money 50M. Oh, come on. He just happened to look at me last second there. That's unlucky. STB should have him all the same. Can't do much, though, with that 183's positioning. Okay. Here's what I think I'm going to do now. 
the I7's coming for me, so let's run away from him. See, if we're fast enough, we might just be able to save ourselves. Put a quick track shot in. Nice. Okay, we managed to escape. I figured that I7 was going to yell for me, so I was prepared for that. Unfortunately, our STB does get taken out there. Oh, the I7 gets hammered hardcore, though. I7 getting really, really hardcore hammered there. I'm going to start putting them into a bit of a crossfire, because they're, they're going to want to deal with this flank soon enough, I'm sure. There's the 183, which is HES tracks. Any damage is really important, but unfortunately, our, um, our 268 just sat up there and died. That was really unfortunate in the end. The grand scheme of things, that was probably the most unfortunate play you could have made there. Okay. So two on two. Two on two. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a 183. It's pulled forward. Oh, man. Unfortunate. But if the 268 kills him, nice! You know what? That was actually the, the most worthwhile shot I could have made. Because this 268 should be able to clutch up here. Let's give him the words of encouragement. Good job. Get it. <laughs> Let's go 268. You got it. You, you have the HP. You're full HP. Send it. Send it. Send it. Okay, he's just... Why are you shooting Keita to the side? No! <laughs> just go! <laughs> just sit up here. Don't let him face hug you. There's no need to shoot Heat. You have, like, your 268. You have more than enough AP to pound him front to I believe in you, buddy. I believe. He's gonna shoot you into the tracks. Watch him throw this, dudes. Okay. Okay. HE? HE. <laughs> Let's get it. HE, my friend. Oh, come on. You have 1400 HP! Send it! Send it! <laughs> If he loses this, I'm actually going to just, like, quit the game. AG! He has 60 hit points! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, if the I7 high rolls and this dude, like, fluffs his next shot, I am dead. I'm just going to die. I'm straight up just not going to live anymore. <laughs> oh, he gets it! Oh, he gets it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Maz had me nervous. Oh my. Dude, okay. You know, I thought he was big brain when he shot on the move, but now I think that was not very big brain of him. Also, I didn't really do a whole lot there. So, you know, in the end, the 268 did pretty good farm. And he is 42%. So at least he clutched up in the end. We're, we're going to give him the good work, but why? Hello, as I like to call it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're back to 62%. If we drop below 60%, I am a failure to, to my family. <laughs> Uh life is stressful when your teammates are really adding excitement to the game. Okay, uh, let's reset to like mark. By the way, guys, we are almost there. Okay, okay. I don't know who this Panzer three dude is, but he has my once beloved camouflage that we're getting spoiled. We're gonna go spot up mid. I don't like going caves anymore. Caves sucks. I despise the caves. We don't do caves anymore. Uh, what I like to do instead is go towards B. And when you're at B, you have a lot more options for you. Now the 5A, it definitely is no medium and light tank. I don't have the view range to really be super efficient here. But you know what? We got a big brain Vickers. He's gonna support us out. So I'm not super worried just yet. STB shouldn't be able to spot me from there. Let's just pull up into this bush. See if we get any vision on anyone crossing towards town. So far, no one's crossing towards town. And, uh, oh, there's a 183 crossing towards town. Interesting. Let's preempt for the 183. Boom, 458 damage into him. Good stuff. I don't think the 183 can spot me up. Okay. Few options here. Heavies are still unspotted. Although, knowing 183 players, I get the feeling this dude just wandered up here by himself. Like, that's kind of what 183 players tend to do sometimes. Uh, judging by the fact that most of their team is already spotted in caves. So I'm going to take this little side route here. Put a quick shell to his... Oh man, the TVP messed up my kill. I mean, uh, messed up my shot there. Well, he didn't mess it up, but he made him pull forward. So I missed my opportunity to shoot him in the back of the turret there. Okay, the 183. Still big chilling. Waiting for this dude to die any moment now. Is he going to pull back? He's dead, right? He's just going to die, right? You're just gonna die, right? Okay, he dies. Nice. Now we can begin taking capes. So by having my team take town, my team is a lot more flexible in terms of where we can position ourselves to get the dub here. Now, I believe the heavies, well, not the heavies, just the VK is still unspotted. But I'm going to presume he went towards the caves here. I mean, that's the most obvious area he would be at. So let's get ready to pop up behind these dudes and send them the, um, the greeting of a lifetime. So here's Mr. Jagpanzer, Mr. VK as well. Let's get ready to pop a quick shot to Mr. VK. Good stuff. We're gonna get into a nice little position back here. I should not be spotted just yet. VK is getting absolutely hammered by everyone. We're gonna say, uh, believe in the gun handling. I don't believe in the gun handling. And uh, we'll retake case for ourselves. So this is the play I like to make. And if your team plays along with you with it, uh, with the kind of uh, take the town and then worry about caves later approach, it works pretty well in my opinion. Let's pick a kill shot up on this dude. Enemy team only have three tanks left. No farm for me. 
Like, really, I picked up two two kill shots that are sub 100 HP. So I, so is the way of my life. All right, 62 white pulling forward up here a little bit. Dude looks like he's just big chilling over here. One of two tanks left. Put a quick shot to his side, 500. A is about to get bombed by a 50B. No farm. Oh, man. So, yeah, I, I don't think I made a misplay. I think I should have pushed into the mid instead of all the way towards the caves. Like, I just dropped into the mid. I would have had more farm. And it seems just gone. <laughs> Well, that means that. <laughs> nah, I don't think the emoji means that. I just mean it's the, uh, huh, interesting play, dude, emoji, you know? As someone who doesn't have the 5A, I can confidently say it is annoying to deal with. Yeah, if it's hauled out and, and you have a good player playing it, it can be quite difficult to deal with. I think type 71s and 113s are still worse, though, in a hauled down situation. I think Power Crit made the 5A worse than it was a year ago, even with the DP on buffs and stuff. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's worse. Like, yeah, I barely hold on to 3k in it, which is uh, embarrassing myself. I mean, I, I had 3,500 career average before I even streamed today. And I did play it quite a few games after I got buffed when I was doing like 4k sessions. So, uh, yeah, o obviously I just suck nowadays, man. But that aside, let's get ready to jump into this next matchup here. All right, I saw a tree fall. There's definitely a tank there. Let's try and stay on the low ground, maybe. Where's the Sheridan, but unfortunately... Ah, what an aggressive spotting position. Now, we are faster than all their heavies, so we should make it here way before them. Cool beans. I have a Kampf Panzer. I have... What is that hideous-looking E75? Oh, my gosh. Wargaming, why couldn't you have given the E75 a Schmexy camo? No, you gave it a trash camo. Okay, let's see. 60 TP, about to pull forward. No! What? No way, that shot misses. And, ah, uh, the classic... Jamming heavy tank spawn sniping. It is classic. <laughs> Push on this 100 here. We gotta get ready to start pressure on this side. The jamming heavy tanks are spawn sniping. I've never seen that before, have I? Track this dude. Wow, 690. He does hit me with that tungsten, tungsten average roll there. But uh, now that you've done that, what you gonna do now, buddy? Another shell into you 500. Your DPM can't compete, brother. All right, all right. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. Oh, my gosh. You just... Bro, E75, are you going to move? Like, you're, you're sitting there staring at an E100 you can't even shoot at. Like, you're going to pull forward and shot the 60 TP when he was on a long reload. But nah, he's just chilling. All right, let's put a kill shot into this man. All right, sadly, losing half my HP to a 60 TP. But, yeah, that tank's obviously, you know, super just... Uh, annoying to deal with with his tungsten shells. Okay, E100 is about to go down. The uh, jamming spawn sniping heavy tank is about to be eliminated. Looks like this 54 and 62 way are gonna bomb down the mid soon with the Sheridan for support. I would love to help the homies clear this side, so let's see what we can do about it. But I don't think that's gonna be the case because we got the Sheridan coming on up from behind us. And, um, you know, I think it's just gonna pull up through here, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, there he is. Boom, quick shot into the Sheridan here. Let's pull back a little bit here. Try to give him a little bit of that angled side. He does, of course, just pen right through because, you know, this tank has a whole lot of pen. But, ah, he gets dunked on by the grill. Good work, grill. Okay. Oh, no, we have a 62A behind us now. All right, let's put one quick shot into the 62A. Obviously, I suck at this game, so I can't shoot. That's fine, as you can see. We do manage to get this dude into a bit of a face hug here. Let's put another shell into him at least. There we go. If I'd have thrown that shot, I actually would have stayed alive. Muppet play by me, dude. I, I shot without fully aiming that one in because I had my reticle on him and it went under his tank. Yikers. Um, yeah, you, you three having fun over here? You three having fun over here? At least he's 35 killed him. Uh, I think they're going to lose. Wow. What is this? Camo. It's hideous. It's like... You know what it looks like? Um, I don't know how many of you guys have, like, a fireplace. Like, uh, you know, a fireplace, a stove, a wood-burning stove. It's like the inside of the chimney. That soot, all of that black soot from burning wood in your wood stove that gets stuck on the inside of the fireplace in the chimney. That straight up looks like someone just took all that and just slavered it over half of the E75. Bro, if it was like shiny, I think it wouldn't look that bad. It just looks, it just, it just looks like it's not rendered properly, man. That's hilarious. Anyways, we're gonna lose the cap, I think, because these dudes are just not big brain. Um, so sadly, that's how my life be. I shot E75. I'm partially through. This was partially me, guys. I, I should have killed the 62 way. I know. I suck. That's my bad. Oh, well. <laughs> it looks nice. What do you mean? 
<laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. It doesn't it look like soot, dude? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I like the machine gun on the back of the turret. That looks cool. And the spotlight. Bro, we lost by a couple seconds. One second. Not even a second, guys. We lost by like half a second. That's the one they capped out before we killed him. Just to take off the black stuff and leave the rest of the camo. Uh, or or at least adjust to its texture. I, I think the texture looks bad. Oh, okay. I, I, I threw. I threw. That's my bad, guys. My bad. Let's we'll jump into another one. Looks like the splash tar in its face. Yes, but at least tar is shiny. This is like so matte. There is zero light reflection whatsoever. I, I guess that'd be cool if the entirety of the camouflage was like that. And it's like, you know, like the blackest paint, like a paint that's so dark that there's like almost no light reflectivity off of it and stuff like that. It's trademarked. Uh, if they made a camo that was just straight up like that, then that would, I guess that'd be kind of cool. It just contrasts way too heavily with the light gray of the rest of the camo. Y you feel? <laughs> it was like 3D cloth or fabric. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Alrighty. After I hardcore through that game, I take responsibility. I should not have taken one of those shots from the 60 TP and I should not have failed to hit a shot in the 62A. So that's my bad. No one else to blame for that. Uh, even though my teammates, they kind of throw a little bit. I do take partial responsibility. Anyways, jumping back into it. We have a wild 4 to a 2 over here. Bop. <laughs> He's running away. He obviously doesn't have a whole lot of support. Because the enemy team clearly seem to be dominating in the mid here. So, am I free to push in? You know, I think I'm free to just push in across here. Yeah, we, we are free. This dude just hates his life. He's just like, my life just sucks, man. Let's put a shell into him. Kill him with the fire. And get ready to turn our attention towards A. Lovely stuff. Not a bad start. Getting about 500 damage right off the bat. Yeah, I hate to see it, but you'd love to do it. Let's put a shell to the 57 while we're at it. And you know what? Let's pressure the enemy team. Let's, let's get that B cap pressure going. While the homies are capping A, we out here gonna we out here gonna mess up B cap. Alright, the AMX 30, I can't really shoot just yet. There's the Kron, there's the 57. Sadly, my tank's a little too low to work this position all effectively. I don't want to push into the mid by myself. I, I just feel like that's a bad idea. I don't know why. They have like an unspotted T30. That's making me nervous. Push shell into this AMX 30. Oh, man, this loses like a thousand HP making that poke. Was not a good, a good trade for him. 57 also getting dunked on. I think now I feel confident pushing forward. I don't want to push forward before I had a better idea of, you know, how well my team is performing. But now that they have, like, these one-shots over here, let's, let's work on the 57 first because he's more dangerous. We should be good. Yeah, we should be good. We could we could probably just straight YOLO for damage at this point, if I'm honest with you. But I'm not going to be super careless because I don't want to throw again. After the last game I threw, I don't want to throw this one either. Okay, so the homies are chilling. The team the team is chilling. There, there's still a little bit of farm left here for me. Let's put a quick kill shot into this man's. Let's turn our attention away from the T30 and the Chieftain Mark VI, although our poor T30 done got himself nuked for most of his HP. Chieftain's like, oh, my reverse speed sucks. Let's put a quick shot into him. Oh, I'm going to work down this corner because this corner looks more fun. Chieftain Mark VI, the man's just big chilling over here. So let's get ready to deal with Mr. Chieftain Mark VI. Put a track shot into him. We do manage to ricochet off of our angled hall there. Good stuff. T30, big chilling. We're just going to keep farming up to our heart's content, man. That's essentially what my life is. All right. You know what? I'll take a shot for the team. I took one for the team. Let's go, boys. All right, T30. Hit those. Ah, unlucky, bro. Unlucky. Life just sucks at that point. All right. Progetto full send in it. Uh, T30 is like, I'm confused, so let's track him in place so he can't shoot me. <laughs> and that's it. That's game over. That dude's dead. What a steamroll. And GG, I guess. Uh, at least I farmed like 4K, so I don't feel like a complete Muppet. Good stuff. Oh, by the way, I don't know when she arrived, but we have ourselves a Le Bobby. Let's get... I hope I didn't mute anything. We're good. Okay, I actually hit the wrong shortcut. Ta-da! If it isn't the lovely Bobby, she is sleeping on... My camera has a mind of its own. He's like, that's enough, Bobby. Get back to your gameplay, you brat. I'm like, okay. Uh, so the, the camera's telling me to go back to gameplay, sadly. It's only because I tightened the cables, so it doesn't want to stick there. But Bobby is here. So to everyone who wanted to see Bobby, here she is. Sweet as ever, sleeping on my textbook. What a doll. All right. In fact, there's a picture of a Sheridan that I saw too. I know, that looked pretty dope. Man, real life Sheridans. So cool. <laughs> good evening, chat. Yeah, good evening, Paige, by the way. Such evening in person today. Ooh, epic as well. Bubba, yes. Black, <laughs> black part looks like the texture glitched. I know, right? Straight up. Straight up. Almost 200 likes. Let's go, guys. Smash that like button. Thank you. Okay. All right. Level 50, 183 on the enemy team. Be scared. This man knows what he's doing in the 183, obviously. And um, 121, big braining. All right. But is he? But is he big braining? No, maybe he's not. Okay, the 183 could be on the left for all I know. Yoink. 
Get bombed. Very nice. You hate to see it. I tried to bait him into thinking I wasn't looking. Oh, what do you know? So predictable. You know, don't ask how I suspected the 1A3 would be here. It was just a whip. Okay, gun handling was like, no, sir, you shall not hit that shell. Okay. Major problems inbound. Major, major problems inbound. 60 TP, 57 in the corner. Sheridan Cross firing us out over here. E4 sniping in that side as well. Can't really do a whole lot here. Sheridan's pro proxying me. We need to take corner. But we have these Pepegas all just chilling back here. Not really doing anything. The good news is they are taking care of the Sheridan. Nice. It might be worth taking a shot from the E4. Let's see if I can bait this E4 first. Okay, E4 went corner as well. Cool. I'm gonna see what I can do about supporting our young man over here. Let's put a quick shelter versus 1 2 1. Sadly, that shell does not go through, but we are safe for now, and I don't think the 1 2 1 can quite shoot me. Good stuff. Um, 62 a playing a little more aggro towards the corner. We have a big brain mousy poo coming on up to support the team. You hate to see it. Let's put a quick shelter to this dude. Sadly, that one doesn't bend. I think we are almost ready to full set. Mouse is doing the reverse challenge. Okay. Okay, you know what? Kudos to Mr. Mousey Poop. Man's straight up doing a reverse challenge in his mouse. It, he's like, fam, we are full sending it. Let's put a shell to the 57 here. Very nice. I put my uh, mic a little lower so you can hear me a little better. Mouse is full sending it. Oh, what a gamer mouse. I love this mouse. I love this mouse. Dude knows how to play a mouse like a pro. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm going to be here to take all the shots for the team. I got you, fam. What a player of a mouse. Okay. She's the way has this kill. I'm going to go help the homie out in the mouse here real quick. Let's get ready to deal with this 57 heavy here. Get ready to put a quick shot to his side. I'm going to try gun blocking the 60 TP so he can't shoot our mouse here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. He doesn't want to shoot, apparently. He just doesn't like being gun blocked. Okay, Th there we go. I don't want to block my allies, though. GG, team. Mousy Poo, 10 out of 10. You are a player, if I've ever seen one. Dude just just full sent it. He's like, I got you, team. I got you. And he just full committed. Okay, so that was pretty fast. Well, mostly thanks to our mouse, just straight up taking all the hits for the team. And so we were able to find about 2,800 or so there. 183 is still full HP. TVP is, I don't know, probably pretty low. Just the 183 has put a snapshot towards him. No! <laughs> No, I, got, I done got trolled. He's going to get farmed out before I can farm him out myself. But let's see. We still might have an opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to turn our tank a little bit to the left so we can run away. Aim for a track shot, maybe. Not quite. Ow, we do take a thousand damage. But oh, we get a fire. Yes, no fire extinguisher life. I love it. All right, put another shell to our man's here. TVP is all the way back in our spawn. Hopefully this dude gets taken out. Well, no one wants to take him out. Okay, I'll take him out myself. All right. Nice. All right. TVP is probably going to get dunked on by the grill and the Leo. That will be GG. I got about 4,000 damage out. Thanks. Thank you so much for the donation with the Gangsta Hippo sticker. Do appreciate it. Not bad. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's see what Sister TVP does. Oh, boink. <laughs> get that farm in. Yes. We got two 4K games in a row. I'm performing so much better. Straight up. Snapshot abilities are lacking. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. You have to remember, this isn't the same class as an IS-7's gun. And compared to an IS-7, this is a very snappy 128. Um, let's see how the 183 is doing on battle count. Man's does have level 50 on the 183. Mind you, I could too. 3,800 games. Is that more than me? I don't know how many games I have in the 183. Uh, 183, most played. Tank. 2,500 games. Yeah, he does have point three good for him. Hey everyone, hope I'm not too late for the stream. Uh, you're only about an hour and 46 minutes late. <laughs> but I'm still streaming, so that's goodness. So you're never late. Bobby Equal Pog. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, why don't you put on reticle repellent? <laughs> yeah, reticle repellent. I like that. I like that. Um, that's how it would be Joe, how to play 183. And my credit goes, yeah. Oh, he made a how to play in the 183. Must observe. Alrighty. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna go med side, I think. I don't usually like going med side, but from this spawn, it's, it, it works out pretty well. We have a Type and a 50B and a T22 and an STB, so we have a pretty good lineup for this. Sadly, my allies decided to just drive in front of me, so big brain. Oh, T just like perfectly went down my shirt onto my stomach. That was super cold and rather unpleasant. Oh man, good one was a thumbs up. Ah, oh, I forgot, forgot, my bad, my bad. All right, so let's see, Sheridan and M60. I'm gonna push in with the team. We have our whole team coming with, which is great for us. So I think we are, 
You're, we are free to give the enemy team a warning shot of just how scary this is about to be. Let's try not to spot it just yet, because I know that Sheridan's just spotting up this corner here. There's the Sheridan. All right, watch, we hit those. No, we don't hit those. Psych. All right, uh, we do hit those. Yeah, there we go. There's that 5A gun handling game. Love to see. All right, E3's holding up to... I forgot that the VK90 gets like 10 degrees of gun depression over the side. It kind of sucks. Put a snapshot onto this dude. Good stuff. And we're just going to go hold on over here. Now, my team should be in a pretty decent spot to, to perform here. Especially with this VK just big chilling up top. Let's put a shot on the hand. Nice. We are farming up nicely. Uh, I'm not super worried. This is why I generally say uh, on this map, it's a bit... It's a bit... Um, risky to take your med side uh your heavies and stuff med side when you're on the enemy spawn from the south spawn it's actually not too shabby but from the north spawn it's a bit a bit a big gamble you know because it's easy for the, the enemy team to just get hold down and farm you out like this vk i'm just farming this dude out we've already done 2300 damage sheridan's just full sending it into the mid there uh you're really not a whole lot left for the enemy team to uh to do other than lose put a shot to the e3 slower plate good stuff thanks thank you very much for the uh, Gangsta Hippo 2.0 and the noob emote. Let's go. Making me feel better about myself. Let's aim a shell into this new drive wheel. It is very weak on the E3, by the way. If you did not know, E3 drive wheels are the play. Nice work to the Badger there. Good stuff. Okay. Loud M60 being quite aggressive. Let's put a max on the him. We've already farmed 3.8k damage so far. Yeah, you love to see it. Um, and I've done that all from this one stationary position. Because life is good when you're in the 5A and your team works well. Right, let's put a shot onto the C100 here. Avoid taking more shots from the M60 if possible. But I would love to farm this dude out. I mean, this is an easy 5K if I don't mega mess this up. So, one of the shot onto our mans here. All right, M60 is making a break for him. I'm going to start pulling forward now because I see a wonderful opportunity to start farming this out. So, that's one of the shot onto the E100. Nice stuff. And the M60 is allowed to still shoot at me. We've already dealt 5K damage. Good, good, goodness. Badger fluffs the shell on me. Badger's backing up. We might be able to get a nice juicy HG into the back of this tank here. Oh! 750 max roll. Ah! Good stuff. What a way to end the game. Finally! Did we ace it? No. Wow, this tank used to have the lowest ace bar in the world. It's actually pretty high right now. I'm glad to see that. How many credits did we make? We made a 200,000 credits profit. All right, just under 6,000 damage. That's the highest we've performed so far today, and we've got our overall average up to almost 3,300. GV, thanks for the, ooh, spicy lemon donation. Mm. <laughs> T down the <laughs> credit goal officials no matter if you just do okay. <laughs> yeah, so that, that AT roll is amazing. I know, man. Those max roll ATs are just sublime on 128. Absolutely love to do it. It's good stuff, good stuff. All right, well, moving on. Um, this map. Let's try not to throw again, like I did last time. Last time I was on this map, I did not big brain, and I got killed by 62A and threw, and my life sucked afterwards because my team was probably like, oh, "Look at this new fight, me, probably bodies too tight, just sucks to the game." <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we don't want that experience. So we're gonna go left, try and get hauled on. The enemy team only have a chieftain that can get here around the same time as me. Otherwise, I'm not all that concerned about what their team is doing. Chieftain has pretty weak side, so it's aimed for that side for when you turn in. Very good stuff. The 2-5-B is here for support. Chieftain is very lacking in terms of allied support here. And he's just playing really aggressive. Let's push shell into his tracks. Boom. Keep him in place. He did damage from rack, but I think this is one of those situations where we just yellow the dude. Like, straight up, he has no support. Why? Because the German heavy tank is spawn sniping. As all good German heavy tanks should nowadays, apparently. The, yeah, the e is just massive braining on everyone up here. Look at this dude. Respect. Respect the spawn snipers. All right, we do have an STB here. Going quick shot to him. Nice stuff. Pull back a little bit. Hey, we got the we got the gangsta sunglasses tanks. Thanks for the donation. And fluffy tracks. Good job. Thank you so much for the donation as well. E4 should still be on a reload for the time being, but you know what? Let's kill the STB. All right, E4 is probably about reloaded now, so let's put a quick shot. Good stuff. Alrighty. I send the grills up in mid, right? So I'm not gonna push out here by myself just yet. So let's turn a little bit to the left and let's get ready to push them through the B side instead of oh, there's the grill. Never mind. Maybe I was a bit worried over nothing. Uh, I still don't want to pull into this alleyway. It's really risky. So I'm gonna go up top instead. A lot safer. We could maybe get some snipe shots onto the grill. You know the good old stuff. So STB big chilling over here. There's the E100 and oh, a wild 422 wants to get HD up the booty miss. And my shell velocity was really bad, so we missed that by 10 miles. Okay, here's the play. 
E100 probably getting ready to, to poke on me. Oh, it's a 4005. Let's pull back from the 4005. I figured there was someone in the vicinity. I thought the 4005 was like over there though, but it turns out he's just big chilling up top here. Um, but you know what? I don't know what our mans can do here. Let's pull back for a second. We did manage to bait the E100 to put a shell towards us. We might be able to sneak past this 4005 and up top and get some crossfire up on this grill here in just a moment's time. And the grill, I don't know if he's fired. Although he's not paying attention, so let's load up an HE for him. Yoink. Nice. 600 HE into him. 4005 being quite aggressive to shoot at me, though. Let's pull back. He's shooting at the 205B. It's back up in the 100. No, the 100 hits those. Okay, that was a really bad play by me. I'm not really sure what the allies are doing. A 205B at least did pick up a really important kill shot, though, so good for him on that. Uh, the grill is almost dead as well, so I think I'm safe to pull forward a little bit here. Okay. I don't think the 45 is going to pull all the way out to shoot at me, right? Nice, 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 nice. The grill shouldn't have shots at me either. You want to full send in it, put a track shell into him. We're going to hopefully prevent our 205B from dying. I'm going to push to his left in case the 205B fluffs his shot or gets scanned by a low roll, as is the case. I'll try to protect the homie here. Got you, fam. I got you, fam. Okay. I'm going to get ready for the grill. Gr uh, uh, dude, you got you to get ready for that grill. Nice work, boys. Nice work. All right. E4 just bombed the 405. We'll pick up a kill on him. No, okay, that game was a little closer than I had expected. Just a little bit. But we did okay in the end. We got the dub. Life, life is good. Okay, SDB, boink. Oof, that was not what I wanted to do. That was not a boink. That was a big brain non-boink. All right, ooh, watch, watch it, watch it. Oh, nice, one, two, five, eight. Up with the two and five, do, do, good. My fans need to do homework. Uh, unknown, thank you for so much for dropping by today's stream. Hope you have a great rest of your night and rest of your weekend. Tomorrow's the deadline, so yep. Oof. I always do my homework like a week out usually. <laughs> so I don't I don't get rushed with deadlines. Except for exams, of course. GG2 and 5B. Pulling out 4K, I did 3.6. Could have had under just under 4K if I matched that last shot. And now we have the uh this super expressive sticker by tanks. Dude is straight up just uh surprised. Thanks for the donation. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. That's an i7. That's a mouse. This is 752 E100. I'm a bit worried I won't be able to take corner. So they know what spot the crossing. I usually would take corner, but I when they have an i7 opposing me, I'm a little bit more nervous. They didn't have any fast heavies. See, like we do manage to spot them up nice and early, which is cool. Get a good shell into one. But yeah. Trying to uh to take corner when they have fast heavies is just really high high risk. Uh the i7 at least has the armor to pull it off, but the 5A doesn't really have that luxury. Uh, let's see if we can maybe surprise anyone from here. So far, no one else has spotted up. I7 might be crossing to the corner. Let's put a shell into him. No! What? I hit like his engine deck and bounced, but our Vickers is going to be there the 1v1 him. Okay, so enemy team have already captured D. They probably have a 1A3 snipe in the back. There's the 1A3. Um, do they have anyone else back here? That's the big question. No. Okay. We're going to make a, a slight gamer play over here. Okay, there's the 100 I want to be able to cross behind this IS-7, the 183, and E-100. I'm gonna be able to cross fire them out. Risky crossing. I'm gonna get a spot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross when they know I'm headed this direction, but I'm gonna hope that they can't hit their shots. Nice stuff. The IS-7 should go down quickly, but we will have map control immediately here. Since we've already lost D, I don't wanna hang on to C very much because it's just really risky. We don't know who's where, what they're doing, you know, all that stuff. Um, we do see there's a mouse over here in the middle. The, the object probably dropped down. I got spotted probably by the 100 because I poked my drive wheel around that corner. Could be the 183 as well. We gotta be careful for the 183. There's the mousy poo. Let's put a quick shot on the him. 525, good stuff. There's the object as well. So now I'm in a fairly secure position here. Got objects backing into safety. Mouse is also trying to back into safety. Let's see if he turns it all. He's just content to side scrape. Can't really say, I blame him. All right. Mousy Poo is still just big brain. You know, the only thing that's annoying about this mouse is he's continuing to spot me up. Oh, I don't want to poke that, actually. Okay, let's see what we can do about this mouse. The, this is where calibrated might be a little bit extra clutch. All right, let's see if this C1 gives me a shot. Nice. Oh, mouse max rolled me, though. Not a good trade, I would say, but at least the is a one-shot now. Well, almost. I do out-reload the E100, so let's let's put a quick shot towards his drive wheel while he's on reload. I mean, out-reload the mouse as well. Uh, we do have a one to one behind us. Our tortoise is just by himself over here. It's me and the WZ, and I think one tank in the corner. It's aiming heat shelling for the mouse. Couldn't quite hit it. Nice kill shot there. Oh, cool. We know where the 183 is. Cool. Now that we know where the 183 is, my life is a little bit less scary. Um, 
but that's the only reason I was scared to make any plays here was that 183's position. Now, the bad news is my allies are not doing so well on this flank here. Um, I could stay hold down to some extent. Our WZ is playing it risky, I will admit. I don't know where that TI2 is, but a shell towards him. High roll for the win. That was super clutch kill to pick up, actually. There are any of the light tanks we can take out, the better it is for our team. Let's see if we can spot that 183 while we're at it. Okay, so the 183 is not here, I believe. I would have spotted him. I'm just trying to keep our WZ safe. These two dudes in the corner should be good. The main issue is we do have a lack of uh, cap control. Did you manage to track the 183? I don't think he... Okay, he did spot me up here. The WZ is going to make a bit of a misplay, though. Oh, nice. He managed to take the shot for the WZ. That's actually better. It's better. If the WZ stays alive, that's better. And the 183 is now in a really bad position with very few HP left. So, what can we do now? There's the object. The object is probably going about, about to bop our WZ here. See if he pulls forward even a hair. Okay, okay, okay. Not quite. Let's see what we can do about it. WZ is going for the cap. Big ring plays. Shout out to this WZ. He's actually played a really... Uh, interesting game here, but it's worked out pretty well for us. So let's put a, um, the WZ is about to go down though, that's the issue. As he does, let's put traction onto the mouse maybe. Come on, come on, can the homies help us out? Nice, WZ gets the bounce! Insane gamer. I wish I could push up and help the WZ, but there's not a whole lot I can do about this situation. I can keep the mouse down though, for as long as necessary. All right. Caps are the issue. I need our Vickers and Type to move. Those are the two dudes that have like all the HP. And they're the most useful players on the team if they play this right. Mouse is giving me just a little bit too much side here, I think. Oh, what a snapshot. That was clutch. Okay, caps are gonna be a, a huge issue soon. Go, go, you gotta you gotta get some caps, boys. You gotta get some cap boys, you gotta get some paps. Okay. I don't really have much of an option left anymore. Put a snapshot into this dude. We're gonna start pushing onto the mouse. We gotta pick up some kills soon. Nice heat shell. Nice, you got the WZ. I need some SOS assistance over here, guys. Let's see if I can put a max roll into this WZ here. Okay, I think the WZ's pushing in towards me a little bit. Or is he pushing away from me just a little bit? There he is, put a shell towards him. He's trying to run away. That's the problem that we face here. I can pick up a kill on this mouse, though. I have the reload on him. Nice. We should have kills and stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pick up that cap. Pick up that cap. Once you pick up that cap and I pick up this kill, we're golden. All right. HE under stink. Nice. Object still making a bit of a break for it. I think we played a pretty good game there. I think we played a pretty good game. Luckily, our type was able to do the, the typical type, just uh, straight up YOLO run, which worked in our favor in the end. Uh, and so... We, we should be able to get a dub here, which is nice, isn't it? Oh, hello. Put a quick shot onto this man's. Vickers buffing a shot. Vickers, don't die. Don't die. He's dead of you guys. He's dead. And wow, the type bounced off his boot. Woo! So much work! Blitz Korea Gaming. Good morning from India. Good morning. Good morning. Hate to play left side of Canal. <laughs> that worked well. We got first class. We got, we got the dub. I will happily take that. The type and Vickers, eh, they weren't the most useful, but at least they stayed alive, and in the end, the type did full send it and killed a 1 2 1 with the Vickers. So, GG in the end, you guys played that well. Uh, and, you know, me managing the brain on that mouse and, and, and eventually clear him out was pretty clutch as well. Not a bad game all around to the last three dudes remaining. The, the WZ, though, the WZ was the most clutch player in our team that game. Dude stayed alive, dude front lined, and he, like, just straight up was a menace to the enemy team the whole time. You gotta go fast. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Kingslayer, thanks for dropping by. Have a great rest of your night or morning, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, is today gonna be all 5A gameplay? Hello from the Philippines. Hello. Uh, probably not all 5A gameplay. We will have quite extensive amounts of 5A gameplay, as you can see, 28 games in. But uh, maybe at the end, I will do uh, just a little bit of funsies. We will see. But for now, I'm, I am enjoying the 5A, which is really important. I am not, however, enjoying my teammates' lack of spotting abilities on the AMX to be there. Although, Mr. AMX to be, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Hold forward again, buddy. Let's see where their team's at. They have tanks on C. Yoink. Hehehe, <laughs> revenge is sweet, isn't it? Okay, uh, I want to see if their team's going A first. A or C. Whichever way the majority of their team went, I might adjust my play based on that. Because, I don't know. Like, they could be anywhere as far as I'm aware so far at, at the time being for the time being it could be anywhere let's angle up a little bit so we don't get shot by this man's 
All right, there's the T22, and oh, there's the Fashiku as well. How interesting is that? T22 getting bombed by his own allies there, but oh, the 57 has popped up out of Narnia, and so now we back up into safety. This is kind of what I anticipated. Okay, so, ooh, 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 that's a wild 263. Please do not shoot at me, good sir. Put a shot onto his lower plate. I'm gonna play defense. Those two dudes are gonna go down pretty quick. So I just have to hold here, help the homie out in the E4, and we should be big chilling. Yeah, we, we chilling. I don't have to do a whole lot. I mean, this game is gonna be a steamroll. I can I can already smell it in the air. <laughs> you smell that? That's the smell of a steamroll. Okay. So T22 is getting second thoughts on life. But so am I, as I lose 800 HP. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna hold for now. I mean, there's not a whole lot for me to do here. We do have a wild 263 down low who's gonna give me a trap shot soon. How is that not a pen? That's his drive wheel at an angle. That should have penned. You're getting scabbed. All right, there's the object 263. There we go, that one pens. Nice stuff. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Just trying to avoid taking shots from him. And just using this rock as cover from the Fosh, so we don't really have to worry about him all too much. Nice, second shot. The gun's working very well now. You love to see it. Okay, so Mr. Foshy Poo is kind of just chilling up here by himself. Uh, I don't have to worry too much about Mr. Fosh. He's, he's probably getting... He, he's done getting himself the Fosh treatment. <laughs> if you catch my drift. All right, Mr. E5 just like full scent shooting on the move because he's pro. And I, I'm, I'm gonna show you a pro gamer play here. Boink, through the upper plate. Very nice. E5 is chilling. He does have support of a 263 and T22, so I need to be a little bit careful not to over poke this corner, although I think one of them is behind me. The T22 is indeed behind me. So I can just turn around and deal with this dude at a moment's notice to my heart's content. Very nice. Put a shot into this man's here. We should be safe to the Fosh if we stay down low. Good stuff. Fosh has just fired his gun. It looks like he's interested in jumping. But I guess he's not going to do that. Uh, T22, big chillin' over here as well. Hatch knife? Ah, I wanted to be like a, a pro gamer and hatch knife this dude. Alright, Fosh, you ready to jump? Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. Psych. Die. I love the 5 A's gun, man. This gun just works really well. Like, you cannot deny how well this gun works for the most part. Of course, it'll troll you every once in a while. It's a 128. That's what it does, but for the most part, it's goes very efficient. Alright, how much damage did we do there? Like, 3,500? 4,200! Okay, okay. That was uh, more than I expected. A casual farm. We're getting into the groove of things, guys. We had a we had a very sussy start, but we're almost at 70% again, and we're at least we got our average up to just under 3,400, which is better than 3,070. So I won't be too mad about that. Um, so uh, so do you mean the V4? Is today uh, it's pretty good. I see. Which major are you studying? I am getting a bachelor's in business, emphasizing on business analytics, which is kind of a, a mixture of Statistics, process, uh, business processes, and a lot of communications as you work in departments and stuff like that. Doing all that fun stuff. Basic break. That's like the most bone basic breakdown of the major. And probably the worst one you'll ever hear. <laughs> Alright. I always felt like the 5A should have the... Being the Tier X Chinese heavy tank line instead of the 113. It would make more sense consider the Tier 9 is just a neutered version of the 5A. I do agree with this statement. Alright, there's an M4. Ooh, that's a hold on tank. I do not want to face frontally by myself. Alright, Kyle Fadzer's in the corner. I'm making the big brain play, taking corner immediately. I've always said, most important thing you can do in this map, immediately take, not the corner, take the hold down middle position. All I need is this E100 to help me out. All I need is the homie in the E100 to give me, a, give me a little hand here. But this M4 is straight up just tunneling me, like an absolute boss, with the object 268, 260 yellowing into me as well. So, my game's over. Welcome to What Blitz Teams, my dude. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, useless E100, for providing me no support and letting me get YOLO'd. I hate this map so much, man. Why does no one want to play this map? You just have to push up with me. And then we have these... What is, we have a Fosh and the enemy spawn doing nothing. A 140, instead of taking corner to face their one med, which already is dead, he abandoned it, and we have a Type 71 spawn sniping! Ah! Why does no one know how to play this map? I swear. If there was one map that I would have everyone forcibly watch a tutorial on before they could play this game, it's how to play South Spot on Port Bay. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why is our type spawn sniping instead of pushing up with me? Why is it you want to just sitting back instead of pushing up or at least preventing their 57 and M4 from yellowing over? And then our 140 just gave up corners so he could suicide into the... Um, 
Where is the 140? Is he already dead? I, he's, he's already dead, isn't he? Did we, did we even? No, no, he's over there. Ah, I hit this map. Okay. Let's uh, let's play some let's play some box TD just for the fun of it. I actually don't think I've really played this tank in a hot minute. I know I got its reticle calibration removed, which is super sad, but let's take it for a spin. Uh, we did play 30 games in the WZ1115A, so good stuff. Overall, I don't think we're gonna reach that 70% win rate mark. We got pretty close, um, but. Wasn't the hottest session in the 5A. You know, some of that was definitely my fault. A lot of it was just 7 0 sweeps where it was really difficult to farm. Um, but it's a solid tank. Like, definitely should not be underrated all that much. They already lost that battle. A perfect brawling gun, not so much long range. Yes. All right, guys. Box TD time. I know no one asked for this, but honestly, I, I've been thinking about maybe streaming it sometime. It's been a long time since I've covered this tank exclusively. I think like last autumn or something was the last time I played this tank. I don't remember. But uh, I do, all that I know is I got insane traverse and like really troll armor now. So that's always kind of cool. TVP going up mid. I actually went a little bit towards caves here. I know. Being a little bit uh, counter, contradicting, contradicting what I've said earlier about me liking town. But as a TD, I'd rather not. Ooh, that gun sounds spicy. The gun sounds spicy. I like it. Oh, we could have blind fired him. We could have blind. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Oi, 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 oi. Okay. Free aim. Like 670! Bruh, that was like a lowest small lighter HE rule I've seen. What on earth? Alright, we got a wild 704 here. He's gonna back up and turn left out of the same. Or not. Ah! Uh, 700 spruce side armor. Sucks. I do like the box TD. I think this takes pretty memes and a little bit underrated. Like, people love the 268, but have you considered just how insane this tank's D, uh, not DB, uh, traverse speed armor profile combination is? Like, it's straight up, I would put this, like, similar to the armor efficiency level as a YAG. You know what I mean? All right, there's definitely some I'm gonna poke here soon, right? Let's see if someone spots him up. Be patient. There he is. 680 into him. Very, right, very nice. That's what we like to see. Good stuff. I think we're get ready to be a little more aggressive here. Um, I am also missing a consumable because, yes, I have not played this tank since it got rebalanced in 9.1. It has been that long. I don't even know why. I've always liked the box TD. It's always been kind of a fun tank. You know what? I think I prefer it over the 268 just because... Oh, 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 my damage gets Amorax. Ain't that sad. Ain't that sad as can be. Okay. We got a wild 57 coming up behind us, but I, I kind of want to just yoink this grill instead. This tank's traverse is so insane, people, like, struggle to pen it for that particular reason. Like, it traverses in seconds, man. 660, good stuff. All right, I don't think we have to worry too much about this dude. The Conway do be looking like a snack, though. Oh, yes, he do be looking like a snack. Come here, snacky-poo, come here, snacky-poo. You are my snack. All right, traverse is S tier, yes! This tank is memes, man. I like the box TD. 4,000 damage. Better than my 5A experience. <laughs> uh, 350 XP to get it. Is it? Is it 350k? I forgot. I for XP'd it when I got it because I just had millions saved up at that time. Um, ah, we need that fun. Let's see. How bad did we do in the 5A for the last game? We got three shots off. Let's see how many teammates we actually beat. We still did better than our 140 with, who wandered to Narnia. And our 100 did zero damage. <laughs> Wasn't even a close game, guys. Yeah, y y you know, you know, I don't even need to say anymore. Need to say no more. Say no more. Um, no reticle calibration. I think reactor is pretty useless. I think a double repair gun's better. Let's take the WZ for another spin. If there's uh, any other tanks, you kind of want me to uh, want me to check uh, check out during today's stream because we got a solid 30 games of example gameplay in the 5A, which I think was for the most part pretty good. Uh, if you have any other requests, send them in chat. Right now, I'm just going to meme around in, in, the, in the box TD for a little. Just as a little break. Sometimes the choice of count makes the armor even more sketchy to shoot. Those angled corners are a small window. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's that's the thing, dude. This tank is, a, is like, low-key a beast. Reasoning is like, yeah, I mean, a lot of 370 heat will still overmatch it to some extent. But... It is fairly mobile. I mean, it goes 30, about 34 probably, once you get the acceleration going. Uh, maybe it's even 37, actually, now I think about it. But it's the Traverse. The Traverse is just so good. Like, look at this. We're swerving. 
we're swerving. This has like insane levels of traverse with really troll frontal armor and a very decent 155 millimeter cannon. It, I, I just really like this tank. I know. I, I have a little thing for this vehicle, y you know? So they probably have a 183 back there covering this Vickers. Like that's, that's my assumption. The Vickers is about to make a huge mistake because he doesn't know I'm here. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm away. I'm away. Oh, wait, he does know I'm here now. How did he spot me? Did he proxy me or something? Hmm. Oh, the waffle spotted me. I'm gonna act like I'm not looking. Watch this. And traverse. Boink. Oh, if only I had not hit his tracks, we could have yeeted that too. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why this traverse is insane. You can you can like act like you're not looking at someone and then totally catch them off guard because you 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 can turn on a dime. I don't know where that 183 is, by the way. So I'm still a little nervous about all of this. Um but at the same time, boys got damage to farm up, so. 900 HA to win. Let's back up. Sadly, the Vicar's in for a track shot there. But look at this. Boom. Insta back up. Insta safety. Now, the, the bad news is we have a Concept 1B coming up onto us here. And, and no one's really going to help me out on this dude, is he? Come on. Oh my gosh. There's the 1A3. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh! We managed to bait the hash out of him. So, enemy team straight up YOLOing four tanks up top. Meanwhile, we got Holy... Ha, I'm not gonna pass his name. Wandering through Narnia. Not capping A, not capping B. Dude straight went through Narnia. Impressive. 1A3 is just gonna broadside everyone to shoot on the move and not kill the Vickers. Gamer plays. And our two heavy tanks that went down are dying. Ah, uh, teams. Game, team, 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 team. The team experience. Owie. <laughs> Moderators, hello. Tell me again, where is Vika Mother? What's today? Vikosha? He's not. <laughs> alrighty, 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 alrighty. Oh wow, that game's already over. Okay, Hori, good work. You did from 3k down. 183, gamer, zero damage. Uh, ST1, gamer, 80 damage. M6, yo, gamer, one shot. E100, gamer, one shot. E50, gamer, two shots. Ay, 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 ay. HF, can you play the Progetto 65? Gotcha, fam. Gotcha. I love the Progetto. It's not like amazing anymore, but Progetto's a great tank. Gotta respect the, uh, the Progetto. Please play a Bash off the L25T battle. Thanks. Ah, I haven't played the Batcha in a hot minute, to be honest. I don't have your level of chill with teams like that. <laughs> you know, at this moment, I just accepted my fate. Y y you know? It's like... You just... You just accept at this point that your teams are gonna be very hit or miss. Like, we've had so many games today that, like, we swept the enemy so hardcore. And then so many games where my team just got absolutely swept. It's just the state of blitz. So I try not to get too frustrated about it. In the past, I probably would have been more frustrated about stuff like that. But I'm not stat grinding here, so I'm, I, that's why I'm chill. All right, we have a wild TVP. Let's put a quick shot to him. Good stuff. Uh, K91 crossing up top. We also have a Leo here. And oh my gosh, TVP's being quite aggro. So we're going to put a second shot into this man's here. Let's see what Mr. TVP wants to do. Mr. TVP being quite aggressive. Get a third shot into him. So, a 2 4 3 trade. Was that a good trade, TVP? Especially since you have less alpha. You're on 900 damage. HP, I'm on 1200. Uh, looks like the Leo is up top here. We need to start pushing a little bit more down low, I think. I don't think that DD's here. Love the Progetto. It's just kind of like you load, you clip, you load, you clip. That's that's like the good old Progetto plays. Just track this E50 in the open for a second here. Let's try and pull back so he can't snipe me. One more shot to the front of this turret here. And then, since we out-reload him with our auto-loader, third shot, pull back. Right, this is a Progetto gameplay, dude. This is just very mad chill Progetto teams. And we're going to continue working this corner like absolute gamers. Okay, whoa, that's not very gamer. Boy, really? How does he have enough gun depression to shoot me there? I thought the ridge would be wedging his tank up too much. Anyways, he done made a mistake because instead of running away when he had the chance, he thought he would try tunneling me and, you know, in case that was a better idea. Uh... Man doesn't have any HP remaining. Let's put a kill shot into this Leo here. Let's avoid the Fosh. You can see the Fosh is waiting for us. But the TBP is already out. Nice stuff. Yeah. I, I don't remember. I think Wargaming, what? They slightly buffed the gun handling of the Progetto. But let's be honest. It really wasn't that much of a buff. Um, it's nice all the same. But it's not really one of those noticeable buffs. It's like game changing. I hope to see the Progetto get its old characteristics back. Because it, it has to be one of my favorite meds when it's in the right situation. And so, if it gets just a little bit more snappy gun handling, oh my, oh my, this thing could be so fun to enjoy. Oh, he's still waiting for me. You know, I respect the tunnel, but you do realize there's a leopard right there, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I hope my leopard can start working on that 50B. It's stuff. So we can deal with Mr. Fosh soon. 
Okay, this game's actually kind of close, so let's not die here if possible. Boss just fired once. Probably still has a shot left in the magazine, I would assume. Looks like he's full summing it for our Leo, Leo Chan over here, so let's go help the Leo Chan out. Uh, Leo, let's put a quick shell into the Fosh. We're gonna pull a little bit of a one-two on him. Psych him out. Leo picks up the kill. Very nice. Now they still have two very healthy tier uh, tier nine and ten heavy tanks. We should keep an eye out for these dudes. So let's chill for a second. We did okay so far. We bled a little more than we should after the TVP. Two shots I should not have taken from that TVP. Hundred percent. The other ones I think were okay trades. The other shots that I did take though were uh, a no go. That was that was a bad play by me. Here's Mr. K91. We'll wait for him to get a little bit distracted here, hopefully. Looks like that's not going to be the case, so let's just pull back a little bit. I'm spotted, I'm sure. One shot fired. Two shots fired. Let's right from the fire's third shot. Third shot's fired. Good stuff. And I think I heard the 60 TP or the mouse shoot, so... We'll watch out for the 60 TP, but this K91 looking like a snack, so... One shot into our man's here. Two shots into our man's here. Leo should have the kill, so let's just save our shot and re start reloading our next magazine. And pull to a corner so we can get ready to deal with the 60 TP, who's, who's, who's impersonating a mountain goat. And I, I would say it's probably not going super well for him. He just fired. Nice. One shell into the tracks. Very good. Second shell into the tracks. Let's get that perma tracking damage. Let's pick up that final kill. 5,000 damage dial. Uh, 600 assistance. Love the Progetto. Good stuff. All right. Well, we got buffed a bit. Oh, did it? Okay, that's good to know. No one wants to talk to me. It's a shame. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, is that an ace? First class. There we go. Good old Progetto stuff. Oh, man. I really love the Progetto. It's just a... It's just such a reliable auto-reloader. Good stuff. I can't wait for the Minotauro to come out. Oh, wow. I broke 1,000 games in the Progetto recently. Crazy. Uh, We had... Someone wanted to see me play the Bashat Theon. Honestly, I haven't played the Bashat in a hot minute. But let's take her for a spin. Let's take her for a spin. They actually nerfed the gun dispersion for some reason. Last update. Wait, they did? Nah, no way. <laughs> Char 25T. Are you referring to the bat shot? I don't know. Alrighty. Let's have some fun. Go to a bat shot the on time. Could you play the new Italian TD that you have in your garage? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's an Italian TD in my garage, I'd, I'd be happy to play it. Sure. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go see afterwards if, if the Italian TD I have my garage, if I can play it. <laughs> All right, so let's spot up. Enemy team do have a TVP. They also have a Vickers CR, not a tier 10 Vickers at least. So we can at least spot these dudes up a little bit. And there's a tier 10 Vickers as well. Cool, okay. I don't really like how this is going. These dudes are just gonna take corner. They're gonna be real annoying. They have an E4. They also have Heavy's Captain B. Honestly, the bat shot's all about clip and dip stuff, so I gotta wait for the right opportunity to provide the maximum clip and dip potential. But now's not it. Now's not it. I gotta wait to see if this dude backs up at all. Rickers can't spot me. There we go. Let's aim one shell into their TVP. Get a nice shell into him. Let's pull down in case there's someone behind me, which there's not as of right now. There is a tier 9 Vickers over here. We can aim a shell in for his turret there. He does hit me once, so one-to-one -one trade. Not a very good trade, but... You know, the enemy team's getting clowned on. So let's reload our magazine. Um... E4 potentially could be in their spawn. Let's not get spotted up just yet. Because we're reloading, there's no reason to. Our spawn's really in the open. I'd love to push there, but I don't think I can, to be honest. Just because they're probably going to full send it behind us soon. Although... Alright, let's pop that reload consumable equipment. One shot to this WZ. Two shots to this WZ. And let's put three shots to the WZ. Love it! There we go. That's where that nice little piece of consumable delivery, uh, or not consumable, the intercope reload reduction consumable is. It's just very nice. Anyways, we can get ready to start clowning on the 60 TP soon, I think. I, mean, I don't think he's paying attention to me, so we can start putting some shells into him. All right, one shot into our man's here. Uh, two shots into our man's here. Let's pull away from him. Let's get ready to push shell into the back of the yo, maybe. I mean, well, the 60 TP just kind of gave up on life, so let's just put another shell into him. Nice little max roll. WZ is coming for me. Ah, yes, light tank gameplay. The quintessential beauty of light tank gameplay. Yoloing around, catching players off guard, and clipping them out. Ah, the bat shot is actually quite nice. I felt like the gun handling was better, but maybe I'm just, maybe I just haven't played it in a hot minute. I could have sworn it had slightly better accuracy than this, though, so. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. One more shot to this man's here. We should be able to pick up the kill. Never mind, it was stolen from me. And we just have that last WZ somewhere else. Good old Bashathion. Good old Bashathion. Okay, hello WC. 
Don't die just yet. I want to hit you full on the move. High roll you and kill you because I'm just that much of an epic gamer. Yoink. Well, I didn't high roll him, but I did hit it <laughs> midair. Oh, wait. Jump, 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 jump. No. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Fatness. Hello, simp. <laughs> uh, the clip consumable rocks on the Bash Shot the Yawn. It does. It's nice. You don't use it a whole lot, but when you do get to use it, it's satisfying, right? I was able to hit two pretty... Ooh, I wonder how many games this 57 Heavy has to reach level 50. Let's find out. 3,150 games, 2,300 average. Not bad, I guess. He also has level 50 in the 62A. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What other requests do we have for vehicles you might be interested? Will you bust out the 1, 2, 1, B? I don't know, man. I worked really hard to get my stats up on that tank. <laughs> Not gonna lie, so I retired it after. <laughs> I had awful stats in the 1, 2, 1 initially, so it was really painful fixing them. Um... Just completing battle pass stuff. Don't bop, don't mind me. All oh, right, right. You wanted to see the the Schmeckshi Italian TD. Here you go. Ah, darn. It's nowhere to be found. Unlucky. I guess I can't play it for you today. <laughs> uh, can you play the E seventy five? Interesting. FE405. I mean, FE405 is as much. Please play 55A. I know someone's been asked about the 55A a few times. Um, I honestly someday want to do a stream on the 55A. I don't like the 75, so I'm just not a heavy fan. Uh, 55A, is it Chinese or is it Blitz Nation? It's Blitz Nation. This thing's pretty spicy. Let's take it for a quick spin. And then, well, we got to give the... Uh, we got to give the good old 405 a spin because I have every single... Um, spicy camo on it because the 45 is the one tank that got to level 50. Uh, why can't you show us? Murphy Murphy? <laughs> it's because I'm a tester. It's a, t it's a test vehicle. Where we give me vehicles to test and then, you know, I provide feedback and then they record the statistics it's about, and compare it to what I average in other tanks. And then once they're done with their test period, they remove it. So that's why you, that's why I don't have it anymore. <laughs> if you're curious. 55A. Love this tank. It's rather like an old school 140 at tier 9, in my opinion. We have this really nice gun, decent mobility, uh, okay amount of armor. And uh, I know it's, I think it's in the shop right now. Not 100%, but I think uh, it's more like a T-54 lightweight at tier 9, to be honest. I, I, I made a 140 comparison, but now I, now I think about it, it's more like a 54 lightweight. But then again, the 140 is like a tier 10 lightweight, so it's hard to say. Anyways... I've been quite aggressive on this side, but obviously the enemy team isn't in the vicinity. So we can actually get some early farm out. Very fast, you will reach your 50 plus kilometer an hour top speed with relative ease. Um, I did get spotted by, I believe, the Skoda T50 here. We have okay turret armor for what we need and a really nice 100 millimeter gun. It's like if the if it's like the best of both worlds for the 54, the T54's guns. Because you know the 54 gets two guns. And if you were to combine the best characteristics of both, that's what you get on this vehicle. Oh, hello. Snapshot. Oh, I didn't have the church over speed. That was my bad. Anyways, enemy team. Kind of full sending it up top here. Let's get ready to push onto the Z75TS. Sadly, we didn't pen him. I'm going to pull forward a little bit. There we go. Z75TS is suiciding, and same with the Skoda there. Let's put a quick shot towards this man's. Oh, but it doesn't have the uh, the pen of, of a tier 10 bed. That's for sure. We are just bouncing so many shots here. Let's just y'all the, 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 the boar sig here. Oh, hello, G. How's it going, G? Uh, yes. Hope life's going well for you, son. Life going well for you, son. Let's use him as a meat shield from the AT-15. We'll take one shot. Not the end of the world, though. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, against tier 8s, you will bomb them with a tank like this. Just track this dude, maybe. Oh, hey. Oh, he hits those. What a, what a pro gamer. Oh, man. Am I running rammer? I have, like, no pen. This is very sad. Okay. Um, IS-5. Boom. Very nice. Like I recommend, you do want to play this a little bit more like a lightweight than, a, than your traditional med. It's definitely not 54. Put another shot for this man's pull down. We've not farmed a whole lot. But that's not the end of the world. wz 122 tm is about to get taken down, I think. I don't have to worry too much about this man's here. So let's get ready to deal with this AT-15 and um, IS-5. All right. So let's see, we can go haul down on this side. I'm sure the IS-5 is kind of prepared for me to pull around this corner here. Dude seems like he really wants to uh, to full send it. So while he's full sending it and gets a little distracted, we'll put a, ooh, okay. <laughs> get trolled, 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 my kid. 
And AT-15's coming back for some more playtime. Hello, AT-15. Let's put another one into you, good sir. I out-traverse you because I am speed. And 2k damage. Amazing gameplay. I'm joking. I bounced so many shots. Confirmed. Do not snipe in the 55A. I like it, but uh, don't snipe in it. I, I, I think I have the highest average on the server with it with 30, just under 3,300 average in it. So I, I do play generally pretty well in this tank. Uh, I guess this just wasn't my game. Um, 405 time. Yes, let's, let's flex just how pro we are in the 405 guys uh, tier 10. Look at this. Oh, yes. Spicy. Golden camo. Not that it really matters too much, but I'll, I'll take it. I provide feedback, so that's why all the new tanks are so OP. LOL. What do you mean? Here's a little hint. <sighs> a, a little a little secret. We provide feedback, but Wargaming will do what Wargaming does. And they're like, but stats say otherwise. And yeah. Trust me, I said the 200 LT was going to be 2 OP. Same with the Yo, same with the 60 TP, and uh, and all those other tanks <laughs> that came in. I said the Type 71 was going to be too too strong when it came into the game. They still came in as they were. That's just how our gaming is. I don't take it personally. As a matter of fact, ever since I became a CC, I'm no longer required to provide feedback. So I'm just like, yeah, just use my 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 stats for your analysis or whatever, but otherwise I'm chilling. All right, this this is a spicy chem on the 4005. Can't deny that, right? This looks hot. So 4005, as we know, favorite tank, one of my favorite tier 10 tanks in the game. And an absolute blast to just annoy people, their their life and their dreams. Now I am by myself. If they send like an I7 and I4 in the town, I, I might be a little screwed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I might be able to, okay, nice. That's the I7 and the IS4, I think. Both of them are out of this fight. Cool beans. Okay, let's get behind the enemy team. We might have to deal with the 183 first, but let's get ready to start just dunking on their team from behind. This is where the fun begins. My team did go ruined, so I want to be able to provide them with that support as efficiently as possible in a moment's time. But, uh, where's the 183 at? Need to find the 183. Hopefully my stream's still running. My screen just bl blacked out on me. So, let's reload it real quick. Oh my gosh. No! Because I was busy refreshing my screen, I failed to to be able to dunk on this 183. My life sucks. My life actually sucks, dude. Because I was so busy refreshing my screen that by the time the 183 got spotted, I was like too too slow to be able to hit clip him out. That just sucks. All right, one shell though. Two shots. Let's try and dunk away. Okay. Oh my gosh! Wow, get trolled. Oh my! How am I? How much? How troll do you want the gun experience to be? Wargaming says yes. There's no way those two shots missed. Like 90% of his take was in my reticle. That is blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. Oh my gosh. Still, the Sheridan's gonna be big brain, so I'll wait for him to support me. I'll, I mean, I'll support him. He can keep spotting up all he wants. All right. Well, that was not a gamer trade. I was hoping to take at least, you know, 1700 out of that 183, but obviously that didn't go as planned. <laughs> um. See, the question is, where the 183 at? Where the 183 at? I7 came back for me. I do have Kron covering, cover firing. Let's just keep... Oh, man, that's not what we wanted to see. Well, there's only three allies left. We got to play another one in the 405. This is not a not a very gamer experience here. All right. Consumable one, consumable two. Boom, one shot. Boom, two shot. Boom, three shot. Nice. What? The 183's over there now? Hello? Why is the 183 all the way over there? That doesn't make any sense, but at least I got a full clip out sometime before the end of this game. Watch. We're, we're going to make this dude's fluffy shot. <laughs> well, that didn't quite go as planned. My team didn't do so well in the um, the ruins, and our heavies did nothing. Like, this is an issue, man. If you're a heavy take, you have to be there to help your team out a little bit. You don't want to just sit back and snipe all game, and our meds are too aggressive by themselves. We, we got to give the 1A3 another shell. <laughs> another try, not another shell. Uh, uh, yeah, we're giving. Give it the 1A3 another shell. I'll take that back. Give it five. No balls. <laughs> ha, get scammed, 1A3. Get scammed. You didn't get that last farm shot in. <laughs> okay. He's blocking his own teammates now. Epic. <laughs> oh, man. Troll gun experience is normal for me. One of these gamer. Right, 50, 40, 5. I know, right? How many credits? Is
It muted my mic as well? You, like, why did my computer just mute my mic? For no explained reason. So now I've been talking to you for the last few minutes without even knowing it. Ah, <sighs> uh, computer, why you do this to me? Like, I kid you not, this was all I saw. This was my computer screen. It's, it's flipped sideways, I know. That was my computer screen, right there. It just blacked out, and it said like, hey, we ran into a problem with a little frowny face. I'm like, come on, dude. Wait, let me make sure this is the uh, Stream Beats playlist. Good, I don't want to get stream striked. All right. What's up, guys? Um, that kind of dampened the mood, but we're back. <laughs> uh, 45 has to get a take two. Sorry, guys, can't leave it on that. 45 is too much of a gamer for me to leave it there. Oh, man. Music, yes, voice, no. We are back now. We are back. Uh, I was saying the 183, dude. He messed my day up so much that game that he... That he straight up sent a 183 millimeter shell straight through my cable into my computer and made everything crash. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's 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 take the 45 for another spin. Uh, we'll play a few more games. <laughs> Curse 45 RNG straight up. W what's up? Goes his royal fatness here. Yes, what's up, guys? <laughs> we are back. Sadly, we lost a large proportion of viewers, but not the end of the world. Um. Should I be that gamer? That big ring player that wanders off by himself from his team. First, let's get a feel for what their team's doing. They have double 183s after all, but not a whole lot of fast heavies. There's the Progetto. I'm gonna be ready to run if necessary. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy, but the moment I feel I can push their town safely, I'm gonna do it. Now the Progetto was spotted, but was he by himself? He might have been by himself. There's the one to one. Okay, that's their other fast tank. No platoons? One of three is our platoon together. Watch them be like stream sniping, and they just like double tap me. That would be kind of a meme. I don't want that to happen. Oh, no, never mind. They double tapped our uh, 183. So they're both up top. Everyone's up top. Let's go. All right, time to go gamer mode, guys. We're gonna we're gonna pull that big brain solo flank. All right, take two, revenge on the 183. Oh my gosh, RNG on these 183s do be lucky. They're like, you shall not pan. Take a couple blind shots in case. Oh my gosh, the E5 just got Amorakt. What is going on? My goodness. Okay. Well, I am completely out of this fight. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, we could still get some crossfire on these 183s when they get spotted up. My team is not doing the worst, but they are kind of losing up top. So, probably should get my, my bouté into the game before it's too late. The only problem is no one's spotting up these 183s. And I don't think I have the view range. Even though 183 does have way worse camo than me. You know, if he's sitting stationary behind one of these buildings or something, we got problems. But, you know what? We got we got to risk it for the biscuit. If I don't move, my teammates are going to die. Oh, wait, oh, wait, come on. I need to get up here so I can clip that 57 out. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit more acceleration. You got this, 405. There we go. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy armor is hit. We've damaged them. Nice, get a full clip into the 57 there. Sadly, with the HE didn't pen. All right, here's what we're gonna have to do now. There's the 183 hit earlier. I'm gonna have to pull up and help a 57 out in just a moment here. I can't stay down low forever. Need to help the homies out over here. I, this is partially my fault. I was much too much of a wandering Andy this battle to, to say I did a good job here. My teammates are probably raging so hard too. Oh no. <laughs> My turret's too tall. <laughs> Way too tall. Get, get brain on, boy. I'm acting like I'm backing up to bait them all to look this way. Psych. Psych. I ricocheted him. I just ricocheted this dude. What? Oh my gosh! I just ricocheted two shots. What is this meme, bro? I ricocheted 268 and the TBP off the rear of my 183. I mean, 4005. What a meme. You know what? We got our damage out, so I'm happy with that. I didn't say I had to win. I kind of threw a little bit. I'm sure if I was covering my allies better, we could have got the dev. Oh, well. Uh, okay, what else do you guys want to see me play? Let's see. Let's see. What else do we got here? Nice. Two hours and 34 minutes. Uh, yes. Fanis, have you checked out the, uh, the new American Premium? I have not ripped the lag. It shouldn't be lagging. My 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 bitrate's solid at least. Oh come on, it reset all of my OPS settings. 
Um, Francis plays Tinker Vale. No, it doesn't answer chat. Fun fact, he doesn't answer chat. Just Tinkin. Did you just arrive or something? I always answer chat. Not every single message, but I'm pretty active in it. All right, all right, all right. Um, what are some of the other suggestions? Suggestions. I don't have the Act Tiger 88, so can't play that one. Boo, 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 boo. STB Indian Panzer? I wanted to say the one to one B, but I don't want to play the one to one B because I know I'm going to ruin its stats. Uh, STB was the first request, so let's go. We'll take the STB for a quick spin. Not the most fascinating thing, but there we got. There we had it. And then getting a couple requests for 215B. You know, I streamed the 215B not long ago, and you guys are still thirsty for more of that 215B hash content, you dirty lads, you. 50T, A. Leo 1, Vickers Light. Okay, okay. 215B, though. Most requested. We'll play that one next. We'll get some good 215B in action. Action in, hopefully. That's the plan. All right, so STB, we all know the STB, 11 degrees of gun depression. Gun handling got a little bit more trash, but overall it's still decent. Mobility, not amazing, but decent. Turret armor still works really effectively for what it is. This is, okay, lazy crossing. I'm gonna suffer so much for this. Never mind, he's gonna suffer. I just realized 11 degrees of gun depression might mean I can work the middle of this hill. I can! No way! That's actually insane. Bro, I could just sit here and I could shoot anyone who pulls forward. Look at that. Okay, this is where 11 degrees is going to be real noticeable on something like the STB. Another shell to our lad here. Uh, the Progetto getting a little bit over aggressive in my opinion. Put a quick shot to him. Gun handling not su superb. What happened to that Sheridan? Did he get blind fired or something? I don't know what happened to him. Just trying to avoid taking some shots from the Hori at all possible. Because that'll make a break for it. Uh, the gun handling of this tank definitely isn't superb, I'll, I will admit. Mm. Okay, Hori making a break for it. Let's put a shell into him. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. Good old stuff. Good old stuff. All right, all right, all right. That 183 is way back in Narnia. Progetto's making a break for it. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, dude, if you get the STB to a hold on position, it is such a chillin' tank. Like, seriously. Big chillin' supreme. Let's track this dude to the 40. You gonna get stuck ever? He's like, help, I'm stuck. Okay, he's unstuck now. Good stuff. Let's yellow in. I mean, this game is over instantly, let's be honest here. But STB has always been a pretty a pretty chill tank. Um, you know, 11 degrees of gun depression is nice, but I, I kind of wish it had kept the same gun handling. I think getting its gun handling nerfed wasn't really all that necessary. It's not like it has crazy good DPM compared to the other tier 10 meds or anything, you know. DPM is very middle of the park, you could say. All right, let's pull back a little bit from the hurry here. I don't mind taking a shot from this dude because I think we've already won this game. Get a ricochet. I mean, oh, this tank is so comfy to play, man. And I don't mean that it's plushy. I mean, comfy isn't... It just performs as you would expect it to, unless you, you, you suck. In which case, you suck. Um, we kill Sean to this dude here. M40 pounds, all that's left. He's just full setting it into a 4005. What a, what a Chad player. Dude's just like, no fear. He's straight up sending it. Respect. Respect the suicide yellows. There you go. Good old STB1. Great tank. Great tank. Not the best farmer, because a little low on the DPM, in my opinion. Accuracy is a little mid as well. You're the goat, Fanis. Hey. Thank you, G. <laughs> oh, wow. We got four. Wait, that was 4K? There was no way that was 4K. That was like such a chill game. I didn't. I thought I got like 3,200 or so. Nice. Okay. Okay. 2 and 5 B time. Spicy. Spicy. Hesh time. Let's go. <laughs> don't ignore the invincible one to one B, bro. I just don't want to ruin my stats in it. You don't understand. I I, I I just worked so hard one night to get my stats up in that tank, like straight up. <laughs> Still want to see the four two two stream. Ah, we must consider this. Do you two six eight, please? SD is one of my favorites, so I got the Confenser fifty T. I mean, yeah, Confenser fifty T is really good. I will admit, but I don't think it's in the same realm as it's as an STB in terms of its overall play style. Because STB is like your haul down. You are 100% haul down. That's your play style. You're great at it, you know? And and the Kampanzer is, it's, it can haul down, but you shouldn't become overly reliant on your armor um, under gun depression, which is a bit bizarre on the tank for some weird reason. And, it, you know, it's it, it just works a little bit more like a Leopard STB hybrid, I would say, than a true, you know, haul down STB style tank. All right, we're probably gonna get spotted by the one to one B here. Maybe shot by the T92. Kinda don't want to get shot by the T92, but whatever, can't change it. Yoink. That's that 215B gun handling, baby. You cannot 
hate this thing's gun handling. Oi, 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 oi. Alrighty. So, Chief to Mark 6, kind of chilling over here. Um, with the Emil. Big chilling. Sadly, we don't match with that one. I'm just going to angle my turret a little so it's a little harder for him to get a direct angle shot onto me. We know the VK is right back here. Now, we shouldn't have any clean shots on me. Boom, shot to the side. Good stuff. The 2 and 5B, man, it's gun, it's hash, it's accuracy. There is straight up nothing to hate about this tank, uh, in my opinion. Uh, like, watch. If we hash this, we're, we're S tier. <laughs> we just hash the VK-72 that was side scraping and penned it. Now, the, the one thing is you can't really ha you can't really side scrape back. Like, I'll probably get penned for this. It, is it the end of the world? Not really, because I can just shoot it here. Nice. But you have to keep such a steep angle if you want to side scrape in this tank. If you not keep the world's steepest angle, your life is going to suck. Max will hash, maybe. Not quite. I think we're going to straight up just push here. So here's where we pop that engine speed boost considerable. Let's straight up just, just cross through here, nice and safely. Put another shell to our mans here. Make sure the VK can't shoot at me. Make sure the ti 5 v 6 can't shoot at me. I should be able to uh, reload this dude, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. VK big chillin'. Let's aim for that weak spot. Sadly, that one bounces, but not the end of the world. I mean, dude, yeah, there's really nothing to... Uh, Nothing to hate about this tank's gun, I will say. It's armor, yeah. I understand if you if you don't if you don't vibe with this tank's armor, but it's gun? Heck no, dude. Alright, alright, alright. Hash shot to this dude's side. Let's angle up a little bit from the E6 here. Okay, might have made a little bit of a mistake here. Oh no. At T30, are you gonna Oh my gosh, I thought my teammates were gonna push up with me. I, apparently they're all just gonna sit back. And they don't, they don't want to do anything. I, I thought the T30 was going to push forward. Still, we got like 4,000 plus damage farmed out. And I honestly didn't miss out on much. I might have got like one Hesh shell to the E6. One or two max. Uh, and then it would have been game over anyway. So, we still had a pretty fun. We still had a pretty fun battle. Yep, I would have gotten like one Hesh shell. So, I missed out on 500 by 9 there. But, good stuff. Doing 5B. Farm with Hesh. Gun works well. Accuracy. Love everything about it. Make me stuff for stream win. I've done a few of those. I don't need to do any more. Remember, I stayed for 10 hours once. Like, 4,500 damage. It's so easy in this tank. Gotta play another game in it. I love this vehicle. There is, without a doubt, 205B. Okay. The screen did not want to leave the battle home result page. Please, Fatness, we want to see the cat. I'll give you a little sneak peek. There you go. It's Bobby. She's so cute. She's sleeping on my book. All right. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's take a. Let's get another. Let's get another spicy game in with the two and five B. Um, a, a platoon of V fifty M's, a VK, a sixty TP, a chieftain versus a seal two hundred LT. We're probably gonna lose that flank really hardcore. I'm gonna play it passively on the bridge so I can turn around and protect the flank immediately. Otherwise, I don't want to get too committed over there. So we'll take it easy for now. Please don't have spotted me up. Nice, he spotted the type up. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, spot anyone else up this crossing? I gotta be super careful here. It's the 1A3, the VK. Any of those dudes can go to that right corner. Make my life a little bit miserable. So let's see what they do spot up. Yeah, there's the 60 TP. Super aggressive heavies on our side, I will admit. Uh, and it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, watch. We're gonna... Sheesh. I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't know about the situation, Chief. Our flank is wide open. This chieftain is just in a super annoying position for my allies to deal with. Our heavies are going to get cross-fired out instantly. Oh, Bobby's like, how dare you record me without my permission, human? I'm going to leave. Okay. Um, These dudes are just wasting their time. 200 LT, you could have sat in the back of our spawn, and we would have been more useful than going there. Mm. Chieftain's flanking. I'm going to go with the chieftain. No point getting stuck into that ditch. I'm going to do absolutely nothing there. Let's use the 2 and 5B's mobility and get out of here and work on a flank. Because that's just like way, way smarter of us. Oh, wait. Oh, of course. If it isn't the classic spawn sniping German heavy. Enemy oh, no. I should have helped the chieftain. No, nope, mistakes were made. Chieftain's getting going now. You know what? I don't care about you guys. I got to help the chieftain out. But it's too late. Chieftain already is dusto. Put a hash shell into this dude at least. Only 430, but I'll take that. That's some damage dealt. Um, and I'm going to keep continue holding our spawn to the best of my ability here. Okay, bouncing a heat shell from this man's. E50M 2.0 is about to just get wrecked by everyone, maybe. Another 515 hash into him. Our heavies are just dying. 
uh, this li this life of ours just sucks. This is what happens when any team just have like a massive med advantage on this map. There's really not much you can do about it. If our type can pull back and get safe, we might actually have a chance of winning this game. But my optimism is pretty low. Um, not super opt op op optimistic about the outcome of this battle here. I know there's a VK on my left, but right now I just want to work down the Chieftain, if at all possible. VK's on reload for like 15 seconds now. I don't have to really, I don't have to really worry about him all that much here. Nice, get Hush gun into him. Good stuff. Alright, E50M is a one shot, so let's pull back just a little bit here. APCR, gun, 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 gun. Oh, come on, just missing out on an opportunity there. Let's stay safe from the 183 as well. 183 is full sending it for the type here. Maybe I can save our type. Hush shot. Nice, nice, nice. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Okay, if I pull forward on this Chieftain, my main concern is the fact that the VK is going to crossfire me out. Nice, 1A3. You guys are clutch. You guys are some clutch teammates. Holy smokes. Oh, I shouldn't have shot Hush there. Oh, well. Talk about some clutch teammates, man. Come on, Yag. You got to push forward. I'm worried about that VK's crossfire. Just why I'm not really backing up here. Oh, yes, baby. Burn. Whew. 1A3. Shout out to you. Uh, Type 71 played that super well. Like, kudos to both of those dudes. Really good gameplay. Um, clutch it up there for the team. Nice. <laughs> I honestly thought we were going to lose that. Luckily, this C50 mulled it and died, and then that one somehow got outplayed by a 183 when he had full hit points almost. <laughs> And here is everyone's favorite big brain spawn sniping German super heavy. I guess he was just trying to balance the match out, you know? He's like, he's like, fam, I, c I can't have the. I didn't got trolled by my gun. What? Like, fam, I, c I can't, I can't have the enemy team just getting wrecked because they have fewer meds. No! I could have had like 750 more damage now. Oh well. There we go. We'll still get close to 4K, I think. And his VK is big chillin'. Dude, just straight up big. Oh, he just got hash for 600. <laughs> I should just yell him. I could take two shots, but I'm too lazy to drive out. So I'm straight up. Oh my gosh. I got trolled at the end. I got trolled at the end. It's okay. Oh man. Love the, <laughs> love the two and five be all the same, man. This tank is so great. Uh, good stuff. 1,100 damage. Um, Yag, you get an upvote. You, you play pretty well. 1A3 as well, and type as well. Uh, Chieftain 200 LC could use a little bit of revision. Their Chieftain farmed well. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, what else is being requested? What else is being requested, my, my young ones? Uh, I mean, the 205B had the most requests. <laughs> uh, the 121, poor fatness, poor me. Yeah, yes, yes. Yolo for content. <laughs> New AM premium. What? I don't know what you're talking about. 113. I got to do a stream on the 113 soon. So I don't think I'll spoil it just yet. Um, Leo. I've done so many Leo streams. I'll hold off on that. Vickers Light. 422 teaser. I already did a 422 recently. <laughs> IS4. What? Do you want me to hate myself? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, a lot of people just spam for Vickers. Okay, Vickers had more than one request, so we'll do straight up Vickers. Love the Vickers light, by the way. Great tank. Great tank, great tank, great tank. We're really worth um, worth getting nowadays, in my opinion. Wargaming doing good things to its gun. Ooh, you know what would be an interesting idea? Um, what tank before I end today's stream? Mm -hmm. What tank should I get to level 50? That'd be fun, right? <laughs> Jack, does he usually sub the <laughs> magenta for orange? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. I, I kind of just swap, swap. I mean, I switch up my lighting whenever I feel like it. I'm very... Recently, the aesthetic of my room reorganized a lot of it. And I felt like a clean blue and violet. Although that might have just been the cyberpunk influences. Up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got hair in my mouth, and I drove into a rock at the same time. I am such a pro gamer. Conf Panzer Sheridan has better view range than me nowadays. So I want to be careful. Okay, I'm probably spotted. So let's pull back. 268 sending into the corner. Let's see what the enemy team does. I, I, I like to play passively now in the mid nowadays. I used to be super aggressive, but I like to take it a little bit more easy. Get, get a little bit of a feel of what the enemy team is doing. Okay, now we get a little bit of a feel for what they're doing. Got the enemy Sheridan. 
Okay, there's their E3. There's their Badger. Let's put a quick shot on the one. And oh, the joys of the snappy Vickers light gun. It really is snappy. And it, it's it's such an incredible feeling. Although, that's not an incredible feeling. Seeing a Badger, hold on, Badger staring at you with lust in its eyes. Okay, we are going to give these guys the big old, um, not big old debate. Well, kind of the big old debate. Okay, I'm not going to shoot him yet. He doesn't see me. Boom, we shoot him now. We take one shot from this type who hits me for like 100 damage. We kill this dude. Now we have a 50 B to deal with. We're hold down though. So, you know, as long as we play this carefully. Ah, I hate 50 B turrets. This dude's chilling. Like, look at him. He's like, I have no desire in life but to just sit here all day. Oh, the Sean one. This, this dude's... He, he's not the most capable 50B driver, I would say. But look how snappy the Vickers gun is nowadays. It really works so well. I mean, unless you played the old Vickers, you wouldn't really be able to notice the difference. But man, oh man, this 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 version of the Vickers gun is a world better. You know what? I'll trade a shot, bro, for a 550 max roll. Good stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't push me out. Oh, Emil, you suck. Oh, and you bounce too. Watch, give me the extra shot. Ha! <laughs> you pushed me. And by doing that, I get the extra kill. Although I did take an extra shot for it, so I don't know if that was fully worth it or not. Ah, I peg up piggies. Okay, this game is actually still potentially close, so let's take it easy for now. Uh, the Badger should go down pretty quickly here. I'm not super worried about the Badger and Cop Hunter. They're, they're both a little over extendo. Uh, oop, that's an E3. Nice and fired, though. Uh, the Sheridan's a problem. He's gonna flank us soon. Once he kills that grill, it's just the Yag that's gonna protect me. This game is pretty close, but we do have a massive cap advantage. I'm not too worried just yet. Although the type 71 is problematic. Okay. We're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, big brainery gameplay here. One, we're going to have to escape from the type who's straight up yellowing for us in the E3 as well. Luckily, the type can't straight up yellow for me though. Because I have a Jaeger for cover and a Kron for cover. Or so I thought. Or so I thought. It turns out I do not. Well, Kron came back. Legendary. Enemy armor is damaged. Okay, this dude just fired. E3 also just fired. Push shelter his lower plate. Good stuff. Damage. Let's get down quickly so the Sheridan can't quite shoot at me. Oh, he low rolled me. He low rolled me. Come on, come on. Let me, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me oh, come on! Why you just sit there? Dude, if you pull forward, I could have backed up and avoided the Sheridan in E3. Ah, oh, the Kron! He's trying to throw. Bobby is... I feel like she's going to destroy my stream because she's sleeping on my keyboard. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Bobby, you're super sweet. I get it, but sleeping on the keyboard is a little, a little scary. I'm afraid she's going to click the wrong button. We might win the cap. We might win the cap. I don't know. If this dude, can, if this dude killed the cop pants, we had a chance. All right. That's the Vickers out of the way. Let's go. Um... Oh, I can't scroll through chat because cat, my cat's sitting on the shift key or something. It's just causing my stream to glitch out when I do that. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Let's see. What was the... Okay, what was the recent one I could see? Progetto's worth the level 50. Hmm. Driver 2, wall check mark. Hey, it's a fatness classic. I have to do it every single stream. KB1, LOL. Are you insane? Um... All right, let's scroll through and see what we like. Sadly, our Yag died. I did 4k damage. I think we played that pretty well. I think if the Kron hadn't pushed me, one made me take a shot from the 50B when I didn't need to. Uh, and two, if he had just worked a little bit faster and covering me from the type, we actually could have maybe won that. Da -da 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 -da. What else should I play, guys? Okay, let's end it with a classic. I mean, I think at this point of time, we just have to, before we end the stream, at some point of time, meme someone with a 183 with zero regrets. Fun fact, fatness smells like Minecraft. I have never touched nor played Minecraft, so I don't know how I could smell like it, brother. 205B level 50. <laughs> Two eight badger. Hey yo. You know, you know how I am, guys. I gotta end on a 183 note. I, I I can't I can't end a stream without derping someone's life with a 183. So let's let's make it happen. HRF, have you played Minecraft? <laughs> well, I think I just answered your question, uh, GV. I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> I had just answered your question without even before you even asked it. 1837 came games let's go 7k game let's go well well maybe maybe we'll see we'll see and let's reach that 300 like mark while we're at it if you haven't liked the stream seriously would appreciate that likes uh if you were to smash the like button thank you very much and we're at or bust <laughs> saw a minecraft roll in the rgn server yes and i don't have it for a reason okay so the enemy team isn't here interesting 
Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping they would be here because that make my life a little easier because now it's going to be a long distance sniping game, but oh well. Thank you for carrying me in what be. Uh, <laughs> just thinking. No problem. I, I don't know where I carried you, but no problem. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are the proest of pro gamers, guys. If I had hit that, that would have been pretty epic, but I don't think I even had enough lead because I was still traversing my turret. I hate type 71s, rat 71s, I mean, must die. All rat 71s must die. Oh, 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 what do we got here? So 57 spotted me up. Let's back up before we get affected by someone. Oh, oh, it's a rat 71. It's a rat 71. I hate you. <laughs> I don't. I take it back. Oh, these blasts from 500. Pots your shot AP. Dang it, the enemy team is getting dunked on before I can do thy dunking. This is unfortunate. Hey, Bobs. Hey, do you want to sit in a drawer? Let me, let me pull out her favorite drawer. You can go lie down there. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. I just want to derp someone. That's my only, that's my only dream in life. E even though this game has not been very, very chad. No 5k game today. Uh, at least not yet. <laughs> We still have an opportunity here. <gasps> Why did I have to shoot? No. No. Wait. Yes. No. I, I got I got scammed. I was scammed. What do you mean? His whole side of his turret. A leopard one. War gaming. I need a refund on that shell. <laughs> or whatever spaced armor you magically gave to the um, leopard one there. This is blasphemy. Uh, sir, not a good idea. Oh, the ricocheted! <laughs> we are so pro. Psych! <laughs> I don't know what this what this over is doing, bro. This was not it. This was not the gamer gameplay that we wanted, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Uh, Kron, please don't block all my shots. Thank you. Enemy armor <laughs> We're gonna be scared me. I know. We gotta do another take. That that's not the game we wanted. That was not the game we wanted. If you're wondering where Bobby is, she's 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 sitting in her favorite drawer grooming her paws. So she's still with us. We did get 3k. My whole team was bopping, except for the 57. So shout out to the team. Let's give this another try. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? You having fun in your favorite drawer? She's like, yes. Now stop bothering me, human. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Not the best map, I will admit. Um, and I don't really know what I wanted to here, but let's just try to make the best of it. Oh. They have a Sheridan on Yamato, and we have no mediums or lights. That kind of sucks. I guess I'm stuck in a heavy tank engagement right now. Not the end of the world, but I'll, uh, it kind of sucks being stuck in a heavy tank engagement on this map when you have no meds. For 13.85, wanted to go right. That would have been cool, actually. Because now we have to deal with the Sheridan problem. What music is this? If you look at the lower left corner, or lower right corner, sorry, uh, the, you, you should see a little indicator, a little green indicator. Each time a new song plays right after it starts, you'll see the notification down there that briefly tells you the name of the song and the artist. So if you like the lo-fi music, this is my typical stream stream beats shenanigans. You know how it is. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, he gave me the nuke. I have a strand of hair. It keeps going into my mouth. It is extremely unpleasant. And he gave me the nuke. Unlucky Miss Maximus for this dude. The wind. The wind keeps blowing the hair into thy face. All right. Ah, that was a great shot. That's what we like to see. That was the 1A3 action that we all came here for. Alrighty, alrighty. There probably are tanks over there that are just unspotted. These dudes got mega farmed, so let's take it easy. I'm sure someone will pop up here sooner or later, so let's just pre aim. Our spawn's covered by the VK45. We don't have to worry so much about him. It all depends on what gets spotted. The best play for me right now is to not get spotted in the open so I can deliver the punishments to them uh, when the time is ripe. But I feel like I kind of got to do something, though, because if I keep sitting here forever and ever, my teammates are probably going to just end up dying or, or killing the enemy team. It'll be too late for me. Okay. Here's the plan. 
Let's wait for Mr. E5. We're gonna pre-aim a little bit, so we barely have to aim in this shot here. Let's shoot AP. Oh! So that's the one that doesn't hit. The one that I aimed in, like, really well. I see how it is. It's because I didn't shoot Hesh. My Hesh algorithm deactivated, and therefore I missed my shell. Very big brain. Should have shot Hesh at the top of this turret if that was the case. Okay, here's the Sheridan. There's the VK. We know where the Yo is. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot for me to do just yet. I could go all the way back to our spawn, but I'm worried if that E5 spots me on the crossing, my life is gonna mega suck. But I could try going for it. Let's see. Oh man, right after I move, the VK pulls up. Yeah, I was worried about that. The grill and the Waffenfeger while crossfires and stuff. But I need to go back and help her VKB. Kind of surprised the E5 spotted me that second time, but not the first time. I guess that's the difference a few meters makes, right? Okay. VK just fired. We'll wait for him to pull up again, and then we're going to hash him to the side. Now, I don't know if the VK has the view range to really deal, outspot me here. So that's the good news. So let's wait to see what he does. Okay, okay. Maybe an AP shell. Oh man, this 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 game has been either all or nothing RNG with AP. <laughs> Teammates, ah, they're spread out all over the place. Yeah, I said this was kind of the issue when you can't control med side. You get surrounded super easily and it just kind of, generally speaking, sucks. Okay, VK. I don't know if this was worth it though. Enemy armor 970 damage. to the face. We do have a decent cap lead, but you know, our HP is just not cutting it anymore. The HP ain't cutting it, Chief. The HP ain't cutting it. Ooh, that you wanted to look kind of, kind of saucy over there. But I can't shoot at him just yet. Sag. Okay. I think the Sheridan's gonna try flanking our E5. When that happens, we will big brain game, go big brain gamer mode on Mr. Sheridan here. No! Of course he turns into the E5 instead of just driving away from him. Because, you know, that's the smart play to make. If I should get you at the Sheridan. Bruh! <laughs> I think our Mads is gonna drive into the, um, into that, uh, E5 there. I totally got, I totally got juked by that Sheridan's gameplay mystique. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, the girl's coming in from that side. So the best play for me to do right now, I'll just let the EVK shoot me. Hopefully he doesn't HE me here. He wants to, he wants to. He's thinking about it, but is he fast enough? No, he's not. I know the grill's on my side here, so I, I don't want to pull all the way backwards. Well, that's my primary concern. Enemy armor destroyed. Big braining on this dude. <laughs> the grill! Oh, that game was so that game was a massive L for me in terms of RNG, dude. If all my shots had hit, the E5 would have died sooner, the VK would have died sooner, probably. Uh, the Sheridan would have died sooner. At least we got 4k farm in the end, but like none of my shots hit that I really needed to hit. Unluck. Let's try that again. We, we, we gotta ruin someone's day. This is not ruining their day. <laughs> we need much Astro for the games. <laughs> Maybe the Jerry. Please, we need another game, preferably the one. Hi, Fast and all you wonderful people. I gotta go, but I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you, Jack, for dropping by. Okay, okay. This is an, uh, an awful side for the map, but let's see if our heavies can be big brain. E100 is immediately given up, and I can't really say I blame him. Uh, our Kron's the only hope we have of properly taking map control. Enemy team have a 57, a 5A, and an E100. Double 183s and 405, though, really limits their ability to be flexible versus their, our SCB 62A. They only have a single Vickers that can go corner. So all we have to do is just destroy their hopes and dreams of taking corner, right? Now, firstly, let's see what this Vickers does. Is this dude tries the big brain. We can, might be able to just dunk on him and hash. I don't like sitting back, but as a 1A3, I think you can't really excuse a 1A3 for sitting back here. All right. Because that. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. That dude hates his life. <laughs> his heavies aren't supporting him. It's the vi- What on earth are those? Okay, watch their 183s just be sitting in spawn. I'll, I'll be dead if I get, if I get like, double hashed here. Someone will do this, dude. Um, what are those heavies doing? Someone SOS, I need help. Okay. Oi, oi, Grill? Are you blind, Grill? Grill at 15? 1300. Grill? 
grill behind you. There's literally a tier 10 heavy tank sitting right there that you can bomb. I hope the 405 doesn't kill me when I'm backing up here. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Nice, 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 nice. Although, if you want to kill the grill, I would even be mad. Although... Oh, he still had shots on me. That was my bad. Grill! Hello! Where's the situational awareness? He was spotted there the whole... Oh, man. If that girl just come with, you know that 5A would be dead by now. The yeah, I can't blame. He's holding mid. Are you wonders chilling? I think my team got the dub here. Okay. We're not ending there. We're not ending there. At least I got two headshots off and an AP. So I still did over 3,000 damage in the end. Uh, it would have been nice, really nice, though, if that grill had actually helped me on the 5A instead of just abandoning me to stare into Narnia. So is the way of life. Um, apparently, everyone wants to see me play the Leopard still. I mean, I just streamed it not long ago, but... I mean, yeah. That last game wasn't cutting it. <laughs> he only has life. He has one A3s, right? I, I like how I rolled 700 with AP. That's like 200 below the average. Feels bad, Ben. I still need a meme game of the 1A3, man. That, that game wasn't cutting it. Bro, the grill literally drives up behind me. I'm like, oh, cool. He's going to help me. So I, I, I pull up on the 5A to hash him in his lower plate. Grill just turns around. Just... He just flat out just ignores him. You know, he doesn't care that there's a killable tier nine, tier 10 heavy tank sitting right behind him in spawn. That's actually being much a bit of an issue. He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to stare into Narnia. So it was the way of life. Boy, I think the Prochetto spotted me. I should be careful. And we didn't. So I have the bigger brain view range. Okay, so we're spawning up a little bit here. You know, Leopard, good old stuff. I don't think I need to say a whole lot about the Leopard. I've str this is probably my most played tank on the channel. Um, straight up, in terms of just... How many times I've played it. Speaking of most played, there's the 1A3. And he can't quite shoot me if I stay down low enough here. Very nice. Yoink. No way! This dude's an absolute gamer. That dude's an absolute gamer warlord. 1A3 with the snapshot for days, man. Good work by him. I don't think he's actually going to hit that, but it goes to show your life can just suck sometimes. Also, you know what sucks is getting YOLO'd. Which I am now getting yellowed. Luckily, T30 is on reload. So I just can run away from here. I don't know what this man is thinking. I mean, I don't think he is. But, yeah. Big big brain type 71 players as usual. Let's make sure we're safe from crossfires. We are type 71 players doing what they do best. YOLO like a peg of piggy. Pigamus Maximuses, you know? You know how it be for these type 71 players. They're so predictable. They are so predictable. Type 71 players are the most YOLO-esque players in this game, man. It's like... <laughs> and that, that's quite literally all I hear when I see these dudes just straight up sending it with absolutely zero plan. Where's the plan? You got to have a plan before you YOLO, my dude. You can't just straight up send it and think it's going to go well. <laughs> My goodness, my goodness, they never, they never fail to disappoint me. Anyways, um, slight problem here. My team is actually kind of losing this game big time. Pull back until that T30 shoots at me. I need to kill the 140, so I'm just waiting for my counter reset a bit. That 140 is harassing my allies. Oh man, the 183 is the last remaining ally I have left. Why does my life suck so much? I already know that Progetto is just going to straight up send it behind me in a moment's time. So I'm a bit nervous about overextending here a little. But, I mean, what chance do I have? What other options do I have? Actually, I should probably try killing the Progetto first. Oh, he killed my Amorak. Could have got him there if he hadn't taken out my Amorak. Ask the Leo one when your team... Yeah, I don't know what the team is doing. Type 71s, though. Please play IS-4HRF. Why? Why the IS-4? Out of any tank I could have enjoyed casually. Not the IS-4. Uh, I did zero good work. Wait, he's 60% too? Big brain. Uh, I guess he just had a bad game. Type 71 did two shots of damage. He's a 55 percent or 86,000 games. I guess he just wanted the full send it for the memes. Hey, we won the game. I probably still did like top two. 
Oh, this girl did two shots and died. Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it was requested. Thank you, by the way, for the donation. The donation to make me hate my life. We are taking Rammer on this boy. Oh, man. Why do you make me play guys for? Better restart the lights for this, man. <sighs> I swear never to play this tank again. Delight, привет, друг, как ты? Давно меня тут не было. Ah, delightful tactic. Ah, привет, bro. У меня все хорошо. А у тебя? Yeah, Grand Zero on our stream would be so cool. I thought I did one not long ago. Okay. Ay ay ay. Why you make me play an IS4? Or as I used to call them, the Rat Fours. Now we have the Rat 71s, but we did have the Rat Fours back in the day. Blitz Cup memories. Bro, I was playing the Vickers Light during Blitz Cup. I, like, no one wanted to put me in an IS-4 because I hated it so much that I didn't know how to play it. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> Anyways, if he's running out, he doesn't have support in town. So let's cap B and then get ready to start pushing on the enemy team. Now, it's not a bad tank. Don't get me wrong. It actually is pretty solid, especially now that it's had recent armor buffs and stuff. It's just not my favorite tank. You feel? It's very generic. Although, I'm going to take one for the team and say, you know what, boys? The IS-4 is better than the Type 71. I respect IS-4 players more than Type 71 players. Straight up. But at least IS-4s don't, like, just do Pepega YOLOs 24-7, you know? They actually... They use their brains a little bit more, so we're gonna we're gonna hopefully demonstrate that with this gamer battle in the IS-4. Actually, this thing feels pretty spicy. Now remember, we got a mobility nerf just a little bit, but this doesn't feel half bad at all. I, I don't know what this E6 is trying to accomplish here. Sure, he does have a whole lot of DPM, but I'm above I'm above this fool. Although you know what, let's put a quick shell towards the grill. 525 max roll, just because I don't want to get crossed right out by him, and we could just pull back and go hold down. The E6 won't be able to do a whole lot to me. I can just tell this dude is a absolute chad big brain gamer of an E6 player. And you know what? IS4, yellow time, baby. Let's go! Full sudden, boy! <laughs> hey, Olympia! Uh, Olympia Blade, thank you so much for the donation. You want me to do a 263 run? Okay, if you, if you insist, my good dude. Or, 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 uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's not make assumptions here. Uh, 704 is, is, is kind of getting touched a little bit, but we can just HE this dude in the back of his turret. Never mind. I'll just shoot AP. They should have him in a moment. TI5 is insane traverse speed anyways. You got him. Right? Right, you got him? Okay. I paused there because I actually started to doubt myself for a moment. All right. So, yeah, I mean, the IS4 gamer experience. Uh, what do I have to say? It's generic... It actually has a decent gun, to be fair, but it's generic. Um, no, he hits that where? Oh my gosh, he penned in front of my turret. Absolute gamer. Gamer plays by this Type 71 over here. Your brother, are you prepared to deal with my power? Hmm, I was trying to hit that corner on his turret. I think the 5401 was going towards the caves. I don't know 100%, but I, I believe he was. I am running Rammer, so I don't have the, the best T-Pen. There we go. <laughs> you can't out-game out the gamer, buddy. Hehe. <laughs> Bounce me, boy. Bounce me. Oi, 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 oi. Ah, yes. Burning, burning, burning the... Burning the flames of hell! Okay. Last one. I'm here. Oh, you're such a cute little thing. Oh, look at you. Right. This thing's decent. I will admit, it's decent. The reason I didn't like it back in the day is because it was just boring. Because it was such a well-rounded, good tank that was a bit slow for my liking. But there you go, 4,300 damage. Seven, only blocked 700. But who needs the block damage when all you do is deal damage, baby? Um, yeah, not bad. Kind of funny the TD skin to support me that game. Anyway, someone asked for the Yolo Wagon experience. Uh, great. I'm not a huge fan of this tank, but it, it can, it can, it has meme potential. It has meme potential. So, uh, thank you for the donation once again. The sexiest blitz. Blitzer is streaming again. Economics, mate. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Fast type 71 players or camping heavies? Uh, I take the camping heavies over type 71 players. <laughs> I already played Fosh and Conflict 2019, I think. Ah, oh, great days, great days. Yep. Absolutely loved the Fosh back when it was just bussin'. Straight up bussin'. 
uh, one, two, six, three stream. I don't know. When Wargaming stopped nerfing it for no reason, why on earth they nerfed it last update? I have no clue. It was already one of the least played tier 10 TDs, in my opinion, because no one likes it. And Wargaming are like, uh huh, you know how we're going to get this tank to be played more? Let's nerf it. And so they nerfed it. And I, I, do, I, I honestly have no clue why they would nerf such an awful vehicle. Anyways, that object really just hit those. But it don't matter. Even if he hits those, it straight up won't matter. Doink. Okay. Tier LT is being quite aggro, but this object doesn't really have a whole lot of support. So I know I might take a shot here for this. I'd love to put a shot to this man's though in return. Nice. Tier LT is kind of making a bit of a break for it here. Uh, I don't think the 1-2-1 is quite all that familiar. Okay. Grill 268. That's most of their TDs over there up top. Cool beans. Hee 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 hee. It's not what you think, Mr. Object. It's not what you think. Die. See, that's what I hate about this tank. It can't it can't snapshot at all. It's like the worst snapshotting vehicle in the game, uh, TD-wise. It just straight up sucks at snapshotting. Oi, 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 oi. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Psych! You know, you know I do have Look at this gun! It's straight up awful. There is <laughs> I hate this gun so much. There we go. It took us four attempts, but we finally got him in the end. Amazing. Now the good news is my tank is, is very speedy. It is very much speed oriented. I don't this dude's just scared for his life, so he's just gonna spend all game running away, which is kinda cute, I guess. Um I'm just going to cap A so my team have a cap, and then I'm going to YOLO him in a second. Okay, I'm going to take a wide route here so he doesn't proxy me till it's too late. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what are we doing here, buddy? Oh, no. Might get a shell to me here. But are you able to run away fast enough, boy? I don't think you are. And you don't have the gun to freshen really engine deck snipe me, right? Or does he? I mean, that's the one thing that the 263 is good for. This situation here. Make, like, destroying the hopes and dreams of poor... Poor, um, tank, tank, t medium tanks that don't have any gun depression. Wow, I love this tank so much. <laughs> that was such a great use of my time. Clearly the best vehicle in the game. Uh, it's not awful. It's just, I it just really, I just don't, I, I really value a good gun on a vehicle. In my opinion, except for raw DPM, there is nothing desirable about the 263's gun. You know? It's just way too derpy. You have no gun depression. Uh, you have no gun traverse. In other words, you can't turn it to the side very easily, you know? And so your dispersion is constantly getting reset. That's that's like the big issue, but you got 263 stuff. It's not broken though. That's the only redeeming feature of the tank. Fantasy 23 is not as good as for fun anymore. Meanwhile, she was saying so free. Hey, well, I didn't say it's not as good as fun. I said it, dude, I, I had such a great time last time I played the 183. Not today so much, but. 120 is great. Got even aim time buff. Dude, 120 has always been amazing. HRF, would you rather play Ice 4 AMX 54? Oh, M454? Love it. At 50k styles, you need a fatness only fans. Uh, will you be my number one fan? What what tier? What tier should we. What, like, what, what should be the subscription fee? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't even know how that website works. I am innocent. Okay, guys, can we get a good game in the 183? Like, please, just meme someone. It, it would make my day so much. Dang, they have double 4005s, a 183, uh, an E50M, a Type 71, Object 84, and Type 61. What a lineup for their team. If asked, what's your opinion on the M4 Yo? Do you have it on your CC account so you can stream it? Or, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested, oh my gosh. Pepega Piggy. Imagine I pen that. Imagine spotting from there. <laughs> Boo. Okay. So I'm not going to cross just yet because I already know all of those 405s and 183s are froth frothing at the mouth at the, just the thought of my tank being here. Oh, 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 oh. 
Please, please, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Leave some for me. Leave some for me, fam. Okay, E50M is no longer spotting that corner. So let's, let's do a little trip to the blind fire trip. Okay. I meant to say blind fire ship, but it's okay. Alrighty. I don't like sniping, man. Sniping is just so boring. It really is just so boring. By the way, if the 50 m didn't have, like, the armor buff that I got recently, I probably would have pinned that AP shot on his turret. But that recent armor buff actually saved. was a saving grace for our mans here. Alright. Where do you think they are? I don't know where the rock ends. Let's just take another blind shot. Um. Yeah, this game's looking very boring, isn't it? There's the type. What heavies are missing? Type 68. Oh, there's the E50M. I don't think you can spot me from there, though. I don't know what this man's just thinking. Lumberjack from Cursed over here has a bit of an obsession with me, huh? Okay. Well, Lumberjack, let me, uh... Let me just take a little bit of time to reposition myself to deal with you just a little bit more efficiently. Give me a second, buddy. <laughs> never, never said I care. Just thought it was a fun, funny dimension. <laughs> Ten thousand? Is that is that how much it goes for? All right, all right, chief. Ten thousand dollars. If as a on the oh yeah, I mean okay. By the way, do you guys want me to play like a game or two in the M4 Yo? I could, I probably have it on my press account. I'm, I'm not gonna buy it, but I can switch to my press account. Maybe that'll make life a little bit more easy. Tunnel vision as heck. Oh wow, it's our favorite tunneler, Mr. Lumberjack One from Cursed. What a legendary player we have here. Die, Shine. Shine. Good job! Exclamation mark. You win a cookie. What was he thinking, man? That E fifty M's like oh, oh, oh. just YOLOs for a face hog. Oh, that's memes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would like to know your opinion. Thanks, Venice. Thanks about what. Anyways, are you guys interested in me playing the M four Yo uh, for a game or two before we get off for the night? I mean, I don't mind. It was funny. That was a funny last game because one, I got the nuke to 23, and two, the E50M just suicided. I knew Lumberjack was out here tun tunneling. He, he had business tunneling me, but uh, uh, he he died for it. <laughs> Intercut for the new yo seems kind of long. What is it? Like seven seconds? Okay. <laughs> you are still streaming. Yeah. Let me... I'm just going to unplug so you guys don't see my login information. Let me just real quickly... I have memorized this ridiculously long password Wargaming gave me for the press account. And it's, uh, oh, nope, don't wanna connect there. Let's see if I got it right the second try. Come on, synchronize the data. Yeah. Okay, let's get this up for you a quick spin. <clears throat> <laughs> on the screen for a second there. All right. Um, I assume I have it on the press account or something. I'm going to hit Matt at How could you fail me on a day like this, Wargaming? Where is it? How much does it cost? Can you get it for gold? If you can, I don't know if it's gambling with crates, but I would not be able to stream it, obviously. This Wargaming doesn't like that. But you can get it. No, that's TD containers. $50 bundle. $20 bundle. Oh. Um. I'm going to, uh, don't mind me, guys. Uh, technically, we aren't uh, supposed to stream crate openings on press accounts. So I, I, I got to disconnect for a second. I will not say how much it costs, although those keen sights, those of you who have keen sights uh, could probably figure that out. But 
We'll, we'll see. I know, it, it hates. You guys, it, it sucks. You guys love gambling, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you if I get it. <laughs> okay, I got it on like the fifth crate. In insane. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. I mean, I didn't get on the fifth crate. I didn't buy crates at all, guys. I, I promise you. I didn't buy any crates for this tank at all. Where is it? M M5yo. There it is. <sighs> okay. Preferential matchmaking for uh, for me. <laughs> let's let's put some bats on it. Let's just add a little bit of sauce to the tank. All right. Let's rest the pen. Oh, armor piercing gets up to 280 almost. It's not bad. We're going to run calibrated. Let's just put some random equipment on it. Um, I don't know. Six. 18 and 28. I don't know how many rounds it carries in the magazine. I'm going to this blind. I, I think I tested this tank. That's all I know about it. Uh, I don't want this. I want the double cola. I got double cola. Big deal. All right. Let's give this tank a spin. Big ups. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's right is. <laughs> it's like uh, M7 Yoba feels uh, but faster reload and better armor. Okay. <laughs> Tell us. No. <laughs> this is good luck. Okay, kid. <laughs> or, da or daddy's side shake. What do you say? Okay, kid, too. I'm confused. <laughs> no, no one's hating on it. Let's just say I like. Fa oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, wait, wait. What did I say? All right. Let's take it for a spin, guys. Let's take it for a spin. <laughs> 80K. Yes, I spent 80K gold on it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Not really. All right, let's get let's give her a trade. So, okay, 13.6 second overall magazine reload. You have a four shell magazine. I'm going to assume it has either 280, 290, or 300 alpha, somewhere in that vicinity. Maybe even 320, 310 alpha. Um, but with given the number of shells, probably not a whole lot of alpha. Ugh, seven second intra clip. Okay, now I know what you guys are saying when you said intra clip. What is this camo? Why do you have an oil can on the back of your tank? Reserve fuel? No, it's like straight up goes into the into the turret. Maybe these dudes just need copium. It's their copium container because their intraclip is so long they need copium. All right. Um, I don't know if I got spotted. I was. Reverse speed seems decent. About what? Almost 20. Actually, that's really good reverse speed. It is 18 or 19. Nice. You like to see that. Uh, I don't know. Gun handling probably probably okay. It doesn't seem crazy. This is like 100% first impressions. I have. I, I think I tested it, but I, if I did, it was probably like one or two games. So, yeah, I was going to say, let's see what's on this left-hand side here. Let's see how the armor profile works first. I'm a bit curious about the armor. We have this VK-168. First shot goes to Narnia, and oh, man. Oh, that intra clip. Bro, this dude's probably going to, like, reload and get a shell into me before I could even back up from here. Okay, he bounces, though. Oh, the intra clip is long. Oh, the intra clip is long. That feels weird. I'm not saying it's bad, but it definitely, that definitely feels weird. HRF, uh, you have reached an even number of battles, have I? Oh, oh, where'd you come from, buddy? Oh, okay, the armor seems okay. I'm not sure about this gun handling, though. It, it, it seems to be struggling just a little bit here. Really? Really? A spawn sniping IS-5? What a joke. Um... First impressions, mid. <laughs> I mean, maybe the armor's nice. That's that's about it. I'm just going to take a blind shot and pull back. Uh, I think my team are pushing on the right side, so I'm going to go support them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this tank. I mean, if the gun was hitting good shots, I actually would have okay damage right now. But straight up, like, the gun was not working for the first, like, couple of minutes there. So I was a little worried about that. Let's put a quick shot to this dude. All right, so it seems like we have about 310-ish alpha. I'm gonna go push him down low here. I know I'm giving up this corner, but I need to help the homies out on this side. So M4, M4 needs to go down. There we go, one pen into him. Nice, I think we can go for a bit of a face hug here. Let's see how that works. I don't know if he can pen me. All right, 320, nice, nice semi-high roll. I don't know if it's enough though. All right, let's see if he gives me a nice like lower plate shot. Alpha seems decent, Alpha seems decent. Uh, team doesn't seem decent, though. I, I I will agree with that. Now, our Pantera is probably about to die here. It's too bad. If he'd hit one more shot into that Helsing, we actually might have had a chance here. But he didn't. So, yep. So is the way of life. All right. Yak Panther. Man's being a bit aggressive on this side here. Alrighty. 
nice little track shot into this dude. Dude, here's where that seven second reload is just gonna be pain. All right, another shell into this dude. I have a scent to deal with now. Um, I'm just gonna die at this point. So I'm just gonna get one more shell in for damage purposes. Armor seems good. I will admit the armor seems really nice. It's troll. Oh, let's give it another go. Let's get another go. The gun trolled me a little too much that game for me to really realistically get a feel for it. And it was my first experience. I didn't know how good the armor would or would not be. Um, or gun and stuff like that. I think I have a little bit more of a feeling for it. It was only 2,500 damage, but first game in a rather un unideal situation. Let's give it another try. Let's, let's see. Let's see. This thing sucks. <laughs> I don't know if it sucks. It's just different, right? Fast spent 10 anime waifus to buy the tank. Hey, yo, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? They aren't they aren't assets to be purchased and and used as currency, fam. That's not how it works. Probably 310. Yeah, I think it's about 310 alpha. All right, let, let's give it another go. It, it feels kind of nice. The mobility feels decent. Like it, it accelerates pretty well. It's the reverse speed that feels really, really nice. I think the reverse speed is what, what makes it feel most comfortable is you can reverse quickly out of a situation. Uh, traverse speed's okay. Armor seems decent. I'm assuming the hatch is, is a pretty significant weak spot we will have to be aware of. But if, if it has a hatch, in all likelihood, it probably has a pretty good turret. That's usually that's generally how it goes. So I'm, I'm assuming the armor is actually not half bad for that reason. Um, we have this TBP VTU over here on our left-hand side. Um, let's put a quick shell into him. Ooh, we hit those. Okay, so the gun handling decided to work for once, which is nice. Nice little change. But oh man, this interclip. Interclip. Oh, it's seven seconds. You really. Okay, I think this tank is more suitable for close quarters hold on engagements. Just because the gun, like the interclip and then the okay, but maybe not super exceptional accuracy, is not suited for snapshotting at all, right? Like, you need to make every shell count because it takes you forever to get the next one out. All right, we have this dude here. Okay, we got 285 into him. Very nice. Let's get ready to aim a second shell towards this man's here. He's about to pull on up. I pull up. Yeah. And he's not about to pull up, apparently. All right, so we have an M5, uh, M4Yo on this left-hand side. Looks like a TVP VTU as well. I wonder if there's anything to do about it. I wouldn't usually poke here, but once again, oh, that armor profile is pretty good on the turret. Okay, now I see why people are bouncing off the left, right, and center. If they ain't hitting your hatches, they are struggling to pin you. That's that's for sure. All right, seven seconds, just enough time to pick up the kill on him. Ah, it, this tank both feels nice and mid at the same time. How do I explain it? It's It's definitely not awful. I mean, the Lord play. Good for him. Uh, it's definitely not awful, in my opinion. Interesting. I, I have not made up my mind on this tank yet. I, I think there are other yo's you could probably have just as much fun playing. Okay, so the Lord plate's super weak. The upper plate's decently strong, but it looks a bit. Let's load APCR. And even with APCR, and if you're England, the upper plate, you have good armor. Just track the dude. Now, he does have the reverse track ability, as a lot of the yo's do have. Um... So yeah, it's not gonna be enough for him. Oh, okay, weird ricochet. It was gray, but it still ricocheted. How peculiar. Uh, man's just straight up struggling to find a reason to live and the I-6 is yellowing. Okay. I had a little bit of a feel for the tank. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be much better. Medium close hold on engagements where you can just start, like I would say kind of pretend it's not an auto loader at all because reloading your magazine is not even the time it takes you to reload two shells independently in the, into the magazine. Like it's like 13, it's like 13 seconds. You have a second, second intro clip, right? It's kind of like just a single shot with decent DPM. It's really weird. Um, Pat Vanis, pick a favorite waifu. Oh, I saw this. This is hard. I can't, I can't just pick one. They're, <sighs> we need to get the waifu tier list out. I need to find one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, gosh, what shows have I watched recently that I really like? There's too many. There's too many. I wouldn't say all of them. <laughs> um, Ah, uh, this is hard. Why do you got to make these decisions so hard? Here's the thing. I actually haven't really chosen one. That's the problem. 
But we can straight up say Rebecca from Cyberpunk is an S tier character. Lucy's cool too, but Becca is just a, a joy to uh, to be around. Um, that's the most recent one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. Power when when Chainsaw Man's released, Power's also she's she's a bit wild like Rebecca in a similar sense. So Power's a lot of fun as a character. So I rate, rate her highly. I know there's a lot of Makima simps out there. I'm personally not a Makima simp. More a power simp, but you know how that works. But in terms of like, hmm, just all time favorites, I don't know. Hard decision to make. Hello, it's a black prince. Oh, wow. Bounce off me for days, my dude. Yeah, that's right, he's probably gonna cut my lower plate. This dude has like 3k DPM and I don't, so I'm, I'm probably just being an idiot for sitting here. Luckily for me, he's just kind of chilling there, so I'll take one more shell from him. He has like a three and a half second reload, put another one into him. Dude's about to die for that. <laughs> Fana says all of them noted. All of them. <laughs> Keep your looking quite thick there. Yes. Yes. Thick like Makima's fan art. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Everyone, like, when the anime is getting released, they're like, wait, she looks wrong. Too much fan art, man. It's kind of funny. Oh, hello. Hello, Hell Kitty. H.E. Oh, 525! We just bombed this dude for so many hit points there. All right, that was kind of nice. Dude, I don't even treat this like an autoloader. Like, straight up, I don't even really treat this like an autoloader. It, it it doesn't even feel like one. Is this a single shot that has, like, good DPM, and then your loader, like, gets killed for 10 seconds, and then it's back to regular DPM? <laughs> it's great for American. <laughs> Especially with crates, I see. Oh, hey, hey. I, you know, I've been so busy trying, struggling with the pain of choosing the most legitimate waifu that I have not even paid attention to this game in the slightest. I've just been doing random stuff, and that's what tier 8 is about. Just doing random stuff and getting away with it. Okay, so the gun depression, not so good there. I can't, maybe I can just do a little rub tap. Okay, it's not a heavy tank, that's for sure. Just about to get taken down. Nice, we have to be to shell into the tracks here. Nice, another shot. Yeah, this tank is okay. Honestly, it's okay. It, it's okay. Uh, the armor is actually pretty good, I will admit. You know, minus the hatch, minus lower plate, you have a very strong tier 8 frontal armor profile. Uh, let's put another shell into our mans here. But, uh, you know, se a 7 second intro clip, it, it, you feel it. It's a little painful at times. Oh, no! No, he just baited me. I have been baited. Buy this man's here. Pick up a kill. All right. <laughs> That's like a Minotauro on PC. Oh, guys, you should wait for when the Minotauro gets released. I'm going to tell you something. That is going to be an interesting vehicle. 3,500 damage dealt. How much am I averaging in this tank? 2,900 three games. I'll play it to five. Why not? Because it's a new tank. Uh, exactly what I was like. It's a Tiger 2 reload with adrenaline, then the loader gets hurt for 14 seconds. Exactly, it's weird. So, I hardly count this as like an auto loader in the traditional sense. Um, but I mean, I farmed like 3,500 damage when my mind was not even in the game. Like, straight up, I was like using my imagination to try and pick and choose between like 150 characters. You don't understand how hard that is. <laughs> so a single shot, but with a, a downtime, like with DPS, like, yeah. But obviously, you don't just want to randomly shoot shells in your magazine. You do want to try and, in an autoloader sense, you know, try not to miss shells too often. But, like, it feels like just a really weird single shot that has a long reload every once in a while. It's not a, a classic autoloader, that's for sure. And I think if you imagine the tank in that manner and you consider it in that sense, you'll actually realize it's a pretty decent vehicle. Uh, I'm, I'm finding the mixture of armor, gun depression, and everything to be pretty solid on this tank. I just put another shell into this dude. Now, obviously the hatch is a problem. I mean, hatches are problems on a lot of tanks here. Um, should not have taken that shell there. Another shell into this man's here. It's back up from the cheat, uh, from the chito. There we go. But if you're a haul down, you're wiggling, you're not, you know, you're not giving the enemy team like really long instances to shoot at you. You can get damage out. 388 alpha maximum means you have 310 alpha. So it's a 310 alpha auto loader and a seven second reload for between shells. So essentially for four shots, you have really good GPM if you think about it in that light. So, I don't know. I actually don't think I mind this tank too much. Straight up. It, it's it's not the most exciting vehicle in tier 10. I mean tier 8, that's for sure. I'm so used to playing tier 10, I said tier 10 by default. <laughs> uh, but we're doing okay so far. 
I'm trying to keep an eye out for what the enemy team, team is doing. Okay, there's one of their vehicles. Juto is down low. Hmm. This dude is poking me. I put a snapshot into him. Yeah, see, the gun handling is decent when you're in a situation where you can set up a little bit. Haul down, anything like this where you're poking and covering most of your haul. That's that's where this gun feels a whole lot better. Oh, I way over that. That was my bad. Nothing else to say about that. Also, we are straight up getting yellowed here, but we do manage to ricochet a shell from this man's. And I do have this WZ for support, so I'm not you know, super worried about getting yellowed or anything per se. All right, let's see if this 50 TP is here. It's not. He's pulled back a little bit. The damn poor pokes me. Not quite. I can probably use this opportunity because my magazine reload time is really short. You just reload the mag. I mean, me and a 50 TP, 53 uh, TP. All right, I've just been holding off this entire flank. Like, just, just the two of us, you know? That our team is doing a good job on C. So all I have to do is just take it easy while they do their job on C. I'm a bit worried about the Waffenträger. We know he's somewhere in that vicinity as he was spotted rotating er out earlier, which is why these dudes are scared to move. But, you know, if I'm careless and I turn sideways, I could get nature 600, and that's pretty much game over for me. We have cap. Enemy team got to make a play. I'm going to keep spotting up. You know, let's add a little bit of pressure here. We're going to hop on the cap. Add a little bit of pressure. See if we get spotted up. I'm going to move just a little bit. That way, if someone's aiming for me. Okay, there's the Juto. Put a quick shot to the Juto. Back up. So the pressure worked. We know where the Waffenträger is now as well. Good stuff. Seven seconds have passed. We now are ready to reload into our next shell in the magazine. Juto is probably going to get ready to just like start peeking me soon. Let's see if anyone's around this corner. 53 TP was taken down, right? Interesting. So Amex M4 is still here. Okay, okay, okay. That was a really bad shot. I'm not going to say about that. Then, other than I just suck at aiming, obviously. There's the M3 yo. Oh, that was not a bad shot. That was just a bit unlucky. Unfortunate gamer plays. All right, let's go another shot. This. Way. Oh, come on! Scams! Scams for days. Okay. Uh, getting trolled a little, to say the least. 53 TP is about to dunk on this dude with the assistance of a tiger too. Okay. Now, now that the Waffenträger's dead, I have no fear. I have no fear. Hey, get them ricochets, boy. On the move. Oh, come on! Come on! Work a gun! Okay, uh, honestly, I shouldn't have shot on the move. All the same. I mean, we still got decent damage out, didn't we? In the end, at least 2,500. Not shabby! It's not a shabby tank! Nice profile. Hey. <laughs> Good night, Vanis. Take care! BG, take care. Good, take care. Nice profile, brain. <laughs> what profile? Oh, we got 3k out. Okay, we'll play it to what? That was the fourth game. We'll play it to five. Play it to five games. Let's see how it goes. Uh, hi, good morning. Just waking up. Hello, Antonio. Good morning. Fun is, you have any thoughts on the SDRVK? Honestly, I... Wargaming have temporarily, I believe, kind of uh, <laughs> shut down their test program. Uh, just because they have a lot on their mind. So, I actually have never played it. Can't give any opinion on it. And I don't even know the stats on it. So, yeah. Can't say, man. Can't say. Sorry about that. My guy. You were going to end the stream an hour ago, lol. Oh, it's 3.50! What? Uh, uh, three, 3 hours and 50 minutes. Amazing. Curious, are you saying Curious is on Discord? No, it's a different Curious. Curious, you're a different Curious. See, he said so. No, not. 100%. Alright. One more game. Let's see what we can do with this, uh, with this tank. I like it. I like it. You know, my initial thoughts were not super positive because I missed so many shots with it uh, to the first game. But, uh... After getting a little bit more of a feel for the vehicle and seeing the armor profile, it's actually interesting. You really do have a very strong upper plate from what I've seen against other tier 8s. Uh, the turret is really good except for the hatch, which is to be expected. Good balancing feature. I'm not too mad about the hatch. I mean, if this thing had no hatch, imagine just how scary it'd be. Hold on. Like, you wouldn't be able to do anything to it. So, you know, we're going to have to balance takes out. I understand. I'm not going to complain too much about that. And, uh, you know, the accuracy is workable. No, it's 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 not it's not amazing, but if you take it to semi-close engagements, uh, you give yourself a little bit of time to set up, you know, to start aiming those shots. You'll actually do pretty good. So let's uh, let's let's have an exciting next thing. There's two tanks in B cap. There's three tanks on the right. 53 TP once again. Here's like these are my nemesis every single battle. Um, not really a whole lot I can do about this man's here. There's the ICU running away. Yeah, okay, sure. We ricocheted off the rear of his engine deck. Nice meme. 
SU just fired. It looks like the M4 Remedy Say has already been taken out. IC-130 is making a break for it. Same with the HTC. We have three shells, so let's just do 930 alpha damage average to this 53 TP. It will take us 14 seconds, but it might be worse. So we're going to full send it on this man's here. What's up? It's aim for that engine deck area. 273, so nice low roll to start off the, uh, the game with. Uh, let's aim another one in. Hope they fire, maybe. 346. That one makes up for the low roll. This dude's about to get taken down, so let's speed boost our way over to the ISU 130, who is making a break for himself. The HTC is pulling forward, though. Quick shell. Where? Okay, I see how it is. All right, we're reloading. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What should we do now? Oh, hello, ISC 130. Let's angle our haul up a little bit. Okay, he's not interested in me. Dude's a big brain gamer here. One shot to the tracks. I'm gonna cap B since we are at a 3-4 disadvantage here. This dude just, like, yeah, he just threw his life away for free. Bless him. Let's reload the mag because it only takes us 14 seconds, and I don't think we're getting yolo that soon. So we know that SC1, uh, SC-130 is up top. 53 TP made a well, different Skoda. Uh, this is Skoda T-45. He's sniping. T-20 HTC also ran away. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we have a better idea of what their team is doing. Uh, and we, I think we can just kind of send it over here. SC-130 might be pushing in towards B. I mean, that'd be a sensible play as we are going to overtake them with cap points. But, okay, take it back. Sensibility is not, in the, is not in the name of the game, my dudes. Ow! That's all I can say is, ow! This dude got owied upon. All right. No! Okay. We might lose our SU. Is it call a ban of time, boys? Is it call a ban of time? Not quite. Okay. So this man's here, just big chilling. They're going for caps as well. That's kind of cute. All right, put quick shots. This man's here, and here's that reverse speed. That reverse speed is so clutch. Like, okay, he does pen me in the side because I overangled there, but that reverse speed's really nice. Do not underestimate the power of a great reverse speed on an auto loader. Okay, let's see if we can bait this dude into shooting at me. Although he's looking around, so one quick shot to him. Oh, he's about to get dunked on. Ouch! That had to feel absolutely fantastic there. Let's go to HTC because he's the one that can run away. And then with our next shell, which we should out-reload the SU, I think, uh, we can hopefully pick up a kill on this dude for 2,700 or, or 2,900 or so damage. Not bad. Okay, tank. At least when it stopped here. Um, seems pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Is it a must-buy? Heck no. Definitely not a must-buy. But if you're a fan of the Yo series and you just want something a little different, then... You know, it might be something you want to consider. I do think the Scepter is also a, a pretty solid tank. And heck, even just the Tech Tree M3 Yo is also a very good tier 8 tank. Naturally, the T77, absolute beast. I do recommend that one if you can afford it. This tank is just insane. I don't even know my average in it. It's 3,100 for 69 games. What a beautiful game count. Uh, so, yeah, that tank's a beast. But, you know, if you want to try, try your luck with the M4 Yo, not nah, shabby. And so, ladies and gentlemen... Here we are, after almost four hours, streaming a little longer than, than your boy had intended. Bobby is here. She's like yawning because she's sweet. And I hope you guys enjoyed. We, if you were just now arriving, the first two and a half hours or so was 111.5 a gameplay. So if you want to see me play that tank, you can go to earlier in the stream. It was a bit of a, just a mess of games. Steam rolls all over the place, but the tank's still great, I think. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much everybody for dropping by today's live stream. I probably won't be seeing you guys till uh, next Next weekend, maybe Friday if Wargaming release a spicy new tank I want to try streaming like a, a, a new like tier 10 or tier 8 collectible like the Chimera or I'm not the Chimera the uh, Caliban or something if they release one of those vehicles I'll stream on Friday like almost 100% because gotta get that early content out uh, But I'll see you on the weekend next time Sadly, I have three midterms next week, which I think I, I should be fine with. So I, I can't stream anymore until after those midterms at least. And then an insanely difficult uh, machine learning midterm the week after that, which I am not looking forward to. So if I'm a little inactive, that's why. And I do appreciate everyone dropping by today's stream. Thank you for liking and joining in the comments and everyone who dropped by donations today. Got quite a few donors. Do appreciate you as well, as well as the mods. Curious Jack and... And all y'all. And uh, from both me and Le Bobby, y'all have yourself a great night, morning, day, evening, whatever, wherever you are. Take care. Peace. Hmm.